The Home Star Runner Enters the Strongest Man in the World Contest, a children's story by Mike and Craig. Everybody loves the Home Star Runner. He is a terrific athlete. One day his friend, Pom Pom, asked him to enter the Strongest Man in the World Contest. The Home Star Runner agreed, and the two trained for days and days to become the strongest men in the world. On the way to the contest, another competitor, Strong Bad, made fun of them. I'm the very strongest. You guys are not very strong. The contestants. Mr. Bland. The Robot. Last year's winner. Senior. Pom Pom. Strong Bad. The Home Star Runner. Upon their arrival, the rules were explained. The Grape Fairy starts everyone off with 20 grapes, then adds one at a time. Whoever holds the most grapes wins. The Grape Fairy granted each of them 20 grapes. Mr. Bland did not hold up. Squish. It says squish there. The Grape Fairy added another grape. Senor was not the strongest man in the world. Splurt. This one says splurt. Suddenly, the robot shut down and dropped his grapes. Homestar knew something was up. Zip. The yellow man says zip. There were only three contestants left. Another grape was added. Homestar noticed that Strongband was getting some extra help. I will drop my grapes and uncover that cheat. The Homestar runner yanked the cheat out from under the pile of grapes. Oh no! Screamed Strong Bad. Strong Bad was squished and Pom Pom won. Knowing that he could not have done it without the Homestar Runner's help, Pom Pom shared the trophy. The Homestar Runner in Where My Hat Is At. Everyone loves the Homestar Runner. He is a terrific athlete. On the day of the big game, the Homestar Runner lost his hat. Without it, he wouldn't be allowed to play. He has no hat. It wasn't under the couch or on top of the teleset. Well, my hat is at. It wasn't in the pool or cooking on the grill. Well, my hat is that. It wasn't in the post box or under the auto. Well, my hat is that. Pom Pom hadn't seen it. And neither had Coach Z. -E. Pubs from the concession stand hadn't seen it. Uh huh, he says. If you can't find your hat, you're not allowed to play in today's big game, said the umpire. At least I won't be able to play then. The Homestar Runner said reluctantly. Oh, I could go for a few cold ones right about now, said the Homestar Runner. So he opened the icebox to grab a couple. When he opened the icebox, he noticed something strange. But he couldn't put his finger on it. There my head is at. Between the milk and the cold ones was his hat. So he grabbed his hat and a couple cold ones and ran to the big game. He got there just in time to score the winning run. Say, where did you find your hat? Asked Coach Z. B 
between the milk and the cold one. <laughs> the hand. These are some great marshmallows, eh, Pom Pom? Why don't you look over there? For no reason. Boom. Boom. Oh, look at the baby! Eating the marshmallows. Uh-oh, it's the brother strong, strong bad and strong made. You better believe it, man. We're the greatest tag team wrestlers in the world. That's great, strong bad. Have a good time. No, you morones. We are challenging you to the tag team match. Hmm. No thanks. <laughs> You give me this! Hey, give me back my stall! Of course. But first, you have to beat us in the ring. What do you say, Pom Pom, old friend? You're on! Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to the War for the Star. In this corner, at a combined weight of one million pounds, hailing from parts unknown, the Brothers Strong, Strong Mad and Strong Bad. And now, the hometown favorites, at a combined weight of 104 pounds, Home star runner and pom pom! Pom Pom, look out! Huh? <gasps> 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 Thank you. 
Now how about my Starbucks, Dwayne Bade? that the sheep were not eaten by a dragon. Phew! But they were eaten! Oh no! What could have done such a thing? Why don't you ask yourself, King? Oh yeah! They were delicious! <coughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Hey, what's the problem here, Homester? Oh man, Cozy, I guess I just don't understand the ladies. Oh jeez, I figured it was girl trouble. Step into my office. So, tell me what's the matter. Well, it's Marcy Payne's birthday and I don't know what to get her. Well, Homester, I tell you, girls are like a great sports play. You can't just rush into the score zone. You kidding me? You'd be clabbered. You gotta stick and move and zig and zig to get past the defenses so you can score. Because I don't understand. Don't just get her a flower. Get her some rare flower from the tallest mountain. <laughs> that way she knows how much she means to you. Thanks, coach. I think I had the solution! The Yellow Dello! Found only in northeastern Potamia, the Yellow Dello is the most rare and beautiful bird in this entire cartoon! Come on, guys. Let's do it for Marzipan. Well, I already got Marzipan presents, and I don't really think that. Right, right. We do it for Marzipan. Hey, Marzipan. I heard Homestar's getting you the yellow dello for your birthday. Do you wanna know what I got you? Naughty. Okay, we got him! Now let's go home and get ready for the party! Happy Birthday! Gee! What do you think her problem was? I guess I just don't understand the ladies. Okay, get the vegetable. Now let's cheese it! Ouch! Homestar Runner, are you okay? Homestar, are you in there? It's me, Marzipan. Oh man, you guys. With Marzipan's radish, we're gonna win the competition. And then, maybe, get uh, famous a little. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the competition begins in 15 minutes. Please bring your radishes to the staging area. Pom Pom, where's Marcy Pan? She's supposed to be here. Ouch, Homestar, let me in. Ouch, Homestar Runner, are you in there? I'm leaving. <laughs> We got the radish, we got the radish, and we're gonna win the contest. You know what, Pom Pom? You're white. Right. Kicking this can would make me feel better. What the? 
Holy crap! Holy crap! <laughs> hey, that rat is just Marcy Out Bang! Out of the way, Homestar! Look, Marcy Payne, I got the reddish reddish back from Strong Bad. What on earth are you talking about? That's not the reddish radish. This is. <laughs> I'm the winner. <laughs> will compete, compete to see who, who can sustain, sustain their jumping jacks for the longest time. Any contestant that ceases to jump jack, jack even for a moment, is out, out of the competition. competition. Mm -hmm. On, On your mark, mark get, get set, go! Whew. I quit. Oh why, strong said. That's twice as many as last year. Ah, the cheat. Is everything ready? Oh, good. Now go and win us this competition. Hey, the cheat. What's up? A glass of melonade for me? Mmm, okay. Thanks, the cheat! <laughs> oh, another one! <laughs> oh, I drank too many melonades! You're not looking so good, Homestar. I think you better drop out. Seriously, Pom Pom. I'm about to pee my pants. Great idea, Pom Pom. But do you think he can get here in time? <sighs> hey, boy. Look like quite a line is building up at your concession stand. Hot no! What can I get for you fine gentlemen? Oh, I'm such a dummy. And, and so ends day two of our competition, competition with, with only three, three hot contestants, contestants left. left. How you holding up, Pom Pom? How about you, Strong Bad? I am Strong Bad. No way, Pom Pom. Of course that's Strong Bad. Okay, Strong Bad. Are you Strong Bad? I am Strong Bad. See? I don't know how much longer I can make it, Pom Pom. Is Strong Bad still looking good? Uh, let's see. I want to thank the cheat for helping me to cheat. Oh, no, wait, I shouldn't say that. Let's try this again. I want to thank Strong Bad for helping me to cheat. Yeah, that's better. Homestar Runner is fading fast and could drop out at any moment. Ah, that's my cue. I give up, Pom Pom. I'm about to jump my last jack. Pom Pom, what are you doing? 
Hey, it's the chief. And it looks like he's cheating. Thanks for the reason. Come on, girl. Ba -ba. Ba -ba. Ba -ba. But if that's the cheat, then where's Strongbad? Who is the guy that wins all the contests? That's me, Strongbad. Except maybe for the one contest. Or maybe more than one contest. There he is! Oh! Holy crap! Thanks everybody, but this trophy really belongs to my best friend, Bob And give me that! Uh, I mean, a uh, bubble, bubble the bubble, double bubble. You said it, Bum Bum. We are best friends. For years, he's thrilled and captivated himself with his music. And now, it's your turn! Every time that I look at myself, I can't believe how awesome I am. I mean, how awesome I am. Strong Bad Sings. Featuring hundreds of your favorite Strong Bad hits. Let me believe that we're in love. So I can break up with you You've got an ugly butt And it's stupid But Now available for the first time anywhere outside his basement Somebody told me that you were so stupid But I didn't believe them But now I believe them Available on three records, seven CDs, 12 cassettes, or 38 track tapes. You might expect to pay almost a hundred dollars for this rare collection. It's all yours for only one easy installment of $193.75. Act now and receive Strong Mad forgets the words to his favorites absolutely free. Um. To order your copy of Strong Bad Sings, call 1-800-428-6422 or send chat cash or money order to 469 The Place to Be. Uh, refunds not available in Maine or Arkansas. Oh jeez, I don't know. I think I prefer his work with the Furious Five much more. He had more street cred back hey, then. Hey, thanks for coming to my party, guys. Oh, uh, Coach Z is down with the P.E. You know, and I think it turned out pretty good. I mean, Mom helped me do the fruit, and I did the sewing. Oh, looking good, Strong Bad. The Chiquita Banana Lady, that's great. Oh, Chiquita, but for the last time, I'm Carmen Freaky Miranda. Yesterday, I was out in the garden, and I was weeding. 
And a baby little worm. Oh, everybody looks so great. You know, there's more punch over there if anybody wants any. All right, everybody. Line up. We're going to play flashlight ghost storytelling with a flashlight. We should stand boy, girl, boy, girl. Good one, Marzipan. That way we know it's fail. I get to stand next to you, Humstar. Nope. I'm standing next to Bubs. You get to stand next to Swoman. <sighs> Psst. Hey, Marcy Pan. Is my slip showing? Okay, okay, okay. I'll go first. Um, okay. Once... There was this green goblin, and um, he used to look around, and um, I guess he did a dance. Oh man, that was terrible. And the goblin, he had a gremlin, and he jacked up on some fat tires. And uh, and he stooped up with a 411 body track out back, 750 double bumper, pedal rock intake, 4 over 30, 11 to 1 pop up business, turbo jet, 390 horsepower. I mean, he has a freaking muscle. One of the girls had a cute little kitten named Kitty Kitty. The other girl had a cute little puppy named Chris. And then the third girl was a Republican. Oh, brother, give me that. So then the robot came and he started vaporizing everybody with his vapor gun. And he was like, you take this, that's stupid, you. And you take this, everybody's gonna die. And then he said, oh, the gremlin. I hit the gremlin, gremlin. Ah! I need to get some more punch. Ooh, ooh, and then there was fried fish and heavenly ham and Salisbury sundaes and globs of meringue and strawberry frosted donuts and bowls full of jelly and Klondike pudding and scrumptious fiddles and do do hoo 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 And so it turns out the robot had a human brain that was stolen from a kindly old man. And the children of that old man came to the robot looking for their father. And they called out to him. And the robot's human brain remembered his children and his stolen life. And he was moved to tears. But the tears shorted out his circuits and fried his brain. And the robot toppled over and he crushed his children and the goblin too. And none of them lived. Oh, jeez, what a total downer. Oh, man, I'm out of here. That's the saddest story I've ever heard. You can't come to next year's party. <laughs> Gee, thanks for coming to my party, Strong Thad. <sighs> Lights, please. Crap! Something, something, something! Oh, there's a guy! He was probably born! I didn't know if he was really stupid! But then I asked somebody, and they said he was stupid! He said, that he was great and everybody believed him that 
guy was crying. Okay, that's enough strong bad. Um, I think what strong bad is really trying to say is, oh, holy crap. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. I mean, happy holidays from all of us to all of you. And God bless us every... Sorry, Strong Sad. We're out of time here. Happy holidays, everybody! Boys, pick it up, pick it in. Great job there, Homestar. Um, uh, I'm sorry, what? I, uh, I see you did a great job out there. I did a great what? A great job. Oh, man. Bob, Bob, you gotta check this out. Okay, coach, tell Bob, Bob what I did today. Or, uh, well, I was just telling Homestar here that he'd done a great job. <laughs> Coach, that's ridiculous. We have got to do something about that. See, you need to make your mouth into an O like this. Oh. You mean like this? That's better. Okay, coach, let's give this one more try. Repeat after me. Job. Job. <clears throat> yes, uh, this sounds very good. Uh, my only recommendation would be next time, try to add some more syllables. Perhaps three, perhaps four. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez, I'm just not cut out to say the word jer. How am I ever gonna face the boys in practice tomorrow? Uh, Coach Z, uh, I heard about your problem and I think that I can help. This is a tape I made from when I was practicing the dictionary. Listen to it while you slumber, that tomorrow you may wake to find Oh, a wow! Thanks a lot, Strong Sid! Job. 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 Well, coach, how did I do today? Well, I tell ya. You did a great job, Hamstray. <sighs> oh wait, I mean Hamster. I mean Strumster. I mean Stairmaster. Homegrown. Ramrod? Humble?
looking pretty good. Homestar, come up here right now and watch the tofu, please. Uh, hang on. I'm, um, doing something. Chop, chop. Everyone's going to be here any minute. Uh, Marzipan, I hate to tell you this, but I don't think anyone's coming to your party. I think they're all going to Strong Bad's Marshmallow World. What? He scheduled something on the same day as the Luau? Oh man, you guys, this party's gonna be crazy go nuts. Check it out. I got the marshmallows. I got all the latest releases from the artists of today. And I've carefully filled out everybody's name tag. Oh crap! I forgot the wood! Come on guys, I know where we can hork some. Uku Lele Uku Lele I gotta stop drinking so much melanade. I think I have a serious problem. You're gonna have a problem if you don't monitor this tofu. I have to tune my ukulele. Okay. Oh, strong dad. How long have you been standing there? Oh, about 20 minutes. Okay. That's weird. Ah, crap for brains. Glad to see you can make it. Oh, crap for brains. You're looking good. Now, let's get this freaking party started. We'll just get this fire started here with a little match and a little fire and this should probably be working already and I don't know why this isn't working Kolo kukule kuakalu Kamalu kalai kukukalu and cream Lukai so stupid magic friggin' light the fire oh, hungry I'm a strong man I feel about as hungry as the king of town on a Saturday I'm trying I'm trying I don't hello my name is Peter Wood, and I don't want to catch fire. Hello, my name is Little Matt, and I don't want to make a fire. Hello, my name is Fire, and I'm not coming to your stupid party. I'm coming to your stupid party. Oh, man, Pom Pom. I love Marzipan and everything, but it was terrible. No, I don't think she'll notice I'm gone. What kind of wood you use there, Strong Bad? Cause you know, I know a guy up a I don't know, man. I stole his stuff from Marcy Penn's backyard. Uh-oh. You didn't get it from behind your gazebo, did you? Yeah, why? Well, it all started when I decided to drink 32 glasses of melody. <gasps> There's a fire over there! Aw, <laughs> oh, come back, you guys. Things were just about to start getting crazy, go nuts! Look, Strong Sad, everybody's here. Oh, how glorious! Hey, everybody, how's the tofu? <laughs> Everyone loves tofu. Hey, you guys! Come back! I think I got it all figured out now! Oh, man. What am I supposed to do with all these leftover marshmallows? I bought like 400 pounds! Oh, excuse me, but did I hear you say leftovers? Thanks for helping me with my party today, Homestar. I think it was a really big success. You've been really nice to me the last few minutes. Put your 
head back on this instant. My sheep are missing! My sheep are missing! And I'm afraid a dragon has gobbled them up! Get me, Homestar Runner! Hey, King! What's up? My sheep are missing! My sheep are missing! Do -hoo -hoo -hoo! Do -hoo 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 -hoo! Do -hoo -hoo! I'm inconsolable! Do -hoo -hoo -hoo! Okay, I guess we'll help you find your sheep then! Pom Pom, let's get out of here! I say, fellow blacksmith, have you seen the king's sheep? I say, fellow poopsmith, have you seen the king's sheep? <sighs> I say, fellow chef, have you seen the king's sheep? Uh huh. I have found that the sheep were not eaten by a dragon. Phew. But they were eaten! Oh no! What could have done such a thing? Why don't you ask yourself, King? Oh yeah! They were delicious! <laughs> oh man, Pum Pum! <laughs> he ate the sheep! <laughs> After sports practice, Coach Z noticed Homestar Runner looking dejected. Hey, what's the problem here, Homestar? Oh man, Coach Z, I guess I just don't understand the ladies. Oh geez, I figured it was girl trouble. Step into my office. So, tell me what's the matter. Well, it's Marcy Payne's birthday and I don't know what to get her. Well, Homestar, I tell you, girls are like a great sports play. You can't just rush into the score zone. You kidding me? You'd be clever. You gotta stick and move and zig and zig to get past the defenses so you can score. But coach, I don't understand. Don't just get her a flower. Get her some rare flower from the tallest mountain. <laughs> That way, she knows how much she means to you. Thanks, Coach! And so he thought, and thought, and thought, and thought, and thought, until finally... I think I had the solution, the Yellow Dello! Found only in northeastern Potamia, the Yellow Dello is the most rare and beautiful bird in this entire cartoon. Okay, you guys, we're about to embark on a very serious journey. I can't promise you it'll be easy, rewarding, or even any fun, really. But you guys will do it because you're my friends. Why? Okay, any questions? I have a question. Okay, let's go! And so they traveled many miles, encountered many dangers, until at last they reached their destination. Oh, well, I don't know, Homestar. That looks really dangerous. Oh, come on, guys. Let's do it for marzipan. Well, I already got marzipan presents, and I don't really... Right, right. We do it for marzipan. 
My birthday, my birthday, it's almost my birthday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh! Hey, Marcy Pan! Oh, hi, Strong Ben. Are those my oven mitts? What? No, these are my training gloves. Probably. Uh, anyways, I heard Homestar's getting you the yellow dello for their birthday. The yellow dello? You wanna know what I got you? My oven mitts? Nothing! Oh, my very own yellow dello. She can assist me with my gardening. Hello, yellow, dello, dello. All right, you guys. Any ideas? Um, I kind of wanted to take him alive, Bob Bob. I have an idea. Oh, 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 I have the best idea. You guys stay here. Oh, hello, dello. Would you mind coming with us? You see, it's... Okay, that didn't work. I have an idea. Um, so... I have an idea. Let me think... I have an idea... Of what to try... I have an idea... Next. I have... Oh, oh, oh! I've got an even better idea. Oh, hello, Dello. Would you mind coming with us? You see, it's... Okay. Uh, Pom Pom, hand me that gun. Uh, wait, Homestar, I really have an idea that I think will work. And we won't have to shoot the yellow dello with that gun. Oh, Strong said. How long have you been standing there? Oh, I've been here pretty much the whole time. Oh, I bet you have. Let's hear your idea. Uh, oh. Uh, oh. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. Excuse me, Mrs. Dello, I don't mean to bother you. I just wanted to tell you a story about a little gray fat kid that nobody liked. And the little gray fat kid had two horrible brothers. In fact, there was this one time where they took his underpants and filled it with balloons. And then there was a time they took the only thing precious to him in the whole world, his journal. They read his poems aloud to all the children, and they laughed and laughed. <laughs> and the little gray fat kid was... I think that's enough, Strong said. And the little gray Strong fat said. kid was... Strong said. Sorry. Okay, um, nice work, you guys. Um, let's, uh, let's go, um, home. I'm getting a yellow dello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Happy birthday! Oh, how awful! Homestar, how could you? This is the worst birthday I've ever had. Gee, what do you think her problem was? I guess I just don't understand the ladies. Oh, hello. And now for special punishment, I mean presentation from Strong Bad. Strong Bad, go! Oh man, there's no way I'm going out there. Oh yes, you are. You lost fair and square. Go. No. Go. No! Go! <laughs> Go on! <clears throat> Happy Mother Day. What? Happy Mother Day. We can't hear you! Happy freaking Mother's Day!
<laughs> you had your day. <laughs> Bob, Bob, seriously, <laughs> you had your day. <laughs> oh man, that's the last time I'm playing you guys in cars. You guys are freaking ruthless, man. I'm out of here. More like crappy Mother's Day. Ask me, cause it's probably pretty crappy so far. I'm not even a mother. Fluffy Puff Marshmallows, take one. And action. Before I drink a tall glass of melonade, I like to eat about 147 Fluffy Puff Marshmallows. Cut. The bag's upside down. Oh, sorry. About 147 Fluffy Puff... Uh, we're not rolling. Oh, what? Take two. Before I drink a tall glass of melonade, I like to eat about 147 Flushy Push Marshmallows. Seriously, folks. Cut. The- you said Flushy Push. I know. Can you believe it? Yeah, they're called Fluffy Puff. I know. Can you believe it? Take three. And action. Before I drink a tall glass of melonade, I like to eat about 147 Fluffy Puff Marshmallows. Seriously, folks, they're the, the, um, the uh, best. Take six. Action. Before I drink something, oftentimes I eat something, too. Thirteen. Action. What did you say? Action. Yeah, okay. 147 Fluffy Puff Marshmallows. Seriously, folks, they're the best. All right, we finally got it. That's a wrap, huh? You guys? I usually eat about 147. Okay, I got it. Okay, we're going to get it this time. And action. Oh! Before I drink 147 glasses of melonade, I eat 147 fluffy puffy marshmallows. Action. Before I eat a tall slice of marmalade, I like to drink lots and lots of marshmallows. I mean fluffy puffies. I like marshmallows. You heard it, folks. Homestar likes marshmallows. They're fluffy. They're puffy. One, One, two, two three, three, four, five. five. Oh, hello. This year we're going to do things a little differently. We're all coming to your house to trick or treat. So just answer the door, pick a treat, we'll do the rest. Okay, bye. Tutta rutu, and I'll drink a ball to Hennessy you got on your shelf. But first, let me introduce myself. My name is Coach Z. Pronounce with an Oj Z. You know, I once knew a fella in Boston could tell you the time of day at any time of the day. You'd say, Say there, Boston, what's the time of day? And he'd say, 10.30. And you'd look at him and say, But Boston, it's half past noon. And he'd look back at you and say, Well, those are the breaks. Trick or treat, I'm horrible! You got that right. Ooh, a stick of butter! <laughs> Trick or treat! Again, please! It's all the fridge on an apparel running!
Hey, ho, let's go. Hey, ho, trick or treat. Hey, rice cakes. I like to eat them without water. I'll gladly pay you Tuesday for some candies today! Uh, if you give me a treat, make sure that it's sweet and I'll eat it! Open the freaking door! Where in the world is my candy? Oh, a fun size candy bar. Tell me this, what's fun about eating less candy? Maybe if you gave me an entire bag of them it would be fun. The only fun I'm gonna have with this thing is smearing it all over your door when I leave. Trick or treat, I guess. Oh, baking chocolate. I used to eat this stuff when there was no chocolate in the house. And now, it's my only friend. Please, baby, please, baby, 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 please! Give me some candy! I got a shallow gup and a crallow nup. Somebody give me that mallow cup. Believe it or not, I'm walking a wild. I never thought I could trick or treat. Hey, Strongman, I really like your costume. The Spanish Inquisition. That's great. Look, for the last time, I'm not the Spanish Inquisition, I'm not Cam Calloway, and I'm not Strongman wearing a yellow turtleneck. I'm Carmen freaking San Diego! I like Cab Calloway. Okay, Poopsman. That's the worst costume I ever saw. I mean, your laser tag? What, are you supposed to be dressed up as the product? Or is it more abstract than that? Like, you're supposed to be the concept of laser tag. Come on, man. You know you just found that old crap in a trunk in your basement. He's off, strong bed. He's not the one that dressed up as a girl two years in a row. Oh, ho, ho, ho. you asked for it, King. What's wrong with girls? Did any of you guys go to that house that was giving out change? I changed my costume and went back ten times. I made thirty-five dollars. Did you guys go to that house where they let you into this big room and there's all these people wearing black hoods and they ask you these questions about life and existence and if you answer them wrong you get eternal damnation but if you answer them right you get a twizzler um no 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 oh never mind i like your costume strong sad but you weren't invited this year say pom pom check out this funky bass groove a do rear do re a do rear do re I really have to be. Yeah, and the poopsmith's not smelling any rosier either. Oh, oh, I've got an idea. Let's totally freak him out. 
Let's repeat the stuff we just said. Hey, Strong Man, I really like your costume. The Spanish Inquisition. Da, 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 da. Oh, I'm some stupid turkey, as stupid as they come. Cut off my head, stuff me with bread, go and suck your thumb. Go and suck your thumb. Now let us go and partake of our wondrous feast. Hey, wait a minute. Where's the king of town? Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> More gravy, please. Uh, what's the matter, Homestar? Oh, Strong Dad. I can't decide what to get Strong Bad for December Ween. Uh, what do you mean? Well, I know he's kind of a joke sometimes, and he says holy crap a lot. But I think if I get him the perfect present, he just might like me again. What? People get presents for December Ween? I always just get locked in the bathtub. Oh, what? Um, I gotta go. Well, Lone Star, I tell ya. Buying a December Ween present for Strong Bad is like a great sports play. Let me guess. I can't just watch it into the school zone. Hey, that's right! Coach, that's your answer for everything. Oh, mouthwash? And then, he said it was like a great sports play. And I don't even think that applies to this situation. That's great, Homestar. Well, why don't you just get him a shirt? He doesn't seem to have very many of those. No, I'm pretty sure he enjoys going topless. Well, you could get him a sponge or a juice harp, or you could make him some Chex Party Mix. <laughs> no way! Those are terrible ideas. Like, I don't even want to see what you got me this year. Why don't you go bother somebody else? Now that's a good idea. What can I do for you on this fine holiday? I can't find a freaking present for Strong Bad. Well, you know what Coach Z says. Yes, I know, I know. Oh, well, take a look around. I got all types of crazy crap. No. No. Are you allowed to sell this? No. That's it. This is the perfect present. Coach Z, this is nasty. That's okay. Smell worked over. Okay, let's see where God's arms are from. Homestar here. Open it, open it. That one's for me. It took me forever to pick it out. What? The Deep Impact DVD? You got me this for like the last three years, man. I know. And you liked it so much. I decided to get it for you again. Oh man! This is the worst this December weed ever! This is the best ever. December weed ever! Strong sad out. December weird, December weird. Your green 
Halloween. Halloween. I got all types of crazy crap. I bought your bread a deep impact. Who's always giving strong, strong bad a hand? The cheap, the cheap. Who's always messing up Homestar's plan? The cheap, the cheap. Who's gonna start a rock and roll band? The cheap. Making out with Mighty Fang! The cheat! The cheat! The cheat! The cheat is in the house! Who's the man that looks like the cheat? The cheat! The cheat! Who's the one with yellow feet? The cheat! The cheat! Who's the dude that moves to the beat? The cheat! The cheat. The cheat. How's that? Um, I don't know, the cheat. I don't think it was very good at all. Like, the song was kind of catchy, but the visuals were lacking at best. This is the best video game I've ever played. Hey, stupid! I bought you this stuff. Oh, I mean, I bought you this veggie bogle. Oh, thanks, Homestar. Oh, he's just adorable. He's got a little face. Yeah, I thought that was great, too. The olives um, kind of look like he has eyes. Little green eyes with red pupils and a big leafy smile? Homestar, I don't think I can eat this. He's just too cute. Um, uh, yeah. It's cute and all, but, um, it's not that cute. Oh, yes, he is that cute. Aren't you that cute? Aren't you that cute? Yes, you are. Um, yes, you are. Bed. Oh, yes, you are. Uh, do a little smile I think your phone do a smile. is ringing. That's it. Yeah, hey. definitely your phone's oh, ringing. Oh, I like your letter. Um, are you going to get that? Hi, this is Marzipan. Please leave me a message. Oh, hey, Marzipan. Have you seen the cheat? Because we can't find him anywhere. Anyways, this is Strong Bad. Uh, oh, um, <clears throat> I mean, th this is Homestyle, Rano. Oh, Marzipan. Um, I killed Pom Pom. Yeah, we, we were playing badminton in his yard. And I got mad and I killed him. Oh, no, I need your help. Burying his body. Oh, bring some towels and some garbage bags. <laughs> uh, this is Homestyle. Pom Pom, so. <laughs> oh man, that was so great. You guys should have heard that, man. I pretended to be Homestar and I said I killed you, Pom Pom. <laughs> like, why should you press the out? The cheat. Oh, the cheat. Right, right. Bum bum, sell again. Hello? Hey, Wiener. Is the cheat over there? Don't you guys play Candyland sometimes or something? Oh, no. The cheat and I play Jenga on Tuesdays. Tonight is my night to play. Okay, so the cheat is not there. Thanks. Bye. I mean, where could he be, you know? It's like, what part of Meet Us at the Stick didn't he understand? Well. I guess we should go look for him. Come on, guys. Hey, you guys! This isn't another shakedown, is it? Nah, no, man. We're just looking for the cheat. You seen him? Well, let's see here. Candy bars, popcorns, ketchup, ketchup. Uh, nope. I'm fresh out of cheats. Somebody needs a name. Who needs a name? 
You need a name, that's who. I think I'll call you Homestar Junior. Homestar Junior. Do a smile for me, Homestar Junior. Who's the cutest Homestar Junior? Sorry, boys. I haven't seen the chart. Though I have caught him sleeping in that far locker there from time to time. Let's see what we got in here. Nope, he's not here. Though I see he has been cheating on his New Year's resolution. Though I can't really blame him. You know, because he's the cheat. <laughs> Don't worry, big guy. We'll cut to a montage. I mean, find the cheat. Okay, your turn. Oh no! You shanked my Jenga ship! I shanked your Jenga ship? We're playing Connect Four. Hey you guys, where the cheat is at? Oh, I don't know. It's just us two. Uh, hey Tubbs! I just lost my Jenga jam! Don't you talk to me! The cheat! The cheat! Oh, how's it going, Tyre? So you haven't seen him then? Okay. So I see you still got your pile of what's it there. Ooh, that little yellow thing! Wake up! Hey, look! The king's gone mad with power! He's gonna eat the chart! Oh, I got him, strong man! Hang on, everybody! The king of town was not going to eat the cheat. Oh, jeez. Sorry about that there, kingy. No, 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 no. That's where the cheat lives. That's his house. Wait a minute. The chort lives in the king of town's grill, but you didn't think to check there before now? Uh, well, yeah. I mean, it's a really complicated story. It all started... Hey, guys. Homestar Junior's talking now. Who? He said, put that freaking sandwich down. Yo, it was me. I know it was, sweetie. No, me. Homestar Waddle. You're Homestar Junior, remember? Will you put that freaking sandwich down? There, he said it again. I'm so proud of you. Who's the best Homestar Junior? Homestar Somebody, Junior. can I get some help, you old dog bag? Nobody's better. When someone talks and says to this woman, King, you want to eat that sandwich? Somebody eat that sandwich. Introducing the Homestar Junior. For a limited time only, certain children get prizes. Pay 99 cents. Homestarrunner.com welcome speech. Take one. Action. Oh, hello. Welcome to Homestar10.net. It's dot com. Oh, right. Homestar10.net. It's dot com. Cut. <laughs> Homestarrunner.com welcome speech. Take two. Action. Oh, hey, yo. I'm Homestar Waddle. Nine. Welcome. Welcome. Nine. Two. Two. Nine. Homestarrunner.com. Something.com. Cut. <laughs> Take six. Welcome aboard the USS HomestarWaddle.com. I am your captain, Homestar Waddle. Uh, Bienvenidos a HomestarWaddle.com. Que no te da Miguel. Si, somos buenos amigos. English. Take 13. Okay, this time I'm totally gonna get it. Seriously, you guys. Go ahead. We're rolling. Oh, I am Homestar, and this is the website. Take 25. Uh, no. What? Take 126. Oh, hello. I'm Homestar Waddle. Isn't that great? Oh, I can't take it anymore. <laughs> hello, and welcome to I'm a Big Moron Who Can't Remember His Lines dot com. No, seriously. I'm Strong Bad. And you don't know it yet, but I'm the reason you're here. It's true. Check me out. No, seriously, check me out. So, take a look around. I strongly suggest checking out the Strong Bad emails. 
And this cartoon's not bad. And this game's pretty fun. I mean, I've played it. Truly, there are few guys as stupid as Homestar Runner. But I wanted to unravel all the idiotic ramblings and speech impediments and get down to the chewy, caramel center of this no-armed whitey. What I found was not pretty. It was slimy and smelly and kinda stung my eyes. So, Dumbstar has me meet him in this fruity little marshmallow stand he always goes to. He kept me waiting for a good half hour and I actually watched him walk by the place three or four times before he finally came in. What the crap were you doing out there? Out well. Outside! I watched you prance by like five times, man. Oh, I doubt it. I drove. You don't own a car. Yeah, you're probably white. Okay, let's get down to brass tacks. Oh, I didn't bring any. I drove. Oh, this is gonna be painful. What, the tax? I bet. Try not to sit on them. No, stupid. This is an interview. Oh, well, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Homestar Waddle, and I feel that I will be a great asset to your company. Okay, shut up. Now, first question. What's your freaking problem? Well, if you take a look at my resume, you'll see that I have quite a bit of experience in many different related fields. Cut the crap! Just tell me what your freaking problem is! I can't really think of any. Oh, moving on. I have heard that you enjoy prancing around like an idiot. Is this true? I suppose that answers my question. Now, tell us about your girlfriend Marcipan. What's her deal? She told me today that she thinks your baking has really improved lately. Oh, my baking, eh? And I do enjoy baking every once and again. Interesting. I'll take note of that. So, what else do you do in your spare time? Well, I like to do the jumble sometimes. Uh, hey, wait! I'm asking the questions here. So, who do you think would win in a fight? Strong, sad, or the cheat? Oh, man. That's not even fair. The cheat will win with both hands duct tape behind his back and with little pieces of duct tape covering his eyes. And Strong Sad can have a spear even. On guard? Whoa, good answer. We might have to set that up someday. Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. Well, it can only go down from here, so get out of my face. Da -dee -da 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 do Come on, forward more dance. I said, come on for Hogwarts, guys. I said, come on for Hogwarts, guys. Everybody to the limit, everybody to the limit, everybody come on for Hogwarts, guys. I said, come on for Hogwarts, guys. I said, come on for Hogwarts, guys. Everybody to the limit. Who's that? It's to the limit. Everybody come on for Hogwarts, guys. Come on for Hogwarts, guys. I see you jocking me. Trying to play like you know me. I'm like, come on for Hogwarts. I said, come on for Hogwarts, guys. Everybody to the limit. The cheat is to the limit. Everybody come on for Hogwarts, guys. I said, ooh, ah, for Hogwarts, guys. I said, ooh, ah, for Hogwarts, guys. Who's that for Hogwarts, guys? I said, who is that for Hogwarts, guys? I don't know who it is, but it probably is for Hogwarts, guys. I asked my friend Joe. I asked my friend Jake. They said it was for Hogwarts, guys. I said, come on for Hogwarts, guys. I said, come on for Hogwarts, guys. Who is it to the limit? Say me, I'm to the limit. Everybody come on for Hogwarts, guys. Man, for Hogwarts, guys. You're just making yourself look worse, you know? I mean, everybody's just gonna feel sorry for you. I mean, I do. Now that's what I'm talking about. That was amazing. I mean, you... I I can't take Take it up. I did. I'm buying you a pizza. What's up, fools? I'm Marshy. Capital M and then Arshy. I'm going this way. Why eat some other stuff when you can eat fluffy puff marshmallows? 
Breakfast, lunch, munch, and dinner. Stuff some in your pockets for secret eating. Hide some neat your pillow for sleepy times. Don't you like me? Kids ask for it by name. What? Huh? That's right, kids. Go eat you some Fluffy Puff marshmallows. Now try new Fluffy Puff all marshmallow mayonnaise. Made from the best of. I'm Fluffy. I'm Puffy. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I hate that freaking marshmallow. Parsnip soup it is. Let's make soup. Parsnip soup, eh? We'll make parsnip pie. Oh. This must be the depot. <laughs> Please. We're all out. Where have all the parsnips gone? Bo 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 bo. Jump bag. Now we'll have our parsnip pie, and the home star runner will go hungry. It's curtains for you. What? We'll have a duel. What? Five pieces, turn and fire! What? Ah! Yay! Boo! Now I'll do a dance. How is the soup? Can you spare any mush for me? Sorry, sickly Sam. I wish you'd leave us alone. <laughs> Fat Dudley, you're all wet. second one, they really fell off. I mean, a pajama jammy jam. I rarely know what you're talking about. No, I'm a video game. I don't play video games, so I wouldn't know. What? What are you laughing at? Uh, nothing. You look great. Of course I look great. I'm Debbie. In actuality, I don't think he looks that great. Okay, everyone. Thanks for coming to my party. You all look great. Blah, blah, blah. It's time for the judging of the pumpkins. That was the lightning. The cheat? Would you mind assisting me? Okay, contestant number one. Your name is... Strong? Sad? Uh, anyways, please explain your pumpkin. I call it self-portrait in late October. I call it last place. Ding! Next contestant. I'm doomed. All right, Mr. Of Town. Just what is going on over here? Well, I was at home uh -huh. with the pumpkin. Okay. It was looking what? particularly luscious. Yeah, that's gross. And then uh -huh. the next thing I know is was a, go on. a pie. And then I see, go the on. The next thing I know is okay. oh, the pie was gone. And what? What? Doo -hoo. What do you think, the cheat? I can go. What's place? Ding. Sorry, king, but our princess is in another castle. Boo! All right. 
This guy's tall. Hey, DJ, ask your friend here why come he didn't carve his pumpkin. <laughs> now that's talent. Good prize. All right, coach. What do you got for me? Check it out, yo. Cool. A W. What's that supposed to stand for? Which is blue? No, no, no. It stands for the Wu Tang. Coach Z, are you a posal? Nah, man. I'm down. Down with second to last place. Ding. Just keep walking, the cheat. Oh, brother. What do you make of this guy, the cheat? I know. Me too. What do you have to say for yourself, little man? I'm the ghost of Christmas past. Wow. You've set a new standard for last place. You don't get a ding. And also with you. Pom Pom. What's up, my main man? My dog. My ace in the hole. Second place. What you got here, old Marley Pan? I didn't want to kill mine, so I just left it on the vine. What for? So you could, like, use it in a witch's brew or something? Um, I don't know what that means. Anyway, I wrote a song about it. I left it on the vine. I left it on the line. I mean, I left Not it Not necessarily. Last place. Ding! Homestar, I'm breaking up with you. Hey, dog bad. So, um, are you supposed to be the Green Hornet? What? No! Oh, right, right. You're supposed to be the, um, the Witch's Brew. No, I'm the bee. Like, from nature. Oh, great. So, what's up with your pumpkin? Well, I stabbed it a bunch and then wrapped it in barbed wire. Then I felt sorry for it, so, um, I gave it some googly eyes. That sure was nice of you. You get most improved. Ding! Hey, Bugs. Hey, Homestar. What's up? Not a whole lot. What's that? That's just my pumpkin. Cool. Does it do anything? Oh, yeah. Check this out. Whoa, looks like you scared the cheat. Yeah, I guess I did. Not last place. I feel so fine. I feel so elated. I feel so fine. I feel well, so elated. Well, I guess that's everybody. Thanks for your help, the cheat. You all did great. Hope to see you again next year. Well, who won? I think that your rating system is questionable. Oh, right, right. A winner and such. Well... I won! Ding! What the? What's going on here? Yeah, what's going on? Huh? Oh man, you guys are so stupid. You thought I dressed up as Debbie? This is the best costume ever. Now wait a minute. Then who's that strong bad over there? <gasps> it's that goblin! Oh, that explains everything. Ding! Um, hey, the cheat. Mm -hmm. I had a really important question I wanted to ask you about your costume. Are you supposed to be dressed up as some kind of a witch's brew? Mm -hmm. Wait, wait. I had another question I wanted to ask you. It's not about witch's brew. Okay, it's about witch's brew, but just seal me out. Wow. I can't believe the night of the big Decemberween pageant is finally arrived. After all the weeks and weeks of rehearsing and practicing and memorizing lines... Homestar, I don't think those are your lines. What? <laughs> the Decemberween pageant is brought to you by... Fluffy Puff Marshmallows and Marshmallow Mayonnaise. Maybe from the best of... And Litigation Jackson in theaters December 27th.
puts on a Burger King crown and thinks he's cock of the block. I can't believe they cast Homestar as the king of town. Yep, they did. At least I still get to play Dr. Christmas. I can't wait Oh, to- yeah. I forgot to tell you about that. Uh. uh, Kingy, you can go home. Archibald, we've got to find the first Decemberween. I'll search down by the docks. What? The docks. I'll search down by the docks. Oh, I thought you said ducks. Good thinking. I'll come with you. Now that's what I call acting, boys. Don't go too far, bubs. You're on again in Farve. I hardly recognize the cheat. His costume is really convincing. We'll need 50 bags of Joel. I mean, gold. 50 bag of golds. I just can't do it, Dr. Christmas. Famine has ruined all the town's gold. Let us away, popular vote. Okay, that's all you're getting out of me. Guy's like a friggin' house. Ow! Oh, I'm totally freaking out here. Can't remember my lines, and if I don't remember my lines, then I'll ruin the whole play. Or at least the pageant. How unfortunate! Oh, what a terrible fate has bestowed with me. Have become to me. There's a squid. I'll never forget you. Popular vote, not in a million years. <laughs> Don't cry. Popular votes aren't supposed to cry. You might rust. <laughs> oh, hey, oh. Where's Strong said? He's on in two scenes. Oh, he got nervous and went to the bathroom. I think he might be upchucking. Hey, Strongman, I need you to go get your brother. Bum, bum, bum! Bum, bum, bum! Course you are, big guy. Course you are. Everyone's searching and looking and searching. And everyone's hanging around. And who can be sure if we're looking for something? And looking for something I am. I'll be there in a second. Tell him to make something up until I get out there. Everybody knows me. My name Cornbread. Ah, uh, I found that computer. I think it can help us. So, this computer you speak of, where is it? Um, on the moon. No, it's a moon computer. Remember your line, remember your line. To do their taxes. I can take you there. Everyone hop on. Behold, the first December weed. What? This is the first Decemberween ever! Um, What's going on here? What happened to my website? The system is down, yo. Oh, the system. Why, why? Yeah, I think too many people tried to log on. Uh, sorry about that. What are you sorry for? It's my website. Um, I don't think they're coming to see you, Homestar. What, you think everybody's logging on to watch Tape Leg? Yeah, that's a good one. Hey, shut up! The Tape Leg is cool. Well, when do I get my website back? Oh, any time now. We've got our top men working on it round the clock. Well, I found the problem. Looks like somebody tried to cram a lamb a Swiss cake roll into the disk drive. Oh, really? Uh, what are you looking at me for? I did. Uh, so, Bubs, what are you gonna do with that Swiss cake roll? Take me to the house! Take me to the house! Um, hey, Tough Skins, uh. The game's been over for about six hours now. Set it and forget it. Take it to the house! Yeah. Yeah, okay. I'll, uh, I'll take this to the house.
Wow, that guy's really taking it to the house. Homestar Runner. That name is dumb. It sounds like it is so dumb. Well, what's your moniker? I go by Stinko Man. That's the name of talented fighter if ever there was one. Okay, if you say so. Would you care for some dry meal? <laughs> no way. I'm training for fighting, or maybe a challenge. So what's that thing you're kicking around? Oh, that's just an old can of water soup. I kick it around ever since my dog washed away in the storm of 28. You seem like you might not be from around here. Do you have any special powers? I can play a mean washboard. What is that? What is that? Some kind of robot? What's a robot? You don't know what a robot is? <laughs> you are so dumb! <laughs> dumb! Oh, go soak your fat head. Are you asking for a challenge? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, I am. Double news! Do it. Ah, my eye! It's like my eye! It hurts so bad! Well, folks, you know what that means. Now I'll do a dance. <laughs> that dance cracks me up. <laughs> you gotta teach me. Just kinda shimmy and shake. Yeah, now I got it. 20 XT6. 1936. 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 Dog bag. Hey, dog bag. Can I borrow your fight do part again? Oh, you're not here. I'll get to the bottom of this. <laughs> Dear strong bag, where are you? Your friend Homestar. Oh, in the basement from SB. Oh, that must stand for Stormba. <laughs> Hey guys, what you playing? Uh, playing? No, we're uh, we're doing the cheats taxes. Double two. Boring. I don't want to play that. Ah, oh, stupid peasant. Gangar. Whoa, it's pretty cool. Gangar. Gangar. All right, who's next? Okay, fine. Oh, right. There you go, little buddy. Tom Dar! Oh, nice move. You're a master. Hey, can you guys do my taxes next? You guys? Man, that's one big adding machine. Gangar! The cheat, 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 the more like you got me a drink! Hey, don't sass back with me! Ah, uh, we need to figure out how to get some drinks. Like, without having to actually get some drinks. <laughs> oh, the man with the plan! TV show. TV show. TV show. Hey guys, what you doing? Oh, just looking at a thing in a bag. Oh, cool. Can I see? No. It's for me. And the cheat. <coughs> and strong man to look at. Oh, I'm not any of those. How are you Yes, so. Looking at a thing in a bag. 
Hey, Homestar, what you doing? Oh, uh, you know, hanging out with the guys. Hey, guys, this is the life, right? Sure is, man. Looking at a thing in a bag, drinking drinks. Oh, oh yeah, Homestar, why don't you go get us cool guys some drinks? Okay, cool guy. Whoa, check it out. What can I get for you? Um, four drinks for four cool guys. You mean for you, strong bad, strong man, and the cheat? Yeah. How did you know that? Oh, I don't know nothing about nothing. Yeah, but how did you? Nothing. But that's weird that you. Nothing. Okay, you're weird. So what kinds you want? Uh, how about two reds, a blue, and an orange? Coming right up! So, Bubs, have you seen that thing in a bag? Oh, yeah! That's freaking awesome! Oh, right. Me too. Yeah, I think so, that it is, too. Here you go! Thanks, Bubsy! One more time! Check it out, 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 check it out! Appears that I'm still looking at this thing in a bag. Drinks, cool guys! Just put them down right there. Check. Now, leave. Check. Wow, it worked! Free drinks! Good thinking, the cheat. Looking at a thing in a bag. I am truly the greatest guy. Did the plan work? What a charm! Yeah, drink up. Thanks for donating these drinks to our cause. Oh, I forgot my blue drink. Sweet mother of mystery! What's going on here? Uh, drinking drinks in the stick. But what about looking at a thing in some bags? It escaped. Into the mountains. Oh, shucks. I never got to see it. I thought you said you had! I lied. I was trying to be a cool guy. Liar! Oh well. <laughs> of course! Nice trick, liar! Oh wow! Cool! Um, that bag's empty, Homestar. Super cool! Yeah, there's nothing in it! This is freaking awesome! Oh, almost makes the free drinks not worth it! Oh yeah! Looking at a thing in a bag. I mean, I think I'm a cool guy. The end, 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 the end
Greetings, fellows. I'm Mr. Schmallow. Have you grown low with of ordinary confections? Has the sugar shack left you out in the cold? Look lively in today's go get 'em lifestyle with Fluffy Puff Air Puffed Sugar Delights. Each delight is hand puffed with a blend of only the finest airs. Air puffing is surely the future of eating delicious foodstuffs. Mr. Bossman wouldn't settle for much less. Add open flames to create a flavor taste that'll send you to the moon. Air puffed sugar delights. That's right, the moon. Enjoy fluffy puffed air puffed sugar delights. Hand puffed at the factory in New Consum. Fluffy puffed air puffed sugar delights. Hand puffed at the factory in New Consum. Fluffy puffed air puffed sugar delights. Hand puffed at the factory in New Consum. Look lively. Look lively. That monster's gonna give me nightmares. Snap! I'm Marshy again. You better believe it's new Fluffy Puff Malloween orange and black flavored marshmallows. They taste the same, but look. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, must have got a toenail caught in my throat. They taste the same, but look different. Boogity boogity! I'll scare your dad. Those little punks next door won't know what hit him when you serve up a satchel full of Malloween Fluffy Puffs. Why? Weird. That's right, you two. Kids, demand Fluffy Puffs for tricks and treats. Oh, hello, little boy or little girl. Would you care for a fun time treat? No way! Oh, wait, 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 wait. A tidal wave of marshmallows. I'm so goosed up, I'm swimming in them. Tell Montenegro. Boy, yes. They fit on top of each other. Stack them to the heavens, stack them to the heavens. I, I can, can write, write a song called Stack, stack them to the Heavens. What more do they want? Come on, guys. Isn't that enough to get you to try Fluffy Puff Malloweens? They're orange. Doo -doo. They're black. Doo -doo. Look for the one with me on the bag, dressed as a vampire. I thought you said you were the star of this one. Oh, right. I made that up. But I did get to keep this cool eyeball. See? See? What are you doing? Isn't that the sound that, um, eyeballs make? See? See? And 16 cents is your change. Whoa, free money. So, what are you getting into tonight, Homestar? I don't know. Marzipan and those are gonna try to summon the spirit of a dead ficus plant. But that sounds dumb and boring. So I'll probably just end up trick-or-treating. What about Strong Bad? What's he doing? I don't know. You can never tell with that guy. Okay, Bobs. I'll have 90 rolls of toilet paper and 60 dozen eggs. And a corn dog. I got it all packed up for you in the wagon round back. Thanks, Pally. What is he up to? Now Strong said I need to make contact with Credenza. Homestar watered him with Yoohoo while I was in Miami, and he died, and now I really miss him. Okay, I'll need a photograph of the deceased and two box Oreos. Oh, this is gonna be so great, you guys. Everybody's houses and pumpkins and trees won't know what hit them. But you gotta be great. Hey guys, what's up? What are we doing here? Making omelets? Going to the bathroom? I'm cool with that. Get out of here, old man. We're gonna be pelting people like you and houses like your castle with these eggs. Come on, let me hang out. No way. Forget it. Come on, those dudes. Let's go hit Marzipan's gaze bowl. I'm dressed to Hamburgle. Rubble, rubble. I bet I get a million pounds of candy this year. A million pounds. Whatever. I'm going for quality over quantity. Same here, Bubsy. I'm holding out for cookies with gold-plated chocolate jorbs. <sighs> we'll see about that. Come on, Bob Bob. Let's go find some houses giving away lead candies. Let her rip. <laughs> yes, 
All will tremble at the crack of our eggs and the hush of our two-ply toilet papers. I know how to use toilet paper. Let me try. Listen, <clears throat> your highness. We're about to egg the ever-loving crap out of your castle. It just won't be any fun if you're standing there. Yeah, it will. On account of I'm totally cool. No, you're not. But we're prepared to give you a dozen of these oh. eggs and let you wash it down with a roll of toilet paper in exchange for you leaving us alone for the rest of eternity. It's a deal! That's what I thought. What the? Oh, I remember this house from a couple of years ago. Trick or treat? Come on, man. Okay, trick or treat. Ah, oh, zag nut. Yeah, ah, oh, zag nut. No, no, ah, oh, zag nut. Right, right. Ah, oh, zag nut. Oh. Check out my new cosplay. I'm a demon on wheels. That tickles. Wow, Bob Bob. Did you know that lady? Why'd she give you a hundred bucks? All I got was a dang old bit of honey. Okay, Bob Bob, you knock this time. Fine, I'll ring the doorbell. Ding, 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 ding. The boobs with trickle treat. Suit yourself. More for me. Lay it on me, poop stick. Credenza. 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 It's been two hours and we haven't heard anything. Credenza must hate me. No, no. Maybe I just need to do this some more. Credenza. What's that? That must be him. Yep. That sounds like a ficus. Let me in! Da, da, da. Let me in! Hey, you're not a dead ficus plant. You're so smart. I'm home so much. Get in here, you guys. You're gonna scare away Credenza. <laughs> Oof. Not bad for a first course. I'm still hungry. I told you I'd get a million limbs of candy. That sure doesn't smell like candy. Hey, you're right. Boopsmith, did you give me some bum candy? He sure did! I'm open for interpretation! Any minute now. Ooh! Whoa, electrical disturbances! There's definitely a powerful spirit present! You mean like, the spirit of giving? You've got to be kidding me! Stop doing that right now. Stop what? I don't do nothing. Stupid, stupid king of town. He gets on my nerves. What the crap? I think this is it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, that's not really the yeah. conventional way to roll a house, but uh, whatever yeah. works. Yeah, yeah. Huggins. Oh, high strong mad. Stupid. This is stupid. Stupid. He ate the candy corn. Oh, rice. what's going on in here? You guys having one of those stupid moron parties or something? Okay, everybody say it with me this time. Whoa, the lights went out. Whoa, magic. Yep, I've dealt with this before. Lights, definitely out. And somebody's a grabbing uh, my butt. Credenza, you're alive! Saints be praised! Credenza's alive! Yay! Yay! It's Strong Man! Got you through toilet paper and stuff! Yay! Yeah. And I got a million pounds of candy! Yay! And the goblin showed up dressed up like a Santaman! Yay! Yay. Hey, Strong Bad, I really like your El DeBarge costume. I'm not El DeBarge. No, no, he's Miami Sound Machine. No, I'm not. He's Darren Strait Darby. No, I'm Garmin Freakin' Mer- No, wait. I'm Ozone from Bregan.
Hey, Coach Z, I really like your Wesley Snape's outfit. I'm Cool Moldy! You know, from the Treacherous 3! Oh, see, I only saw Treacherous 1 and 2, so, um, I wouldn't know. Well, Strong said this is a beautiful house you got there. This is not my beautiful house. Oh, and I haven't been introduced to your beautiful wife yet, neither. This is not my beautiful wife. Hey, Marzipan, what's with your sweater costume? The log lady, huh? Maybe you should get together with the poopsmith. Say, Bubs, I really like your Dory Man outfit. Whatever you say, Homestar. Hey, the cheat. Um, dress up as something different next to you. Things creeping me out. Cool. Flaming Poopsmith. Code Z, Code Z, one, two, one, two. Code Z, one, two, one, two. Code Z, Code Z, one, two, one, two. Code Z, one, two, one, two. These people, these people, these people try to fade. These people, these people, these people try to fade. These people, these people, these people try to fade. Tried to tell me where my lasers at Then your mother tried to show me all the laser crabs And I got a bunch of types of bunch of laser tabs You said it to cheat. Once we get our hands on Bubs' fundraiser candy bars, our troubles will be over. We can retire, maybe get a little place in Strong Barrier, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, remember the drill. Go straight for the crispy, crackly ones. Don't waste your time on them plain old chocolates. Those things are fool's gold. Okay, hand me the explosives. Cheat, I told you to remove the fathoom! All we needed was the bang! Oh no, we've been found! Oh no, we've been... Oh no, we've been found out. I might have guessed you was behind all this. Coach Z, get these lowlifes out of my sight. You set me up! You set me up! The cheat, tell, tell him that he set you up. You set me up! Dear prisoner number 5408, aka Strong Bad, aka Professor Tor Cool Guy. I can only hope your incarceration turns your life around as much as it has mine. I feel cooler and less like I suck so bad. I've made some changes around the house, 
But your computer room is now my Tai Chi space. Quite all way. Great. Well, I gotta go. Marzipan and I have a baklava in the oven. Hoping you don't get shivved. Strong sad. You gotta get us out of the joint, man. I don't think the cheetah's gonna make it. <laughs> Sweet lady freedom! Let's make out! <laughs> hey, shut up. What are you horning in on my girl? Only I get to make out with. <laughs> oh, right. The escaping. I brought you a cake! Hey, lady. Homestar, did you know that crime is on the rise? Yeah, I know. Is it? Yes, things are very serious now. So what are you going to do to protect me? Um, I could put a dash between Homestar and Ronald from now on. Really? You do that for me? <laughs> no, of course not. Oh, man, the cheat. We struck it rich this time. Now we can retire to the moon! So, describe to me what the perpetrator looked like. Head to head, like a big old round old okay. red old uh -huh. nasty old egg. I see. And hands looked like biscuit dough. Uh huh. Is this the man? It was biscuit dough hands, man. I knew it. Oh, come on, the cheat. Quit being such an old de cheat. We gotta come out of retirement for this one last job. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's like this. The ransom money becomes the new retirement money. And the retirement money becomes the new college fund. And the college fund, ah, we blow on a really tricked out van. <laughs> yes! Another victim claimed by Strongbad's powers of persuasion. No living the cheat can resist the P.O.P. <laughs> Hang on, I'm not done yet. And, uh, um, okay, I was done, let's go. Poop Smith, I'm home! Man, I feel like some serious biscuit dough. Poop Smith? Poop Smith? Poop Smith? Dun dun dun. They've stolen my Poop Smith! Alright, Pom Pom. The Poop Smith is missing, and we got to find him. We're your first and last line of defense. Only you can prevent scouting. Boy, do we need forest fires! Aha! Pom Pom! What are you doing out past curfew? Don't play games with me, roundy man. Just who are you walking with? Homestar Runaway? Sounds like a no good nick to me. Pom Pom, did you step in something? Alright, duty man. It's time to deliver my ultimate ultimatum. The cheat? Ready with the video camera. <laughs> Wait, hang on. I almost forgot to disguise my identity. Now we're ready. Attention, Attention whatever weirdos are concerned, concerned about the Poopsmith. Oh, hey, Strongman. What the? Oh, holy crap. I thought I smelled bacon. How'd you find us? We followed this mysterious trail the Poopsmith left. Ew. That, and we got an anonymous tip from Strongsad. I told him you were behind the fence. You sold me out. You sold me out. The cheat, tell him that he... Oh, never mind. Oh, man, it's just strong bad. Once again, Biscuit Doane's man slips through our fingers. <laughs> well, kids and people, it just goes to show. Strong Sad doing Tai Chi is really, really funny. Hey! What? It was. You all like... Kakule, pa, ping. Who wants mm, bakalava? Welcome to lava, anybody? Hi, this is Marzipan. Hello, Marzipan. This is Professor Thor, cool guy. I was just calling to see if you'd be interested in preparing for your doom. Er, not really calling to see. I, I shouldn't have really given you a choice. I mean, uh, you should just go ahead and prepare for your doom. Because it's on its way, man. Gonna be some doom. Ho <laughs> ho! Great idea, the cheat! Even on the inside, Professor Tor Cool Guy cannot be stopped! Dun dun dun! Uh. 
Hey, Stickly Man, what are you doing? Correct me if I'm wrong, but are you asking for a challenge? Dot dot dot. 20 XD6! I 20 XD6 did you good. Did we miss a challenge? Where you been, ladies? I had to take care of Stickly Man myself. Well, so how was it? Uh, it was okay. The fighting was decent, but it wasn't much of a challenge. Huh? <laughs> good question, Pan Pan. I don't know what he was digging for. How about a hup? Hey, this isn't dirt, it's pudding! I want pudding! We deserve a break! Eating pudding with a spoon! <laughs> Whoa, the Chi! I can't believe what cool boots you have on. Where did you get them? Oh, I see. A cute girl and an astronaut gave them to you. Yes, I'll go get you a patty melt. Dang, the Chi, I like your boots. Thanks for calling me. The Chi is wearing cool boots. Can I have my shoe back? Thanks, one million. Talk to you later. The cheat, I made your favorite, a picnic plate with wine and a baguette. Can I get you something else? I'll have some soup. The cheat, get that man some soup. Okay, hot soup is on my eye. Oh no, now you're doing a hip hop dance on my head. Hey, that's a good dance. High five, the cheat. Get out of here, Nebulon. No one likes your style. Itchy, do you like Nebulon's style? Purple boxing gloves? Did you do any fact checking before you turned this in? And what if I did that to you? Oh yeah, the cheat, he's a striped green rabbit with two butts. <coughs> but you made my underwear showing. Everybody knows I don't wear underwears. Hmm, <coughs> all right. You get uh, an iron cup full of Brunswick stew. <coughs> but let me tell you, with a little extra effort, it would have been a trophy full of steakums. <coughs> guy drops a couple of JPEGs in his cartoon and thinks he's like the guy who draws the lockhorns or something. Now that guy knows funny. Ladies all the time be asking me, Coosty, how come you don't dance no more? And I say, ladies, ladies, just give me a chance to do a hip hop dance. Give me a chance to do a dance. Oh, yeah. Give me a chance to do a hip hop dance. Give me a chance to do a dance. Two times. The Roger Rabbit, the Cabbage Patch, the Locomotive. Go see. How come you don't dance no more? Just give me a chance to do a hip hop dance. Give me a chance to do a dance. Give me a chance to do the hip hop dance. dance. Give me Come a on. Chance to do a dance. Give me a chance. Top 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 top. Time to paratroop behind enemy lines. Top 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 top. Surprise surprise, Fireboard. Silent Rip, you snuck up on me. That's what I do best. Time to take out the enemy radar dish. We're outnumbered. We need reinforcements. Did somebody say my name? Reinforcements! Just this rocket, backpack, rocket, rocket, fire! Mission accomplished. Time for some R&R. &R. 
Cheat Commandos! Rock, rock, rock on! on! Cheat Commandos, only from Cheap as Free Toys. Collect them all! Fight Guard, Krakotage, Silent Rip, Firebird, Gun Haver, Flash Fight, Rip Burger, Fox Face, Reinforcements, and Reynolds. And don't forget new Cheat Commandos vehicles and playsets! There's the Troop Carrier, the Troop Transport, and the Action Figure Storage Truck. Then take the action even further with Reynolds Apartment Extreme playset! Ugh, oh, I really need to go grocery shopping! I wish my girlfriend didn't leave me. All new Cheat Commandos from Cheap as Free Toys. Cheat Commandos, rock, rock on. And now, tune in weekdays for Cheat Commando adventures on the inside of your TV. Those loonies are gonna blow up the ocean. We'll blow up the ocean! Quick, everyone, to the action figure storage vehicle. Cheat Commandos is an elite fighting force sworn to protect the world from the evil forces of Blue Laser. Crush the Cheat Commandos! I just hate you so much! Cheat Commandos! Rock, rock on! Those are probably battling evil by all our play sets and toys! Weekdays at 4.30. The cheat! I need you to open up this can of peas. What? Huh? The cheat! You turned into like a giant guitar! You never told me you could do that! Wait a minute. What good is a giant guitar if you're not a giant guitar. ist? Why couldn't you transform into like a semi? Or at least a tape player? You're like. I don't think I like you like this. You're way taller than me. And way. Guitarer than me. <laughs> what the? The cheat? You mean you can't turn into a giant guitar after all? Then what good are you? <laughs> hey, you opened my can of peas. Thanks, the cheat. Now let's go pour these on that anthill I found. <laughs> It's gotta be a hundred degrees out here and I'm running on empty. Come on, fight guard. Just a little further. The secret entrance to Blue Laser's secret desert headquarters has to be in this secret desert somewhere. You'd think so, but are we even sure they have a desert hideout? I think I remember hearing something about it on the news. The cheat commandos will never find our desert headquarters! Since we relocated to my Nana's backyard! The burgers are done, sir. Fantastic! Are we there yet? I'm tired! Me too. We need some energy fast. Look! It's that guy! That flies that plane! Look out below, Geronimo! <laughs> We're saved! Sugar Crunchy Cheat Commandos! Oh, Sugar Cereal! Part of this nutritious breakfast! New Cheat Commandos O's! O's the O's! Sugar Cereal is a delicious part of this complete delicious breakfast! And take some vitamins too! Which one of you ate the last bratwurst? Nice try, Blue Laser! This party is busted! What the crap? Sugar Crunchy Cheat, Cheat Commandos! O's Sugar Cereal! Well, that's just great! She commandos O's! Rock, rock, rock on. on! I hate you! And now, try Cheat Commandos O's with Fluffy Puff Marshmallows O's. Sergeant Marshy reporting for duty, sir! Would somebody get this flying cotton ball out of my face? Cheat Commandos O's, ridiculous breakfast! Buy all our places and toys! Are you having a problem buying a home or something? Fret no more! Hi there, Belinda's. I'm Sonar Card Gauge for Sonar Card Gauge Mort Gauge. We can help you get a leg up on the pile. Low rates, percent signs, I don't know. Bad credit? No probalo. Home loan, escrow, refinancing, you name it, we've got it. 
Come along down for a free consultation with one of our handsome talking experts. One of them said they'd buy me lunch, but I don't see nobody taking me to Chick-fil-A. Smart card gauge, mort gauge, help consolidate my whole life into this tiny box. Thanks, Snor Mort Gage. You're very welcome, Valerie. Act now and see if you can stand to talk to me for more than four seconds. Get a leg up on the pile and refinance your dreams. Come along down and dial five 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 eight five 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 Snor Gage today. No problemo. That Time of Year by Lemmer oh, Sports Interviews. December Ween is almost here. Get ready. The Giant Mantis is almost here. Get ready to be pistol whipped, snowman. Or Erwinga is the name of the striped worm. Get dead, kid. Does the package have troll a troll in, in it? Or maybe a, a troll? Snow falls from the above. It's cold when it snows. Now, a million eyeballs fall from the above. The boy gets financial advice from the Rat King. Or, show the future, magic ball. It burns flesh when it glows. The Martins sing festive songs for the neighbors. The Martinis have gone straight to their heads. The neighbors will probably call the cops. Wear a hat. Don't forget to wear a hat. I swear, that thing is evil. Liberace is fixing to lose a finger. Greta is making cookies. When will they be done? Greta is feeding the mouse bug spray. When will he be done for? The store is crowded with robots bursting out of people. Other people. Oh, the oh, humanity. Boy. December Ween is here. December Ween is here. Today. Radioactivity is here. Growing arms out of heads is here. Today. Or. I am here stealing your presents. Sorry, kids. Today is not your lucky day. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Holiday cabbage! Hey Steve! Get your sassy fresh out my burled holiday cabbage! Hey Steve! It's a miracle. Didn't I invent this cartoon? Yeah, I think so. Then how come I can't understand a lick of it? What's not to understand? A Steve's mouth exploded the universe, and that blonde guy did a tiny, tiny dance. Oh, right. The true meaning of December Wayne. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. Pfft. Whatever. I'm gonna go re-nog. Will you turn the lights back on when you come back in? The color of infinity inside an empty glass I'm squinting my eye and turning off and on and on and off the light It's for this experimental film which nobody knows about And which I'm still figuring out what's going to go
One, two, three, four. Seasonal sweaters with presents and bows. Snowmen and trees and sometimes a bell. A bell. Seasonal sweaters. Seasonal sweat. Na 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 na. Na 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 yeah. Acrylics and yarn. Rayons and knits. Seasonal sweaters provide the best fit. Best fit. Yeah 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 yeah. We now return to Cheat Commandos. So then I grabbed the blue laser by his collar and said, You better break yourself. Haha, <laughs> 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 ha, yeah. That's like how I labeled and alphabetized all you guys' combat accessories so it'll save on valuable mission time. K -k click click booyah. Uh. It's a blue laser alert! Bring it up on screen! Blue laser's been spotted at a local grocery store on double coupon day! With the money blue laser could potentially save from those double coupons, they could buy all kinds of super weapons that, like, turn babies into gold or screw with the weather! Cheat commandos! Time to rock, rock on! Can I come too? <laughs> Good one, Renolda! You can't shoot and you can't fly. If you came with us, you'd probably die! <laughs> I never get to go on any missions. I would be a good mission. Guy. It looks like Blue Laser's going to take advantage of price styles already low, low prices on paper towels and grout cleaner and use all the savings to make a button that will make it snow at the beach. But sir, what about beach volleyball? There won't be any more beach volleyball. <gasps> Fight car, use one of your awesome disguises to do a little undercover work. Gulp. Step off, Blue Laser. Get your hands off those diskettes and fiscal reports. Don't make me use this gun that I have. Reynolds Commandos, let's rock and roll! What happened to our buggy? That other guy that looks just like me is using it to help some old lady do her shopping, sir. Old lady suck! Yeah. Could you reach that tub of old lady rum for me, young man? Cause I'm an old lady! I never doubted that you were a lady, sir. Ma'am. Alright, Grandma, make it quick! I was just wondering if you kind sonnies knew anything about making it snow at the beach. No, but I know how to end awkward conversations with the elderly! Let's go check out! Blue Laser's making his move! All right, Cheat Commandos, let's move! Fire the new grappling hook zipline! Firebird, you stay here and think of a better commando name. Whee! Why, yes, Foxface, I'd love to take you out on a classy date. But first, I need to save the world from Blue Laser using my very own Justice Rocket Backpack Rocket Reynolds Rocket! Whoa! Oh, my land. I can't see this ending well. Oh crap! I forgot my Price Style Plus card! Not so fast, Blue Laser! Ah! Oh, I'm so sick of you people! The express lane is for ten items or less. You've got too, too many! Those are the twins! Ooh, uh, ooh, uh. Sir! Cheat Commando's headquarters playset is under attack! We've been had, boys! This grocery store crap was just a diversion! Back to base, we're gonna head and make sure Reynold isn't dead! <laughs> we Reynold, are you alright? What happened here? Nice jacket! Oh, Gunhaver, it's all my fault. 
I was upset that you never let me go on any missions, so I tried on reinforcements Justice Rocket Backpack Rocket Rocket. So you could defend our base from Blue Laser! Gah! Good work, soldier! It's not your fault they got away! What? Next episode, Blue Laser! Next episode! Buy all the places and toys! Ground cleaner is working, sir. Fan freaking tastic! At last we'll have the edge we need to crush the cheat commandos! Guess what I read in the newspaper today? I can't guess. I read that a ghost. You read that a ghost what? I read that a ghost is. You read that a ghost is what? I read that a ghost is here in town and there's a 27 cent reward for its capture. <laughs> you said it, fat duds. We sure could buy a lot of corn pone with 27 big ones. Says here in the newspaper that the encapturement of the new apparition got us top reward of 26 and 1 pennies. We could buy the monocle off Rockefeller's very eyeball with that kind of cash. Ah. Let's check out the old pie timer place. We should split up. We can do more damage that way. Under here? Let's see. Maybe it's in here. <coughs> Just a mauve. Ow. Darn it. Under here? That picture my drawing looks sir suspicious. It's just two weird one eyed crows. Ha ah, fooey. Fat Dudley, were you gonna sneak a nip a hooch? Oh, there's no ghosts here. Just a bunch of gross animals. Let's go look somewhere else. Listen smoothly, the sneak. We're certain to catch a ghost once we exhume this grave using my new grave exhuming invention. Ah. What, what? Why, no. Of course that's not just the strong man holding a shovel. It's my newest invention. Besides, the strong man's over there doing some manner of stylish jig. Would you please keep it down? The Hamstar Runner, I'm so, 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 so scared. Scared of what? Pumpkins? They're just pumpkins. But I'm so, 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 so scared. Oh, fine. We'll go look in the graveyard. Hooray! You're too late. The reward will be ours. I'll be marching around in gold pants in no time. Where is the ghost? Behold, the fantastic phantasm. That's no ghost. That's just our worst friend, Sickly Sam. I bury myself alive on Tuesdays. Criminy crickets, foiled again. Then where's the real ghost? <laughs> At least we'll never go hungry again. Except for Fat Dudley. He's living the high life. Da -da -da -da.
All right, boys. It's Halloween night. What are we going to do? <laughs> Come again? <laughs> What's wrong there, Philly cheatsteak? You got us some hiccups? <laughs> well, you picked the perfect night to have them. We shouldn't have a problem scaring those hiccups out of you on Halloween. Let's see what's going on tonight. There's got to be something scary. Ooh, that's perfect. I seen some stuff in that locker room that would scare more than just the hiccups out of you, let me tell you. Let's check it on out. <laughs> you scared yet to cheat? What about that drippy towel over there? That's pretty scary, huh? <laughs> Oh, no, please don't drip on me. <laughs> you smell like shin guards. <laughs> Crickety toe, Tommy John surgery. <clears throat> Coach, we're trying to scare the hiccups out of the cheat. <laughs> you got anything that's not just gross and moist? What could be scarier than blue star ointment? Or warrior? All right, this has gone from weird and kind of gross to a serious health risk. <laughs> Let's bolt. Hey, you guys didn't even get your candy out of the toilet there. This night, black as pitch, doom from inside me wells up. Pray I don't get egg. I don't know or care what a haiku is, <laughs> but we need to scare the cheat. Oh, I've got just a thing. Rapping at the door fills up aged pillowcase. So sick of Smarties. Oh, I get it. Let me try one. A butt for a face. Little brother, dork, dork, dork. Stay out of my room. <laughs> oh, sorry to cheat. Looks like we gotta find some other way to scare the ever-loving hiccups out of you. You don't scare the hiccups out of somebody. You gotta laugh them out. Whoa, that sounds like a segue. I mean, seriously, people, it's the 90s. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> Am I left? <laughs> Say, Bubs, your comedy club here bears a striking resemblance to the side of your concession stand. Oh, that's rich. You know something else that bears a striking resemblance to something else? I don't know. Women can't drive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's get out of here, my bad pennies. This guy cracks me up. And airline food. I mean, having a what? <laughs> hurry, hurry, hurry! Before I eat it all, step right up and get your Halloween on! Bobbin Fur Turduckins! Dear Oldie, shut up! Your pal, Strong Bad. Oh, Mashed Potato Jones. Now there's a fella I'd like to meet. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, we need to get rid of the cheat's hiccups. You got any grody old man remedies? Sure! You gotta feed and feed the hiccups until they mature into liver failure, and then- We're not trying to kill the cheat! Don't you have anything that could just scare him? I have this x-ray of my heart! <laughs> That's not scary. That's... promising. Come on, the cheat. Let's let the king die in peace. Yes, let's! What's up, no talkers? Keep on, no talking. <laughs> I blew it, man. I lose my touch. What's this mess? Ready, everybody? A one and a two and a here we go. La 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 la. la the cheat. This is it. This is the most terrifying thing I've ever seen. <laughs> oh man. Good job, the cheat. Now try harmonizing with the butternut squashes. La, 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 this la, might not get rid of the hiccups, la, la, but it's about to give me the throw ups. Oh, yeah. Lay it on me, Mr. Corn. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Hey, guys, guys, guys. You guys, uh, need some witch's brew? I got some right here. Two jars. Cold, hot, fresh witch's brew. Only ten bucks a pop. Side effects include wine, women, and song. Witch's brew, eh? All right, we'll take one jar. Here you go. <laughs> oh, crap, you still got them. That'll be ten bucks. Please drive around to the second window. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. But, uh, can you pay us the ten bucks tomorrow? <laughs> yeah, I'm good for it. I'll pay you the ten bucks right now. Hey, the cheat. <laughs> I'll give you ten bucks if you stop hiccuping. Hang on. 
Ooh. Hey, Homestar, I'll give you 10 bucks if you stop breathing. Okay, you got a deal. Uh, <sighs> uh, strong man. I couldn't do it for very long. Mm, I'd try again. 10 is a lot of bucks. Why, why? A lot of ducks. Uh, <sighs> uh, 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 I think I'm dressed up as some kind of a golf cart. So I got that going for me. Which is nice. Oh man, the cheat. Your pile of leaves costume is so adorable. It's adorable. Hello, kitties. I meet the Joker. Hey, Marzi. I just can't wait for you to get on the road again. And get hit by a school bus. So, Bubs, your approach this year was to ensure that absolutely no one recognized your costume. You got it! So, big boy, eh, Pam Pam? I was gonna go with Andre 3000 myself. Alarm for 10 p.m. instead of a.m. again. I was supposed to go to Semaween shopping today. Oh crap! It's the Semaween already. Oh crap! I ran into the door. Oh crap! I fell down the stairs. <sighs> and now I ran out of the house naked somehow. Ooh, but it is snowing. I love you, Tony Stoney! No, I love you more! This thing is awesome! The Grabo arm demands respect! I'd like to see somebody front on this! Hey, the cheat! Grab a hold of that eggnog! Thanks, man! Listen up, shortstop! I need some presents! Arms for the Pudgy! Realms for the purgy. Um, I don't know what any of that means. But I will make use of your complimentary spit bucket. Act poo. You're a real state trooper. Bubs, I need to buy every one of the brother to semi weed presents. <laughs> Running a little late, aren't we, Homestar? I've got an hour and 45 minutes. What do you got? Well, there's a bunch of my Art 4 crap in that filthy box over there. Gotta make room for the Art 5 crap. Okay, what do we got here? Electrical tape? Pom Pom loves electrical tape. What else, what else? Ooh, rusty steak knife. That's got Coach Z written all over it. Ooh, Salisbury steak. Ring, ring. Hello? Oh, ma'am. Well, a very cheery December wind to you, too. Oh, Dad, it's you. Sorry about that. Yes, sir, I cooked the turkey with the gravied yams and stuffing ham. No, I'm not alone. Yes, this phone is plugged in. Oh, crackles. I forgot to pay my bills again this year. Hey, bubs, check this out. For the poopsmith who has everything. You give me anything in that box, 
You'll be getting a kick in the skull with a ribbon on it. Wait, wait. Ribbons. Bubs loves ribbons. Let's see. Strong side. Don't need to worry about strong side. One night in Bangkok and the rough got rougher. If Humstar doesn't get here soon with my present, I'm gonna cook his goose. Ooh. Happy Samhain, Marzy man. Wire cutters. Foolish Homestar. December win is not about getting people presents. It's about getting people good presents. Good presents. Not this last minute discount crap you're trying to foist on us. Oh, Homestar, it's perfect. It, it is? is? This is just what I need to free the baby seals from the crab traps down at the wharfs. Free the baby seals. Well, shut go. my mouth. Well, well, Strongo Bado. Looks like the old captain of the team still has what it takes. Oh, yeah? Well, the grabo arm has what it takes. And what it takes is Marzipan's purse. No skin off my back. Hey, thanks. Have a nice last seven minutes of December ween, Homestar. There's only seven minutes left of December ween? Oh, crap! I forgot to get everyone presents! Oh. It goes on and on like this. Oh, crap! It's only seven minutes left of December week! Seriously. Like until New Year's. Oh, crap! Seven minutes left of I didn't know he had any wharfs. Here comes little brother. He can make it on his own. He'll scrape right along while I'm singing the song You know he was born to ramble and roam Here comes little brother He's got one leg up on life Just one, that's right He's the king of the dregs With minus three legs And I'll probably never take him a wife Well here comes little brother He's got a pocket full of cash he can barely stand up, your favorite one-legged pup He'll do a twenty-minute hundred-yard dash Lil' brother, lil' brother and Maybe tenderfoot, too I can make it on my own It's the Lil' Brother and Maybe Tenderfoot, too show I couldn't be happier with your network debut. This is your most ambitious album to date. Blah, 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 blah. What? You guys hear something? Nope. Cool. <laughs> Things are looking up. And that's why come Shakespeare was so awesome. Oh, I see now. Hi, Dairy Queen. I already told you I don't want to be called that anymore. I made a mistake. Oh, sorry, Dairy Queen. Anyways, look, I just thought you should know that all your underwears somehow ended up individually priced and labeled in an online auction. Nobody buy the blue ones! That was too easy. Now to settle down for the 24-hour Caleb Rent Payer Marathon. Caleb, were you making a little tent out of my jacket? I am now. Yeah, you make that little tent, Caleb. He's not the boss of you. Oh, yeah, it's running along. Oh, <laughs> Ah! I swallowed a bug! Bug swallow! Bug swallow! What do I do? What do I do? Okay, okay, calm down, calm down. Remember health class. Ahem. <coughs> Sir or madam, are you alright? Do you need medical resistance? Oh, it's not working! The good times are over! 
I keep telling him the sun don't rise and set on that pile of what's it, but he don't want to listen. Bob Bob, Santa, I think I swallowed a bug. The good times are over. You gotta help me out, I could die. Well, what do you want we should do? Give me them dang ice cream. We'll freeze them out. Come, 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 Ooh, come, come that stuff's come, prescription. Come, come. Oh, it deliciously didn't walk. Ah! You throw like a girl, Tuxworth. Caleb, that suitcase was heavy. What online auction? I can't find anything. I even did an image search for the blue ones and got nothing. Or nothing pleasant, anyway. Well, keep searching. Try putting stuff in quotes or something. Or use and and or. Oh yeah, and go away. Ooh, Boolean operators. Blue and ones. Good idea. This is just fine. Bubs, you're Dr. White. I think a bug flew into the side of my mouth. I'm afraid the good times are over. A doctor, eh? I think I might be one of those. Let me take a look. What do we got here? Bell bondsman? Paranormal investigator? Normal investigator? Oh, here we go. Dr. Bubs, let's take a look at you. Ah. Uh, mm. Okay. Okay. Yes, yes. Hey, yeah. Interesting. Okay. I've got terrible, terrible news, Homestar. Oh, no. Is it about the good times? I'm afraid you've got no pancreas, but I do happen to have a fresh one for sale right here. Bubs, are you an unethical quack? The most quackinest. Strong Caleb, did you make the best omelette ever during the commercial break? I sure did. Dogman, I think a ah, bug- ah, ah, ah. Not today, McDorkle. Dogman, I think a bug might- Can't you see Grandma's watching her stories? Why aren't you breathing, Caleb? Dogman! <laughs> and coming up next on Caleb Red Pair, find out who shot Caleb. Who shot Caleb? Or oh, there's no way I'm missing that one. No way. <sighs> that was a great skillet nap. Thanks, Strongbad. Strongbad? Can't miss any of the action. Strongbad, the good times are over. I swallowed your computer. You what? Oh, I mean a small bug. I swallowed a small bug. Ah. Now my head's not taped to the TV. Dogman, I really need your help. And I really need to find out who shot Caleb Redpair. Oh, that's easy. I did. What? Homestar Runner, did you shoot Caleb? I sure did. You traitor! You shot my favorite TV show! Hiccup. Hey, look at that. A little guy. A bug did fly in my mouth. Oh, the good times are definitely over. The world is saved! I found the blue one! Say there, husband of the year. What are you doing just sitting around? <laughs> when you could be sitting around huge savings at the Scenario Day Tent Event Supra Sale. Gamble around the campfire, children. It's Sonora Card Games with the Scenario Day Tent thing that guy talked about. I won't be here forever, so come see me and this little dog for very low prices. 2005, 2004, 1999. Those are all good years. Don't let another minute go you by. Hey there, River Peoples! Come check out my circumstance this Scenario Day weekend for Bob Zodathon! Explosions, fireworks. We're so tired of low savings, we're giving them this boot! Uh. Would I lie to my own flesh and blood? That's why, Bubba Daddy. Yes, excuse me, sir. Can I have some tremendous savings? And your autograph? My left name is Tremendous Savings, Miss America. Go out for a pass. You bet! <laughs>
Hit me on the slant! Bring on down your whole family. We'll set up some tents and hot dogs for your babies. Those like those, right? We're going gaga over slashed prices! Uh, Our competition is a total racket! Uh, We're getting ahead of the rest! Uh, I'm the hoppity frog of value! Uh, We're holding up a novelty rubber chicken and playing the cartoony sound effect of savings! You do not want to miss any scenario day savings action! Wake up! Scenario Day is here with the vengeance! Uh, Mr. Sonor, sir, can I have my football back? You bet! How about I hit you on the slant? I'm gonna get me a touchdown! So come down around my bubba concession stand, my bubba, my, my cassette. Oh. I even wrote this stuff and I can't remember my own lens. So come on by for Bub's Odathon, where you'll save like a demon on my name, mate, Bub's Concession Stand. Now I tell you, I once shoved an M80 up my nose just to impress the lady types. Oh, that's nothing. I once ate an entire bowl of M200s at my family reunion. Oh yeah, well I married an M300. They don't make a 300. Oh, 250? No. Elephant? Up, 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 up. Hey guys, happy fireworks. Homestar, that's not what the holiday's called. Are the pants still out of town for the summer, eh, Homestar? No, what are you talking about? Yes, I'm still out of town, Bubs. You gorgeous hunk of man. Oh, I thank you, Cardboard Marzipan. Hey, Cardboard Marzi, hey, you want in on some of this action? No, you're disgusting. What's taking these fireworks guys so long anyways? I got peoples to rip off. Oh, I don't know what I was thinking when I agreed to let you make your homemade fireworks, Strong Mad. Oh, ah, oh, ah. We'll get to the ooh and an on soon enough. But first, we gotta go straight to Plan G. <laughs> Wait for it! Wait for it! And pull! <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Ah. It's there's amazing! I think fireworks promote violence. Shut up, Marzipan. Oh, the cheat. Are you okay? Do you want to go on a secret hot date? <sighs> Sitting on the couch is zero amount of fun when there's not a TV or hang glider in front of it. Well, why don't you do something constructive, like read a book or write a novella? No, I already did some whiting today. And then I read what I wrote. Yay, good for you. Can I see it? It's right over there. Check it out. Why did you write cool tapes on my wall? Uh, hello? Maybe because I like cool tapes? Well, I hope you like cool painting, because this has got to go. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Say hey there, old bubs. I need three cans of yellow paint and one pair of cool shades. Sorry, customer. I'm closed. But you're standing right there. And I see the yellow paint right next to you. But I'm closed. Cutbacks, layoffs, downsizing. You know the drill. Hey, bubs. Can you steal three cans of yellow paint for me? I never pass up a chance to stick it to the man. Here you go. I slipped the cool shades into can number two. Thanks, Bubs. Power to the people. I heard that! I think I'm gonna bust out my new cool shades. Cool. Everything's yellow and drippy. Hey, Homestar. Oh, hello, Dripping Yellow Madness. What? I'm Strong Sad. Dripping Yellow Madness moved away after fifth grade. 
Look, I'd love to say and argue that you are, in fact, dripping yellow madness, but this paint and I have a date with a wall. I wish I had a date with a wall. Go for it. Here, you'll need these. Oh. And, uh, good luck tonight. Ah! I'm at the bottom of a giant pit. Homestar, take off those stupid cool shades. Yeah, I should probably return these things. Oh, getting lucky tonight. Hey, friend, let me get my money back for these cool shades. A little bit closer, Homestar. Oh. Let me get my money back for these cool shades. Sure, you got your receipt? Um, no. The sales representative I dealt with gave them to me free of charge. I believe his name was Stan. Stan? I fired that guy after the fifth grade. Without a receipt, I can only exchange it for something of lesser or much lesser value. And the only thing that qualifies is this. These will do. These will do just fine. <laughs> From the top. One, two. What in Pete Sampras is going on here? Well, you took too long, so Strong Mad and the Cheat and I formed a band called Cool Tapes. Oh, really? What kind of music do you play? Well, here, we'll show you. We only have one song so far, and it's not quite finished, but here goes. Ready, boys? One, two, three, four. Cool Tapes are cool, cause they're where it is at. And we like it like that. Cool tapes. Cool tapes. We like to get down with it. cool, cool tapes. We like to get down with, um, um. A bag of four grapes? A bag of four grapes. Strong said, I knows you can do it. Just cram a little oompa down your pants and you'll be up that rope in no times. Look, I'm willing to ignore that oompa down my pants comment, but I'm more concerned with what that rope is attached to. Never you mind. Just get the climbing. Coach Z, ropes are for dopes. What's that jargle? Scripture? You quoting scripture? No, it's a quote from Sadie Dumpington. The legendary folk hero I made up. Sounds kind of like a derlet if you ask me. Hark to the folky tale of Sadie Dumpington, who traveled the land spreading good cheer and smiles to all who would listen. I just saw a baby chick choke on a worm. They both died. Isn't that great? <coughs> oh, I eat squirrels all the time. I made some soup out of the rest of your family just last night. Isn't that great? <coughs> But he wasn't very good at spreading cheer or smiles. Just sadness and misery. Fear not, townsfolk. Famine is no doubt right round the corner. And gross bugs and rats sleep in our beds. Isn't that great? So one day the mayor ordered... Oh, I know this part. Then the mayor ordered the very talented Dancing Brothers to perform at the annual Rocks and Brown Grace Festival. Gonna have a good time tonight. Look at him go! Gonna have a good time tonight. 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 The Dancing Brothers' shoes broke and they stopped dancing immediately. The mayor then ordered Sadie Dumpington to leave town and never speak to its citizens again. But Mr. Mayor, sometimes dogs get so hungry they eat their own tails! Isn't that great? So Sadie Dumpington walked through the forest, befriending all manner of critters along the way. Cheer up, Mr. Cricket. You have no central nervous system, so it won't hurt when I yank your legs off. Isn't that great? Hello, Fox Joe. Have you met my good friends, the Dancing Brothers? Glenn! Mark Bell and the Killer Dynamo! Gonna have a good time tonight! Gonna have a good time tonight! No! The Dancing Brothers are allergic to foxes and they sneeze themselves into comas. Oh jeez, that's harsh! 
Then one day, old Dumps here got a message from town. Sadie, we haven't stopped laughing since you left. No one can get any work done. We need you to come say something miserable and depressing so we can have our lives back. Talk at you later, the townsfolk. Something miserable and depressing? I've never thought of such a thing. Um, would weird snakes be considered depressing? So he strolled into town dressed as a weird snake. I'm a weird, weird snake, everyone. My name is Weird Snake Joe. Isn't that miserable and depressing? But instead of getting depressed, everyone laughed even harder until they passed out for the rest of their lives. And that brings me to this rope. I'm gonna pass out if I have to climb this rope. Man, Strong said, that's a real load right there. A real load. That kind of thing might work on Coach X or Coach Y, but you're dealing with Coach Dang Z. Now get up that rope. Oh, oh geez. I killed the elephant man. Oh, this is bad. This is real bad, man. What would the dancing brothers do in a situation like this? Oh, gonna have a good time tonight. Gonna have a good time tonight. Gonna have a good time tonight. Works every time. Gonna have a real good, 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 good time tonight. Alright, so here we are at Trogdorkon. Got the boots set up and looking good. So to cheat, these cons. What exactly is gonna go on here? Geeks and nerds? That doesn't sound like anything I want to be a part of. Ladies in skimpy sci-fi costumes? That sounds like everything I want to be a part of. Are you sure they're at the same place as the geeks and nerds? That doesn't make any sense. Ladies in skimpy outfits should be hanging out with me, and to a lesser degree, football players and rappers. Not geeks, nerds, or any of their smelly brethren. Yeah, I'll see it when I believe it. Ooh, booth 101. My favorite booth. Hey, guess who I'm supposed to be? Um, Homestar Runner? Hey, you got it. First try. Was it my star or propeller cap that gave it away? It was your unbelievably loose grasp on the world around you. Yeah, I guess I do have one of those. Hey, what kind of cool stuff do you guys have here? Got any pewter figurines? Or maybe some magna? Nope, just hanging out, seeing what walks by. Oh, oh, I can walk by. Here, watch. Left, white, left, white, white, white. No, left, white, left, white. So, by the way, the cheat, what are gamer tags? And why do we have boxes of them behind us? <laughs> so we're not really selling gamer tags. No. What are we really gonna be selling? Some of those million-sided dies? <laughs> so, us hanging out selling gamer tags is a front for us plain old hanging out. <laughs> the cheat, you're a genius. I don't pay you enough. <laughs> oh, right. I don't pay you at all. That's what I meant to say. Now let's kick back and see if we can't summon some skimpily clad ladies to ye old gamer tag booth. <laughs> oh, where'd you get that bad boy? <laughs> booth 709, huh? I'll have to go check that out. <laughs> They've got axes and swords? Man, this con just keeps getting better all the time. Oh, and we've hit a snag. What are you guys doing here? Hanging out. Don't tell nobody, but secretly we're really just hanging out. But didn't it cost money to get a booth? Look, I don't know where the cheat got 500 bucks, or where your missing 500 bucks is. All I know is that we're hanging out here at Trogdorkon 97. Or in your case, Trogdorkon 97. It's not called Trogdorkon and it's 2005. It might be for you, but you're a butt. That's a good one, strong man. Okay, I'm gonna go buy some anime. It's called Japanimation. At least it was last time I checked, which was 1987. I don't know about all this to cheat. Maybe it's time we filled up that horn of yours with pea soup and tried to shoot it all the way over to that Godzilla guy's booth. <laughs> <laughs> 
Movie night is my favorite night. I think it is my favorite night. <laughs> Are you even trying anymore? All right, boys. Time for a little R&R. Tonight we've got the old family favorite, Pony Fights 2! Alright, PG-13! Uh, sorry, Reynold. I'm afraid lights out for you is at oh, now 100 hours. Yeah, all that cuss language might give you nightmares. <laughs> oh, I can handle it. Why, I can even swear a cuss myself. Ahem. Diaper biscuits. <laughs> oh, I can't do anything right. I might as well go home and get teen pregnant. <gasps> Easy there, cheat cussmando. You just made an inappropriate peer to teen choice behavior. A what? Commandos in the classroom. Lesson four Inappropriate peer to teen choice behaviors. Here, Reynold, let me show you. Yeah. Uh, I was watching the ponies. The brain is divided into two halves. The good half and the evil half. The good half likes positive things, like self-esteem, Oreo cheesecake, bringing your old man a cold one, and all our play sets and toys. But the evil half likes littering, loitering, Latering, lootering, and all the other stuff that causes inappropriate peer to teen choice behaviors. But how do I keep from making peer to teen choice awards, gun haver? If you find yourself in a sticky teenage situation, just remember these three pro positive life tools. What did you get for number four, sir? Uh. Freeze! Pro positive life tool number one. Say you have one of any debilitating Gold Rush era diseases. Come on, man. I thought we were bros. I can't. I have the typhoid or the cholera. Never mind. Your answers are gross, bro. Gold Rush era diseases, eh? Now you're getting it. Hey, man. We need you to put these wine coolers down your pants. Or down your headband. Oh, um, uh... Stop! Pro-positive life tool numero two. Envision your inappropriators as giant slices of pizza. <laughs> your deep dish. <laughs> and you've got extra cheese. <laughs> oh, pepperoni. What's with this guy? He sounds crazy. Should we shoot him? Absent total lootly. But Gunhaver, I've never had pizza before. But you know what it looks like, don't you? I think so. Now you're getting it. Hey, kid! Wanna smoke some candy with me? Pro-positive life tool number three. Have your light infantry create a thick smoke screen. <laughs> then lay down some suppressive fire until your snipers are in position. But look out for surface-to-air antioxidant missiles. Then by the time reinforcements shows up, hey guys, your mom should be waiting for you in the bus turnaround. So, do you think you're ready to make appropriate, inappropriate, whatever thingies now? Yes, sir. I'm gonna get high on life. We're about to start the movie. You guys coming? What do you think, Reynold? I've got dysentery. Good job, little buddy. Ooh. Man, I can't wait to see some serious pony carnage. Commandos in the classroom. Next week, lesson five. Listen, you guys. You seriously need to start showering every day. The cheat! Get in here with my puke pail! <coughs> and bring me some tissues! Lots more tissues! Come on, man. My bulbs smell really bad. Check this out. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, go away! I can't smell anything anyways. Well, I'm betting you can smell these.
Yeah, well, you're lucky it's your burps that smell. Do not go into Strongman's room, or as I've taken to calling it, Rotten Eggland. Come on, help! Oh, the gene was taking so long with my tissues! <laughs> oh well, I guess I'll just reuse some of these already re-reused ones. Ow! They're pointy now! Strong Red, I don't think you're gonna be able to answer your word problem this week. So I'll take one for the team. Two trains into a tunnel, going four miles per hour. At what time do they reach Poughkeepsie? <laughs> the paper! <laughs> oh no, not you too! Can I blow my nose on you? A glowy box! A glowy box! A glowy box? Are you sure that's what you get for your tattoo? It's personal! I'd want mine to look like a prison tattoo that you carved out yourself with a spoon and some soap. There'd be the rocket launcher, of course. And above that, it'd just say, Bad Guy. <laughs> Hey guys, what you thinking about? We're talking about something cool and interesting. You wouldn't understand. Oh, tattoos, huh? I get one on my forearm that says, The For Real Deal. It has a picture of me dressed up like Uncle Sam. You get one on your forearm, huh? Or one on my bulging bicep that just says, Cake Man. Ooh, or a glowy box on my wrist. I just don't have the heart to tell him. You don't have a... Wow, you scared me. So, here's the deal. I'm lost inside this haunted mansion, and I need your help to find my costume and get out of here. So, what should we do first? What up, Homestar? Here's your costume. Oh, thanks. You win! Homestar Michael Runner, what did you do to my Halloween potion recipe? Oh, yeah. Uh, Marzipan, can I draw ducks and bugs all over the recipe for your Halloween potion? No way, Jorge. You're gonna figure out what those ingredients were and bring them back here before midnight. Now march your skinny white butt into those spooky woods, mister. Yes, Mom's a pen. Oh, why? These spooky woods gotta be chock full of spooky ingredients. Let's see, the first one is Something waddle. Hmm. Really? Then how come they'll be all nice to you and act like they like you to your face? Guess I have a lot to learn about mailmen. Hey, what are you guys doing out here? Did you ruin somebody's magic potion too? Ah, uh, nope. Unless Coach Z's life is a magic potion. Cool, cool. Depressing, cool. So, um... Do either of you have any cash on you? I'm trying to get me a sandwich or something. Uh, my car broke down and I'm out of gas. Uh, sorry, man. All I got is this bottle of, uh, ghost water? That's perfect. I was planning on blowing that money on ghost water anyways. <laughs> Well, I gotta keep searching. 
Too bad I probably won't run into anybody else mysteriously hanging out in the woods. Oh, what do you know? How you digging? Oh, we're certainly not trying to unearth a ham sandwich that I buried here when I was nine. Good, because I found that thing like two months ago. It wasn't that good. Too much mayo. Too much mayo? I love too much mayo. <laughs> Hey, I've got it! I'll give you a detailed account of the consumption of your ham sammy if you give me a powdered item for this potion majig. Sweet deal! Take some of this powdered Thanksgiving! Now let's hear it! Okay, so first, I washed all the dirt off with some Windex. Mm. That made it blue and soggy. And that last bite nearly made me puke it right back on my plate. Oh, I wish you had. I surely wish you had. Oh, great. The secret guy. <coughs> Just give me my choices. What I'm supposed to do with that mess? I'm out of here. Location, location, location. Whoa, this is a cool new background. Yeah, we were just burying our problems here in the spooky woods when we found this creepy cliff. It's perfect for the chucking off of busted old TVs. Essence of busted old TVs? Because I got a serious Jones. Uh, I think these TVs lost their essence in the 70s. What are you doing here anyways? I'm trying to ruin Marzipan's Halloween potion. Got any leads? That's a worthy cause if ever there was one. How about this essence of putting Strong Mad's hand in warm water while he's asleep? My secret shame! Thanks a lot, you guys! Mecca like a high mecca the cheat throw a TV on him. Ho. Oh, Bubs! Fancy running into you in the middle of the spooky woods selling storing utensils. It's a niche market! So, what kind of concoctions might one store with your whales? Well, a little eye of newt, some toe of frog, maybe you got a witch's brew going. Hey, that's my line. So, how do I score one of those jobbies? Oh, they're free, but you gotta earn them. Uh, that doesn't sound free at all. Well, then you just gotta earn them. How should I do that? Well, well, Nancy and I, economics, well, rap music, jelly beans, well, we... Probably had a pet. That's the worst Ronald Reagan impression I've ever heard! Ronald Reagan? I was doing my Keanu Reagan. Just take this turlet brush and get out of here! Thanks, Great American Bubs! Now to find Strong Sad. Anything that guy says will make great magic wards. Hey, Strong Sad. Nice fire hydrant costume. Oh, mineral water, what? If you were at a party, what would you rap? Each day we die a little more, yo. Better act somebody. Ooh, fresh beats. My favorite. Thanks for the wards, half man. Go forward, move ahead, try to detect it. It's not too late. All right, so here's what I came up with. A bottle of ghost waddle, some powdered Thanksgiving, and essence of putting strong man's hand in warm water while he's asleep. And give a little stir with this toilet brush, and say these magic wards. Better ask somebody. Here, Homestar, have some melonade. Don't mind if I do. Ah, Marzipan! 
There's only one of you. Don't tell me you forgot how to use your eyes again. Are you trying to tell me I haven't been dating twins this whole time? Um, I don't think you're going to have to worry about dating anyone from now on. Hooray! Hey, Bubs, I like your Lando Calrissian outfit. What are you talking about? I'm the master of disaster. Uh-oh. Boopsmith, get ready. So, Coach, how come you weren't a rapper this year? But I am. Theo Huxtable is one of the greatest rappers of our time. Jamin on the one. Jamin on the one. J J Jamin on the one. Jamin on the one. Me, 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 me. The cheat. Can you understand her? Hey, what's up? Me, 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 me. Hey, what's up? Me, 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 me. me. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I thought that meant something else. So what, Pom Pom? You're every guy at a truck stop? Uh oh, strong bad. You're entering a world of pain. Zolly! You're out of your element! Hey, strong bad. Let me get a few dollars. I'm trying to catch a train. My wife, she's pregnant. I got 13 kids. I'm on hard times. Well, at least your Shady Drifter impression is better than your Ronald Reagan. Ooh, I could hit you with some more of that, too. Well, well, Oliver Cromwell. Strong Bad, Blanche from the Golden Girls. Genius. I'm not Blanche from the Golden Girls. No, no, he's Phyllis Diller. I thought you were supposed to be my hot mom. No, oh, I'm Jobby the Genie. You know. Wish? Did somebody say wish? I wish you'd dress up as something I could recognize. Pop culture, rumble grumble. We now return to the 31st annual Fall Float Parade. Okay then, welcome back. First, please allow me to apologize to my co-host here for any inappropriate comments I may have made while we was at commercial. That's two strikes, Coach C. Yes, yes, what fun. So next up is good old Bubs. Yes, good old, my favorite type of guy who I'm just all the time hanging around and doing stuff with Bubs. Go see, you jerk. Oh. Go see, oh. you jerk. I see then. Go see. That's very... You jerk. Overt. Oh, now here's something that doesn't appear to be making fun of me. It's the Pam Pam Balloon. That's Pom Pom Balloon for those of you who don't speak Coach C. Always a hit with the ladies, that Pom Pom. And never a hit with anyone, it's Homsar. Oh, and there's another Homsar. Let's sing a song of Pinsoil. Oh, now this is just adorable. Homestyre Runner's sweatshirt float. Looks more like a Swiat shirt float to me. You say tomato? I say tomato morts. Mozzie Pad, help! I woke up in this pile of Swiat shorts and I don't know how to stop it. I'm supposed to be watching Bub's concession stand while he's in some ridiculous parade. And I'm pretty sure a rat just bit my knee. Oh, that's great, sweetie. Say hi to that bee for me. Hi, bee. Well, it looks like Bubs has come to his senses and entered a proper float in the parade. Atta boy, Bubs! I'm pretty sure that's just Strong Mad absconding with Bubs' concession stand. Oh, serves him right then. Oh, and here comes one of my favorites, the KOTHS Junior Varsity Marching Band! Well, break it down for me, fellas! Oh, yeah! I'm feeling this! One, two, one, two, keep it Guan! Listen to me, cause Cozy, he's got it going on! I'm a pretty nice guy with fairly good teeth! Come on, watch me! No more freestyling. It's really annoying. Ah, and here's Strong Bad's annual, not even remotely fall-related float! Is it just me? Or does one of those snowmen look suspiciously like Strong Sad? Ah, Strong Sad's yellow! Tui! Strong Bad, I thought you said our float was going to be celebrating our nation's covered bridges. No, I said our float was going to be sticking you in a fake snowman and beating you senseless with nunchucks. Covered bridges. Well, how on earth did I misunderstand all that? I don't know, man. You hear the words covered bridges and you just go into a trance. 
Oh, covered bridges. Wow. And as always, bringing up the rear, it's the marshy balloon. Man, that thing has got to frighten some children. Is anyone guiding that balloon? Run for your life! I regret everything! Let's put one of those beefy arms back on him for good measure. That looks really good. Coming out of the back of his neck there. Now he needs a name. How about... And the truck door comes in the night! Hey, my birthday was last week. I don't see anyone making any Stinko Man shaped pancakes. Huh? 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 Oh? What is that? Drogador! Is this your crazy mixed up way of asking me for some type of birthday challenge? Kajunk. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, gentlemen and like two ladies, welcome to the 2006 flashback show. Whoa, we're doing a flashback show? Um, I guess so. Awesome! I love a good cop out. Now let's take a look back at some of our favorite memories from previous conferences we've done. Celebrating 15 years of the PowerPoint Dissolve. Ooh. Ah. Oh, oh yes, yes, yes. Time, time and again. Welcome to the 2002 MMO LOTR IPO IPA RPG. Uh, what was I just talking about? Nords. Geeks and Nords. Ooh, nice pigtails. Whoa, hey there, book smarts. You look like the type of logo that appreciates a nice caramel apple teeny. Ah, uh, we've had some good times. Too bad for you people, the good times are over. Because we're about to stop talking and some bozo's gonna start. And not the good bozo either. V Dog bad. I think this elevator spoke. Oh, golly gosh. Strong bad is under stairs. Tell him I love. 
You get your shiny round butt up in there and check that email. No! Now get out of my couch! Area. But it's your Susquicentenny mail. I don't want to turn 150. There's too much pressure. Strong Matt ate it. It's okay, I can help. Check out these storyboards I drew up. We begin with a claustrophobic close-up of typing with boxing gloves on. A quick zoom out reveals you're really in the middle of a barren desert landscape, symbolizing the vast scope of your achievement. Next, we dolly in on Coach Z, holding a pear covered with eyeballs, while black coffee continually streams down his mouthless face. This part doesn't represent anything, I just always wanted to pour coffee on Coach Z. Cut to a two-shot of you hashing it out with your innermost desires. And we end on an extreme close-up of your reflection in the gooey filling of a jelly donut as you shed a single tear. It's equal parts Lynchian, Fellinian, and Steve Bushimian, don't you think? <laughs> pilot wings, son of pun. Oh, never mind. I'll go see what Strong Mad thinks of my Doug the Dino treatment. Don't bother! <laughs>
Agatha Christie would never sleep through June. Neither would Angela Lansbury. Aren't they the same person? Yeah. Rip. I think they yes, are. Yes, they definitely are. Well, it's settled then. Now, what's this I hear about some of you guys sleeping through June? I'll let it slide this time. But June sleepers will not be tolerated from this day henceforth. Now, whose turn was it to bring the donuts? Yours! Well, I'll let it slide this time. But donut rememberers will do not be tolerated from now on. All right, everybody, everybody. It's time to get this www.showbackontheroad.com. Now, places. And... Come on, Richie, you can do one more! Just one more! Oh, have you heard the latest news? I heard the latest news and it was that you can do one more! One more! <laughs> Strong man, tell your girlfriend to do one more! She's gonna blow! Hey, can I get you gentlemen anything else? Booling! Ooga, ooga, my breath, it stinks. Uh -huh. Real, real bad. Hey, look out the fly. Bonga, donga, bonga, donga. <laughs> ooga, me once set the face on fires. It's what's fire. It sounds fun. <laughs> ooga. Me too. I am not exempt. Hey, did you see that? The Cheatsaurus can do it again! Thanks for the smell cakes, Pam Pam. But next time, could you dispense with all the flying hoozits? Seriously, Pom Pom, you and me, we're like two breads in a biscuit. Two breads in a biscuit. I'm gonna make a t-shirt. No, wait. You and me, we're like this bowl of mayonnaise here. You're the bowl, cause you're a big, round, fat guy. And I'm the mayonnaise, cause I'm smart as peanuts. That'll make a good t-shirt too. Oh, no, wait. Before you strangle me again, you and me, soggy napkin. And they feed the ducks through a tube. Don't you think that's awful? Look, girl sitting across from me. I gotta level with you. I'm gonna go build a deck. I got to find me a new man. Hey, King of Town. I'm gonna build a deck. The G, I'm decking it out. I am the Deckman. D-E-C-K-E-M-A-N. Oh, hi, Strong Sad. Um... I'm not sure how I got in here. I'll just go back the way I came. I have got to get my prescription changed. Now what's all this about, Homestar? What you didn't know? Yeah, I'm building me a deck. Using galvanized nails. That's right, that's right. I said I'm using galvanized yeah. Galvanized nails, eh? Sounds legit. We can chill out on it and drink melonade all summer long. Yeah, melonade. 
We haven't talked about that much lately. Maybe we could eat some marshmallows too. And I like to dance. Well, I'll let you get back to work. I'll swing by later on with a six or a melonade. Make it a seven or. Oh, got it. Galvanized, you don't say. Yeah, it's pretty legit. I was thinking about writing a musical about it too. Maybe call it My Good Great Deck. I'll probably get Rappaport to star in it. What about me? I want to be in your musical. I can be the orphan. Oh, where is my mother, the do? That's a good one, Coach. A really, really a good one. Well, I better get back to work if I'm going to build a deck in this cartoon. But what about my four Tony Awards? Wikipedia said Vulcanized was the way to go. But I dang old new battle. Galvanized, galvanized, galvanized. That's what I always say. Homestar, are you using galvanized nails to hide the fact that you don't know how to build a deck? I'm gonna have to get back to you on that one. Piao! Ahem. Let's try that again. Piao! Impressed, Homestar. When you said you were building a deck, I figured it'd end up being something stupid and terrible. You know, because you were building it. Yeah, me too. But I think I could get used to this. It was to galvanized nails and cardboard females. I'll drink to that. Everybody loves the me. I'm a terrific athlete. The strongest man in the world contest. A oh, sweet dog, you know I'm all over it. Extra sauce, Bob Bob. Let me see you pour on that extra sauce. That strangest man in the world contest ain't gonna win itself. Go down! Man, Bob Bob, I feel great. I feel fresh as a bagel. I bet I could lift 50 stringiest man in the wool contest. Oh, look the cheat. If it isn't the big fat yellow blob and pom pom. Hey, w wait. Hey, you wait. Hey, wait. Let me break it down for you like this. I am the very strongest. Well, on the other hand, inversely, you guys are not very strong. Whoa, pom pom. Let's tone down the language before the contest, huh? Come on, the cheat. We better go start signing autographs. There's a pretty big line building up over there. Come on, Pom Pom. Um, let's go get Strong Bad's autograph. I hear there's a pretty big line building up. Yeah! Ladies and gentlemen, you cannot be ready for the strongest man in the world contest. Let's meet our smoking hot contestants. Hailing from the middle of the road, the Prince of Play, the Master of Mundane, it's Mr. Bland. And next, our returning champion, the walking metal robot, the Robot! And from foreign lands, the foreign man, Senior Ha Ha Ha, having a little trouble! And Pom Pom Stronger Notes. Great Fairy, hit me with the rules! I'm not used to those brains, listen up smart. I start you each off with like 20 grapes. Then I is one at a time. The bum who holds the most grapes wins this gold ball. Dang, Pom Pom, you see that gold ball? That's a nice gold ball. Let's get this over with! I'll see you. Okay, this is going really well. Oh. Down goes Bland! Papa Oh no, boy. I'm having a little trouble. I'm still alive! Hey, Cheat! I hear our friend the robot is about to do a set of his acoustic numbers. Or should I say, unplugged? Oh. Did nobody just see that? 
Judge? Fairy? Giant B? Honest to God, Mookie Wilson gave this gold ball my answer in 1974. Really quite an impressive bowl. Hello? Oh, right. Crazy Eights? <laughs> the cheat? Big help here, big oh, help! Okay, even and out there on the south side. <laughs> Stop her up. All right, seriously. At first it was cute, but this is just borderline unsportsmanlike. Let me outline my master plan. I will A, drop my grapes, and B, uncover that cheat. Could I just borrow this a second? Oh no! Pum Pum wins! Wait, what? Oh, these grapes are succulently crushing my windpipe. Ooh, but they're seedless. Alright, seriously, Pop Pop. Give me the gold ball. Yeah, that's great. But I still won. I sportsman liked everybody. Now give me the gold ball. Alright, fine. You can give it to me for my birthday. Now check out my victory dance. Oh, yeah, The Marzipan says, I'm the only girl. The only girl, indeed. But that wasn't always the intention. Just how close did the Homestar Runner universe come to gaining a second female character? Join me on my magical flying peanut butter powered sleigh and we'll take a journey through the past to discover why come only one girl? In the year 2000, the closest thing to another female character could be found in one of the backgrounds for the Dancing Bubs game. This is Champine. Originally intended to be the female equivalent of Homestar Runner, Champine would never make it out of this background. Nor would the weaselly know-it-all homeschool winner. Boy, I'd like to clean his clock. The next attempt at bringing a new girl into the fold would be this adorable little angel thing, Preshi. Along with her brother Rafferty, Preshi was going to be introduced in the unfinished cartoon, Those Darn Cousins. Hiya, Homestar. What you doing? None of your business, stupid. Humph. Oh, wait, I mean waiting for my cousins to get here. I'm sorry I always get those two things mixed up. Hi, Uncle Homestar! Hi, Ginger! <laughs> hey, guys! How was your flight? <gasps> There's a pussy on your head. Uncle Homestar, are you scared? Yeah, a little. <laughs> What's this thing? What does this do? I think that's obvious. I'm gonna bonk you, Homestar. <laughs> are we gonna have a band, Homestar? Sure, Rafferty. I'll be lead guitar. I love you, Homestar. I have a hard time believing that. <coughs> Ice cream to water dying. <coughs> nice walk, kid. The cartoon was abandoned in favor of, oh, I don't know, a second batch of fortune cookies or something equally hilarious. With the invention of the Teen Girl Squad more than a year away, things were looking dire for the lady types in Homestar Runner Land. So began a concerted effort to create a new female character and put her in a cartoon. But there were many questions. What should she look like? Should she be at all human? Should she have cloven feet or hands? If she were to wear a burlap sack, should it say potatoes, potate, or simply have a picture of a potato on it? And what would she be called? Buttershine, poor baby, sister Sue, elk foot, what would she sound like? Can Melissa do a different voice? I'm not Marzipan. <laughs> that answers that question. Finally, this corn dog, cotton candy looking lady was settled on as the design, though it's unclear what name was chosen for her. I'm hoping it was the Hurricane. She even made it off the sketchbook and into Flash. She was placed in this scene, prepped for animation, and then a new Legend of Zelda game probably came out and she was never heard from again. Why, Ganondorf? Why? Uh
Do 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 do. Since it seems increasingly unlikely that we'll see another grill character in our lifetime, we can only imagine what it would be like if any of these gals showed up in a Homestar Runner cartoon. My style? Oh. My types? Ah. My stuff? Oh. It's a cheat. Oh. oh, that's rich. Bye now. We now, now return, return to, to the, the second, second annual Homestar Halloween Awards. Please welcome the King, King of Tao. Well, since I'm presenting the award for best costume, I guess we know who got the least amount of votes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my life is a joke. Uh, anyways, the nominees for best costume are Marzipan as Joey Ramone. What? That was you? Homestar Runner as the greatest American hero. What? That was me? And Strong Bad as Carmen Sandiego. It's in the bag, boys. And the award for best costume goes to. Strong bad is coming, San Diego. Oh, yes! In your face, Homestar! Oh, guess who won? I won the game! Da da da! Ba ba da da da! I won the game! Tonight! At the awards! Ceremony! Oh, yeah! First, I want to thank the cheat for helping me to cheat! We did it, little buddy! And I want to thank my agent, Bobs! Bobs, my producer! My director, Bobs! And of course, my super hot girlfriend, who just recently got sucked into a wormhole, so she's probably in some other dimension right now. I did it for you, baby. I'm out. Peace, love. It's okay, Homestar. I liked your costume the best. Shh. I think I'm about to win. Surprise! Happy birthday, Flash 5! And to a lesser extent, 6, 7, and 8! Oh, Flash 5. We've been through it all together. Except when I needed to embed video. Where's the align panel? Where's the align panel? Align panel, get over here! Get over here, you little scuppernong! Align panel, do you remember that time when you and I were- Oh! That's what I'm talking about! Align left edge! Now space me out all equally. To the stage, to the stage. I like it, I like it. Oh man, who invited those pretentious guys? Shouldn't you be at a developer conference somewhere? Yeah, say hi to Tell Target for me. All right, Flash Five, I got you a little something. Happy Days Reunion, Photoshop. That is not what I got you. Ooh, shape tweet. Happy freaking Flash Day! Do -do -do -do, lots of leaves. Do -do -do. Hmm. Grody bloody grows in blood! Uh, nice try, Strombat. I'm just not feeling it in broad daylight. And you were hiding behind a twig. Yeah, I know. Why isn't it dark yet? x 3 x 3 read all about it. Halloween night missing. Citizens mobilized to save holiday. In unrelated news, this newsboy getup is not my Halloween costume. This is bull talk. How are we supposed to scandalize and vandalize without the protective cover of ha 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 Halloween night? I'm gonna go interrogate the toilet for about eight minutes.
See if he knows anything. After that, we'll form into a giant robotic Halloween night finding space panther. Or not. Halloween night. Come here, boy. I got this spooky yucky chew toy for ya. Homestar, you are aware that Halloween night is not a puppy, aren't you? Yes. Obviously, I am aware that it is not. What was that last part? A puppy. A puppy. Okay, good. But seriously, we have to find Halloween night. I don't do so well with all this sunlight. Sit, Halloween night. Sit. Sit, sit, sit. You sit, 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 sit. Hey, what you doing there, sister? I'm trying to attract Halloween night with music. It loves reggae, you know. Good idea. And I can do some of my famous Halloween sound effects that everybody knows me for. Coopsie, I don't think that's what everybody knows you for. Why are you talking about? Listen to this spooky owl. Hort, 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 hort. Or get a load of these creepy crickets. Cricket, cricket, ta 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 ta. Cricket, ta 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 ta. We be jamming. What is wrong with you people? I got instant spray on Halloween night. I got Halloween night vision goggles. I even got this do it yourself Halloween night hovercraft kit. <sighs> oh man, I thought sure we'd find Halloween night in the spooky woods. This place has really gone uphill since it disappeared. Even that rotten old skull doesn't seem so creepy. A jam moment! Good thinking, Monchi Cheat. That guy's always hanging out with Halloween night. But how do we find him? What's this crap take? Where's Halloween night? Strongman, pat him down. Oh, he's clean. I'm taking that hamster ball, though. Cough it up, King of Town. We know you ate Halloween night. You amateurs. You don't know what you're talking about. I'm on a diet. It's strictly Arbor Day and Earth Day for me this year. Well, now where do we look? I need some doom and gloom soon. Something funny's happening to the sides of my mouth. Eggs tree, eggs tree. This get up is my get down. Hope Star Waddle, you are a genius. Thank you, Doug. So tell us what you're doing here. Well, it occurred to me that no Halloween night could resist these orange and black flavored loose tooth removal candies. How are they biting today, old star? Sound effects, man! Ooh, ooh! Do broken wheelchair on cobblestone. It's like I'm right there, wheeling grandma through the old town. You wanna stop in here and get a kielbasa, grandma? <laughs> Somebody shoot me! <laughs> Man, this sucks! Halloween night's almost over and still no sign of Halloween night! We should be out there turning treats right now! Oh, you guys didn't have any luck either? Oh well, happy Halloween anyways, everybody. Whoa, say that again! Say what? Happy Halloween? Now somebody else say it! RP Horlow! Not you, Coach Z! Now everybody, all at the same time! Happy Halloween! Oh yes, it worked! I'm gonna egg so many candies and eat so much houses, I'm gonna- So, uh, what do we do now? Um... Happy Day of the Dead! Still wrong, bad. That's the best evil common San Diego costume I've ever seen. If I wasn't dressed up as a pretend priest comedian, I'd beat the crap out of you right now. Marzipan, I just love your I have a caterpillar crawling across my forehead costume. And kind of a mustache have costume. That's a good costume, Strong Sad. What is that, you at your 20-year high school reunion? Uh, the cheat? 
Technically, shouldn't all this sunlight be turning you into some sort of horrible beastie? We're taking heavy losses, sir! They've got us pinned down! We really need- <laughs> All right! Thanksgiving break! But sir, we could really use some- I love Thanksgiving break! Uh, shouldn't we go help him? Nah, he's just one of those green helmets. We got like 50 of them. So, what's everybody doing for the holiday? I'm going to stay at my parents' house. If they haven't rented out my room... Again? To my brother? Well, have a good time, soldiers. I'll just be here in case Blue Laser tries to blow up over the river and through the woods so that no one to grandmother's house can go. I thought I told you to fiendishly dice the evil onions! No, sir. That was me, sir. I can never tell you two apart! Yeah! Ow! There! Now you're the one with the fork stuck in your eye! Sorry, Blue Laser! The only thanks you'll be giving is getting shot by us with our bullet shooting guns! What?! No, just kidding! Thanks for having us over! Oh. You really had me going for a second there! Get in here, you guys! Rip Burger, you made it! I thought you were only available for a limited time with three proofs of purchase! I brought some ambrosia salad. Uh, where's Gunhaver? Uh, we kinda didn't give him your invitation. Gunhaver has a bit of a hard time cutting loose. 47, 48, 49, 50! Come on, Gunhaver, you maggot! Give me 50 more! One, two, three! Uh, I guess Claude Monet and, um, Manchester United. That's good, that's good! And what about you, Silent Rip? I'm thankful for this bountiful blue laser Thanksgiving action playset. I'm thankful for the gift of rhyme. Ambrosia salad. I'm also thankful for this lime! Hibbity jeebity! Plutonium at closeout prices! I'm thankful I don't have a fork in my eye, sir. My nana's new hip! I'm thankful for this fork in my eye. So I exchanged it for something of lesser value and they gave me the rest in store credit! That's great, sir! A real value! But we could really use some air support! Yeah, I should go too. Gotta check in on Blue Laser. Please, no! Ambrosia salad! Saying right, 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 right! Tight buns! Blue Laser's captured the cheat commandos and is forcing them to sit down to a delicious meal and pleasant conversation! Hang on, boys! Daddy Gun Heavy's on his way! But I'm not thankful for that guy over there with the camera! Hey, guys. Uh-oh! You know what that means! It won't be long before! Gobble, gobble, you're in trouble! Hey, that's not bad. Gun hopper! You actually have a gun! Cheat commandos, run for cover! Blue Laser is clearly trying to have you all over for dinner! Uh, yeah. He invited you too, but we didn't tell you because we were afraid you'd do something like this. And I did! The cheat commandos win again! Well, since you're here, play us a song, won't you, Charles? Yeah, a song. A song? A song. No, I couldn't possibly. It's been so long. I... Won't you play us a song, Gunnever? All right, you talked me into it. One song. This is one everybody knows. So give me a hand, boys. By all our place sets and Ooh. by all our place sets and ah. by all our place sets and toys. Yeah, a holiday classic. Uh, what's that smell? How should I know? You're the one called Silent Whip. That's all me. I stuck a nuclear device in the oven in case I didn't make it out of here alive. No one understands me. No one understands me. Will you turn that noise down? You're so brave. No one understands me but you. to 
Tube Socks. It's me again. I hope you had a good year. Free of athlete's feet and toe jams. Let me cut to the chase. On December wind morning, when I open you guys up, you're going to hear things. Hurtful things. Unforgivable things. Things like, ugh, and oh man, and this present of Tube Socks totally sucks and I hate it. Don't you believe a word of it, Tube Socks. I love you guys. I don't know what I'd do without my yearly pair. But a guy's gotta keep up appearances, right? If people's found out I had a soft spot for tube socks, it'd be all over. It took me years to live down that Martina Navratilova poster, and I will not go down that road again. We can be secret friends, like that hunchback kid at school. In closing, please disregard any and all negative comments or negative burning you may hear or experience on December Wing. Stealthily yours, a strong man. Oh man, I feel delicious. Does anybody here know if it is either illegal or unethical to want to eat yourself? I sure hope not. Ew, shut up, King, or I'll stuff you full of coal. I wouldn't be so bad. A little onion salt, some hot sauce, wouldn't be the first time. Hey, Coach Z, don't you think it's about time you updated that photograph? Heck no. The 74s was the prime of my dating year. In those days, ladies would go out with anything that had a mustache. Hey, Strong Bad, I really like your rhinestone cowboy costume. Uh, you got the wrong ween, Homestar. This is December ween, not the hallow one. Oh, uh, why, why? Chicka treat. Does anybody know where Strong Sad is? Uh, hello, I'm right here. Whoa, I can hardly see you. You're like the predator up there. No, I'm like the most expensive ornament on this tree by about $45. Oh, yeah? Well, my 4.5 cents of plastic sequins and styrofoam are about to bedazzle you right off of this tree. Ooh. Happy the summer in. This here's gonna be the biggest Decemberween rat pile in town. <laughs> oh, fooey. And after that, pooey. Not you again. Earthling, explain to me this pile of rotten rodentia, Rumble. It's Decemberween, Rumble Red. The most sanitary time of year. When everyone piles up all the dit rats they've accumulated throughout the year. Oh, we don't have any December weens on my planet, Trumbull. Well, what do you know? What do they have on your planet? Oh, not much. Long lines, expensive bread, Rumble do. Happy December ween, Rumble Red. Cosmic joy. I think this buffalo has shown me the true meaning of December, Rumble ween. Ha, ha, ha! A December ween tradition! Dear Argyle Socks, Wow, what a great season, Coach Z! You said it, Crumbum! We was undeforted! Maybe you were. Well, have a good holiday. You doing anything special? Ah, oh, totally. I'm having all kinds of real people over to my house for a couple of real people parties. Don't you worry about me. I am not a loser. That's great, Coach Z. Well, I... Coach Z? Coach Z? Oh, Coach Z. I fit rock bottom. Uh, listen to me now, cheer up, Coach Z. It doesn't have to be creepy and depressing all the time. For real? If you're Tuesday Wards Wide, you'll find that people might 
not throw up so much when they talk to you. Oh, they'd be nice. Now listen to me. It's almost Decemberween. And there's not a single present beneath your tree. When someone asks you what's up, don't tell them about your much or any embarrassing physical problems you might have. I collect those! And when you're talking to a pretty girl, on second thought, don't talk to any pretty girls. And you'll find yourself invited, and probably way less indicted, and you won't have to spend December alone! Hey, thanks for the advice, Homestar! I'd love to come to your house for December ween! What? No, no! No, no, no! No, Kunsty, no! No. No, you can't. The King of Town's very own Quite popular cartoon show The King of Town's very own Quite popular cartoon show For reals this time! Somebody get the door! I'll get it! Pizza for you, Kingy Ding. Thanks, Chef. Here you go, boyos. Poopsmith, pizza's here. Don't forget to forget to wash your hands. Whoa! What is that reek? The Poopsmith? You smell like a crapsmith. Have you tried showering? Bathing? Wearing a baseball cap and putting deodorant on outside your shirt? Well, I'm out of ideas. Anybody else? Have you tried? So, I'm gonna set this thing to sanitize and it'll burn the stink right off ya. Oh, yeah, this is gonna be awesome. Have you tried? I've lived a terrible life. I was a horrible husband and father. I watched too much sports. <laughs> uh, have you tried? I now pronounce you man and pleasant odor. Have you tried? A little tackle football. Me and the blacksmith versus the poop smith in that shower. Hut one, hut two, and a hike. Oh, way to protect this house. But, uh, that wasn't really what I had in mind. Well, Bezos, I hoped it wouldn't come to this. But there's only one thing left to do. Jumping fun. We all jumping through the air. Jumping fun. Well, you know what I always say, if you can't beat make the poop smith smell good, join beat make the poop smith smell good. Right? Everybody? Who? Did I say crap smith? I should have said rotting dragon smith. That is ripe. Oh man, the cheat! This is gonna be bro awesome! This thing's gonna shoot all the way up to Europa and bring us back a couple of Europa peeing lobsters to grill up! Alright! Three, two, one! Look at it go! I can barely see it already! At oh, that was nothing like the back of the box! Where's my space lobster? You know what that means? It's time to employ. The Compressor! Three, two, one! Look at it go! I can almost taste the buttery claw meats! Where'd you come from? Would you like to try combo meal? Uh, sure, but no cheese and, um, extra sauce? I don't know. I think I just ordered the combo meal from this invisible restaurant. You don't have any invisible cash, do you? Whoa, you're loaded! And, uh, let me get a crappy toy meal for my de-cheat here. 
917, sever your leg, please, sir. Could you repeat that? I thought you just asked me to sever my leg. Sever your leg, please. It's the greatest day. Sever my leg? It's the greatest day? I'm not sure I understand the transaction that's taking place here. Please enter your password. <laughs> My the cheat wants to know what your crappy toy is this week. It's brown. It's brown. <laughs> well, I guess they're out of blue ones. <laughs> Look what you did. Steve, drive around to the seventh window. What window? You're just a crackly drive through whale out in the middle of a field. Field, 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 field. Come on, the cheat. Let's take our invisible business elsewhere. Sever your leg, please, sir. Put your pants back on, blue laser! How could you possibly refer to these as pants? <laughs> Cheat commandos, riggedy roll! Uh, that's not what we usually say. Uh, whatever, it's riggedy roll from now on. Buy all our play sets and toys! Hi, kids! Blah! I'm Crack Stuntman! I'm the voice of the gun shaver on Cheat Commandos! Here with an important rap song about safety and spring break! Bust it! Well, you're a rich kid living in the suburbs and there's not a whole lot to do! You stroll into the kitchen and what do you find? A bunch of knives cold staring at you! So, Kids, don't play with too many knives. Come on, come on, crack stuntmen. Gonna save some lives. Aww, uh, it's spring break. Girlies running wild. Jet to the beach wearing the freshest styles. Meet a bunch of kids from Alabama. Beach volleyball, slam a jamma. Hut, hut, go karts, bungee jumping. Crack stuntmen keeps the bass bumping. Poo, ha, 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 poo, ha, ha, ha. Holla for a dollar. Shout for some clap. Somebody say holla for a dollar. Let's turn this party out. Fun fire on the beach and people start to dance. Find a fly girly for some beach romance. But then a fresh honey comes walking by. How can a man choose between fresh and fly? And believe me, there is a difference. Throw your hands in the air for some high fives. And kids, don't play with too many knives. And I am out. Download all our number one jams. Whoa, Marzipan. You look like a fox's mother. Homestar, if you're trying to say I'm a foxy mama, that's actually more offensive. Why, why? You know what I mean. The more offensive one. So, where are we going tonight? The Chez Perez? Uh, no. I have a hot date with the cheat, thank you very much. I suspect you'll probably stay home and run in place or something. Well, I was planning to. You what? You what? How was it wrong? I can't believe this, the cheat! I can't believe you're the cheating on me! So what are you saying? That you... gulp... want his bod? You can't even call that thing a bod! At best it's a broom or a... Trivial Pursuit Cheese Wedge! Look, Homestar, it's just a date. This has always been an open relationship. Whoa, <laughs> says you! I've torn down more foxes' mothers than I can count just to stay loyal to you! So four, then? Oh, that's which. Miss Smarty Pants, eh? Mr. Smarty Spots, huh? Well, why don't you just go ahead and get, get out, out of my, my face? face? Wait, what? What the crap? Come on, the cheat, let's go. <laughs> Ordinarily, I'd just drown my sorrows in video games. But for this, maybe I should drown them in... drowning them. Uh, maybe let's not kill anybody. We should just try and ruin their date. 
explain to me how drowning them wouldn't ruin their date. Mainly, I just want to keep them from making out. Ew! The disgust! It won't wash off! Can I take grandma to that? Why, yes, the Chi. I would be very comfortable with you saying something about my figure. Thank you for asking first. <laughs> Ew, not that comfortable. Ah, uh, good evening, ungodly couple. My name is Wado. I will be your home star for this evening. Can I start you two off with a glass of breaking up? Or perhaps never seeing each other again with capers? <laughs> Why, yes, the cheat, I would be comfortable with you cleaning my clock. Thanks for asking first. <laughs> Can I settle up with you guys? My shift's over. Mmm, <laughs> my almond encrusted Chilean sea marshmallow was just delicious. How was your hot dog? <laughs> oh, uh, it's -a me, the chef. Uh, oh, which one of you guys ordered the smack in the face? Uh? I thought this was a French restaurant. Oh. Um, uh, snails? Come on, TC, let's blow this marshmallow stand. Yeah, you know, I, I didn't really research this role. <laughs> That's so crazy. I've always wanted to see Ira Glass and Ira Flato wrestle, too. This has been such a great mm. date, the Chief. I don't know what could possibly ruin it. Verify our range to target! Flood Boom. tubes three and four! Hunt for Red Boom. October! Aye aye, so! Boom. Fire! Yeah. Oh, it's so romantic! Come to the place where the tropical breeze has Oh, if it isn't Marzipan. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, is it the Marzipan now? Well, you'll be happy to know it didn't work out between us. I found out the cheat is declawed, and I just don't think I could be with someone that supports that kind of cruelty. And now you've come crawling back to the old fox's father. No, I just came to change outfits for my next date with Bubs at the all-night waffle place. You what? You what? <laughs> Previously on HomestyleWonder.com And that's why I believe the DNA evidence had been tampered with. And that's when I tampered with the DNA evidence. The DNA evidence was gone. Did you find the DNA evidence? I'll have that DNA evidence on your desk by five. DNA evidence. <laughs> Attention! Your attention, please! After extensive investigation, I'm ready to release my findings. I first spoke with Marcipan. Well, it all started several weeks ago. I came home from my toga yoga class to find that my house had been broken into and the culprit had left behind some DNA evidence. What was it? Hair particles? Skin flakes? Blood crispies? No, it was a little test tube just full of green DNA evidence. Oh, just like in the movies. So I immediately took it to Bubs to be analyzed, and this is all I got back. Well, it all started a few weeks ago. I just got finished teaching my toga yoga class when old maid Marzipan showed up. Hi, Bubs. Can you analyze this DNA evidence for me? Sure thing, but it's going to cost you an arm and a leg. Not a problem. So, what did you find out when you analyzed it? Oh, that. Well, next thing I know, Strong Bad shows up. Hey, bubs. One green apple snow cone, please. Coming right up. Oh, er, uh, blah. Here you go. One cough, cough, green apple snow cone. You served the DNA in a snow cone? And it sold like hot cake. Yeah, I bought the DNA snow cone. You knew it had the DNA evidence in it? Oh, well, yeah. I overheard that marcipan had some DNA evidence. And I figured I could use it to continue my genetic experiments on the cheat. So I sprung into action. Bubs keep one green app snook on the rocks. 
and keep it rusty. By the time I got home, it was all melted. So I put it in a glass on my desk and went downstairs to do one of my high impact toga yoga videos. And that's the last I saw of it. You left it on your desk, eh? Yeah, I swung by Strong Bad's the other day. The old lady had me out looking for some kind of Dan evidence. Strong Bad, I'm wearing a hat and trench coat. Ooh, a tall, cool glass of Mountain Dwar. Don't mind if I dwar. Glug, glug, glug. <laughs> oh, sorry to cheat. That stuff tasted like dwar dwar. So he wiped his face off with a gross towel, eh? You figured it out, Strong said. My cover is blown. I am actually damp towel man. And also his mild-mannered alter ego, Dan Towelman. Coach Z, no one's ever heard of those people. Damp Towel Man is a superhero. He collects damp towels from across the galaxy. Moist molecules, a green stained damp towel. The rarest and most powerful kind. So I took the towel to work the next day to see if it could clean up microwave lasagna stains. Stupid DNA evidence. Where am I supposed to find evidence by 5 o'clock? But when I got back to my cart, it was gone. I suspect it was my nemesis, Dry Ragamuffin. Or his mild-mannered alter ego, Dreyfus Ragamuffin. Coach Z, you have a real sucky imagination. That I do, my boy, that I do. Though I did notice that Strong Bad had some muddy boots sitting under his cubicle, I didn't find that at all suspicious. First of all, those were not muddy. I'd been stomping around in pecan pie all morning. Marzipan's allergic to pecans, you know. So it was your DNA evidence. Uh, no, it was yours. What? Yeah, I was just swiping the change from Marzipan's couch cushions, and I must have accidentally dropped it. Man. I was this close to finding out if you're really part elephant or part hippo or something. I am not! Well, now I guess we'll never know for sure. Now, if you'll excuse me, the stairs in this building have been burned down by termites. So it looks like I'm gonna have to jump! Yes, the world will never know for sure. <laughs> oh, hi. You're not going to say anything, are you? Ah, these Easter pants are getting way too tight. One, two, 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 one, Broken. 
Well, it's like a tricycle, but with 19 wheels instead of three. Coach Z, that's a horrible recipe. Let me run this one by you. We start with a pound of rubber cement. I haven't been able to fit into my lucky pants for almost 10 years. That's why I come I'm in such a bad mood all the time. Oh, come on, I'm the waste a little bit for you. Hey, that'd be a sweet deal I couldn't refuse. Odo, Odo. I hereby call this meeting of the Protonal Auto of Different Helmets to Auto. Now let us begin with a rousing rendition of our frothy shanty chant. And one, two, three. Ever and more, ever and more, ever and more. Singing ever and more, ever and more, ever and more. One more time. Ever and more, ever and more, ever and more. Dog Dad, why weren't you singing? I don't believe in the message. Ah, uh, yes you do. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Nay. The eyes win. You believe in the message now. I really do. I now give the floor to our treasurer regarding shiny new ways to misappropriate funds. Thank you, Brother Star Runner Brother. Well, I've taken the minutes from last month's meeting and sold them as rollover minutes to third world countries. Then I bought myself, I mean the broternal order of different helmets, a jet ski. But then I wrecked it and broke my shin. And now my rubbing ointment costs 50 bucks a tube. Fantastic. And now to help me demonstrate the new secret handshake, I call forth Brother of Town. Yay. Whoa. Everybody got it? This. Then this. Oh, and now Brother Strongbad with his weekly power play. <clears throat> What's the matter with you guys? I should be in charge here. Why is Homestar running this secret club? Singing songs and secret handshakes? That's rejected Girl Scout camp material. Put me in charge and we'll be hitting each other with wooden stools until the morning light. Eating triple fried pork rinds and burping video game music six ways till Tuesday. Ever and more? That's horse pucker, you fools! It's all marketing mumbo jumbo! Don't believe a word of it! Thank you, Strong Man. We look forward to hearing from you next week. Thank you, Supreme Overlord. And with that, our meeting is adjourned. Now, everybody, buddy up and get to walk on that secret handshake. I'm gonna go take a bath in a pile of gold coins. <laughs> Homestar, I disagree with what you said about the underlying theme of Chapter 8 in this book. It's really not about man's struggle with double-sided tape. It's a metaphor for the Mesopotamian social hierarchy during the Bronze Age. Seriously, Mazapin, how you get so smart? Don't you think you are a smart? Well, thanks, Homestar. I guess I am kind of smart. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Homestar. This is so romantic. You are so smart, Mozzie Pan. And I always like to add a drop of flaxseed oil. Gotta get those omega 3s. Mozzie Pan, you're so smart. Marshmallows are fluffy. You are so smart, Mozzie Pan. There you go, Mozzie Pan. My last batch of organic batteries. Thanks, Bubs. You shop so smart, Mozzie Pan. Yeah, when is old Homestar getting back from vacation? Oh, um, he, um, decided to stay a couple more days. Yeah, a couple more days, yeah. Marzy Pan! Marzy Pan! Can you let me out now? I'm pretty sure there's no cake in here. It's been about three weeks now, and you'd think I would have found it. All I've been able to find in here is some coats and a broom. Unless it's a broom cake. Is it a broom cake? Ooh, let's try this broom cake. Uh, 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 this is a really bad broom cake. Can you let me out, please? Oh, uh, wait. Coat cake? Maybe it's a coat cake. Oh, uh, I forgot my rusty flag. Oh, 
He looks adorable. Get a picture, get a picture. Huh? That's a keeper. Yeah, I don't know where Strong Matt is. You better go check on him. Make sure he didn't get into our stash of razor blade candy apples again. I hate you. Homestar, could you get that? No way! Homestar, I'm busy tuning my costume. And I'm busy not answering the phone. Puff. Oh, great. You made me miss it. Ooh, this is Marzipan. Leave me a spooky message. Come on in here. Marzipan, I'm done not answering the phone. Did you still need me to answer the phone? Marzipan? What are you doing? Are you playing a song? What is that? Wise Billy Boy. Wait, what's that? You say you want me to go out by myself and leave you here? Okay, if you say so. And your stupid face. And your stupid face. Uh, hey, strong man. Hey, the cheat. Well, if it isn't the human great on my nerves. Aren't you having a strange girlfriend to be annoying somewhere? Yeah, she's busy shimmying and shaking and talking about giblets or something. Giblets? Wait, Homestar, are you telling me that Marzipan has the giblets? Strongbad, I think that's a bit of a personal question. We gotta hurry! Strongbad and the cheat are in great danger! I hate you, the stick! <gasps> oh no! We're snowed in! I mean, we're too late! I know who's behind all this! Pete Jonkis is behind all this? No, oh, no, no, not Strong Mad Stuff Dramisio Mimis. There's usually this really horrible painting in there of some kind of demon holding a torch. Why is he holding that torch? Oh, you mean the Ghibli's painting. Wait, you know about it? Yeah. Brother called up Marzipan right before I ran into you. Ghibli's via phone line? It's worse than I thought. Pudonkis must be stopped. Oh, the clutch of glaze. That means you should start sending some hot chicks over to your dumpier friends. Ooh, and the cult of Ray. That means you should seriously stop hogging all the hot chicks. Don't look at me. The cards do not lie. Weird. I've never seen this one before. Come on in Bubs! Bubs! We're gonna need garlic, crosses, silver bullets, holy water, and VHS copies of Pumpkin's Head 2 through 4! Bubs? Ghibli! Bubs? Ghibli! We're snowed in again! Ghibli? All right, Homestar, we're on our own. Ghibli. All the good characters have already been ghibli But what about Coach? All the good characters. What are we going to do? We gotta hide, man. Ghibli. That thing's unstoppable. We'll live underground and slowly evolve into mole people with gross eyes and claws. Sounds like a plan. Yes, when it's Halloween night and there's an insane painting running around, there's no safer place for a pretty young thing like me than in the shower. My good man, could you please pass the port plus? Come on. Hey, Jorbly, 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 Jorbly! Ding, dang it, Poop Smith! I want me some of that giblet flu that's been going around. That mess sounds delicious. Guess what? Come on in here. Giblet, 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 giblet. Come on in here. I'm a touchy feely holic. Ghibli, Ghibli, Ghibli. Now all the lame characters have been Ghibli too. Ahem. <clears throat> uh, sorry, man. All but one. Thank you very much. Well, time to start evolving into mole people. Now shut your eyes really tight and try and heighten your other senses. Home, home star? Come on in here. Not again. Sorry, make a sandwich. What did you just say? Come on in here. Come on in now. Okay. Whoa, nice style.
Hello, I came on in here. How's it going, man? Pretty good, creep take. Is this your house? It's not much, but it's home. I plan to redo the kitchen. That is literally so great. Listen, uh, how come you jibbalized all my friends? I just wanted someone to come on in here. I love to entertain. What about that guy? That guy has serious problems. Oh, well, if I let you entertain me, will you unjibbify my pals? Yes, but you have to stay here with me for all eternity. Hey, no sweat. I love eternity. Then it is done. Jibbly, 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 super scope six, whoa! The jibblies are gone! I'm saved! Moto! Strongman! The cheat! You're all right! Everything's back to normal! You guys, have you seen Homestar? What are you doing in my house? So, is it eternity yet? I think it's eternity already. Oops, it's five past eternity. You better let me go. Beep, beep, beep. Your eternity alarm's going off. It's probably time to send me home. Mozpin's supposed to be making me some giblets or something. Hey, the gold friend formerly known as Mozpin. I think you missed a little bit when you were shaving. Right there, around the sideboards area. More like the former girlfriend known as Marzipan. Sounds like a plan. Hey, Strongman, I thought you was gonna dress up as the alien Xenomorph. this year. Xenomorph! Yeah, I was gonna, but when I got the hammockers, slammockers, they were all sold out. I did get an awesome shiatsu massage wine opener, though. So, wait, was there ever a Ghibli's one? No, horror movies don't even need first movies anymore. This is the reboot of the reimagining of the reinvention of the original. Original and horror movie? Not these days. Hey, bubs. Nice Schneider from One Day at a Time costume. No way. He's Monroe from Too Close for Comfort. You're both way off. Mazapan, do you know who I am? I don't know. I heard that. Hey, Bob Bob, now that I'm the strongest man in the world, let me get that gold bowl. Ow. Good smells. Where the poop smith's going, he doesn't need good smells. King of town, I gotta hand it to you. That is one great Melted Don King outfit. Ooh, I could go for a box of Melted King Dons myself. Can I borrow some detergent from you, please? Say, hey, wait, look, it's the rapping man. Came to do his laundry. I was supposed to ask, can you record on my new album? I can understand well, that's a yes. It is one, two, go rap song. Coach Z R A P. Accidentally featuring PCP Are you biscuit head? You ain't featuring me I said accidentally featuring PCP I'm the lyric follicle, Coach Z I like my ointments topical, mostly And if you got the itchy toes, then come see me I got a rap song featuring PCP My name is P, comma, P, say I like to eat my bacon all three, say I'm the best guest rapper in the music biz I ain't even know whose song this is. It's mine! I thought I made that abundantly clear! Here comes the hook! R A P S O A G Yes, yes, y'all, and we don't stop! Coach Z and PCP cold rapidly rap! Much money, more money, cash, money, drop! I'm the ROM janitor ringing up my mop! Stop! Oh, you're cramping my style. I sprinkle whack MCs with my sawdust pile. Listen up straight, y'all biscuit heads. I like a piece of dry toast with two scrambled eggs. All the hash browns make an extra crisp. A glass of orange juice and a bowl of cheese grits. Oh, dang! That man had just ordered breakfast in the middle of my rap song. R A P S O A G. Yes, yes, y'all. And we don't fake. 
Here comes the Nerys Love with an R and B break. My name is the Nerys Love plus my name is the Nerys Love divided by my name is the Nerys Love equals my name is the Nerys Love. Remain the three. R A B S O N G. Yes, yes, y'all, and we don't stop. Go see a peachy pee called Rabbity Rap. R A B S O N G. Yes, yes. The chart then was amazing! It's gonna rocket straight to the bottom of the BET charts! Oh, your payment! How's about a nice slice of chin strip pizza? Remember those guys in that bad limousine? Well, they turned that two of us into a space machine! But they're still limousine! We're still limousine! But they're in space! But we're in space? I'm afraid I've got some bad news, boys. We've been relegated to DVD bonus content. It's quite exciting, this computer magic! I'm afraid I've got some bad news, boys. If we don't find a new opening act, our show here at the Glen Burnie Space Arena will be cancelled. Hey guys, I think I found our new opening act! The luscious ladies from Avantage! That was fast. Hey guys. Thanks for letting us open for you. An all-girl metal band! Patty! You ladies better get on stage. The crowd's getting restless. They've stopped throwing bottles and started throwing meteors. See you guys after the show. Are you sure about this, Larry? Yeah! Come on, guys! These chicks are totally hot! And I think they can play their instruments! Let's go check out their set! Okay, but if their guitarist is better than me, there's no way I'm making out with her. <gasps> it's a galactic space hippo spider! It must have kidnapped Avantage! We've gotta go after him. To the space machine! Hugging and loving and living by the minute! you guys. We were just doing our makeup. Tawny needed more hairspray. Tawny! But what about the galactic space hippo spider? Isn't that just one of your stage props? Yeah, Larry. You battle it on stage every night during your encore. Oh, that galactic space hippo spider! And another thing, Larry. Our band is called Advantage, not Avantage. Advantage? I thought you ladies were from the French Nebula! No! We're from Jersey! Piety! <laughs> oh, I am so making out with her. Kids, it looks like we learned our lesson about all girl metal bands from the lovely ladies of Advantage! It's Advantage? Advantage! We'll see you next time on Cable Access! Or maybe we'll just come by your house! <laughs> I need some throat coat! Rich has the ball at the top of the 20, the 15, the 10! Touchdown! Oh, Puff Casserole! Oh, all right, mm -hmm. Chief. Mm -hmm. Strong man's asleep. We can finally watch not football. Mm -hmm. What do you mean there's nothing else good on? Of course there is. It's Thanksgiving Day! Mm -hmm. Hello, I'm the king of town. 
here with an important message about Thanksgiving safety, specifically the dangers of not frying a turkey. Each year, thousands of families suffer from not fried turkeys. So please, this Thanksgiving, don't be a jerky. Fry that turkey. <laughs> There's nothing to worry about, Turkey Joe. Even though I'm going to gut you and rip your entrails out with my hand, I'm going to grind them up with some rosemary and sage and shove them right back up there. Isn't that great? <laughs> all right, all you turkey liberators out there. Here's how we make marzipan's famous Thanksgiving faux duckin'. We stuff millet inside of bulgur, inside of meatless veggie nuggets, inside of tempeh, injected into bean curd, wrapped in fake and bacon, and baked inside a pair of hemp toddler pants. Well, pilgrims, it looks like all we're getting this year is another lame Thanksgiving special. At least we didn't get stuck with Secretary Appreciation Day. I think you mean Administrative Professionals Day. Here's your coffee, sir. Nice gum, sweet cheeks! Attention holiday shoppers! Boobs Friday starts Thursday! Line forms at 1 a.m. Doors open at 2 a.m. Shoving and trampling start promptly at 2.05. Followed by tear gas and riot police at 2.15. Come on, moms! You know you want to beat each other up over some stupid kid's toy. And if you draw blood... You just might make it onto this year's edition of Mommy Fights! <sighs> oh, I guess you're right to cheat. There is nothing else good on. Oh well, pass me that gravy boat. <laughs> we now return to the second half of the 2007 Falling Asleep on the Couch Watching Football Bowl! Oh, I lost all my magics. Don't you see? The magic of December Ween is inside everyone! And so they returned the sword of St. Olaf to its rightful owner and discovered the true meaning of December Ween. Bo -bo 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 bye kids! Can someone please explain again what a mystical sword has to do with December Ween? You hold that nasty old puppet. The magic of December Ween is inside all of us. Man, that's not what December Ween's all about. And I suppose you're gonna tell I'll us. I'll tell what you what December Ween is all about. Is all about. It happens each December Ween, though some would say it doesn't. The best thing that you've ever seen, even better than your hot cousin. Better than Deborah? Oh, maybe not better than Deborah. Ooh, Deborah. I'm talking about a magic man who defies the laws of physics. He turns December Ween into December Ween. Tell us, man, who is it? He's the December Ween. Take a man and he'll make your dreams come true. No, there ain't no beat. That holiday feeling when he says shut up to you. Yeah, shut up, kid. When the sun goes down, he creeps into town and borrows your hedge clippers. And while you're sleeping safe and sound, he puts blank media in your slippers. It was eight tracks in my day. Sometimes he'll cold call random kids with discount travel packages. <coughs> Las Vegas for $20 a night? Thanks, Decemboween Snicker Man. Yes, he's the Decemberween Snicker Man, flying through the night in an unmarked van. You never know what he'll bring us when you hear those high-pitched singers. Here comes the Decemberween Snicker Man! One, two, three! He's the Decemberween Snicker Man! Oh, and you make your dreams come true! No, there ain't no ceiling on that holiday feeling! When he says, shut up to you! Yeah, shut up to one and all of dang y'all! Uh, just so we're all on the same page here, we are just talking about Bubs with a piece of paper taped to his chest, right? You guys? Bubs? Paper tape? Anybody?
Hi, folks. I'm Fantastic Strongman, with an important seeming message. Five years ago, I drew a little dragon. He wasn't much to look at, but he captured the hearts and minds of dozens, nay, severals, of internet viewers. I am, of course, talking about none other than... The S is for Socks Dragon! A, long time ago, B, before things got weird, came a dragon, a mighty dragon, that everybody feared. Now G is for giraffe, and H for Halloween. But I'm not joking about this killing machine. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Oh, pencils keep on peeing, and we'll raise quite a ruckus. In case you haven't guessed by now, the S is for suckers. The S is for sucks. The S is for sucks. The S is for sucks. The S for sucks. The S is for sucks. The S is for sucks. The S is for sucks. The S for sucks. T to BPR. U uneven style. B constabulate B. Are you for a pile? Excuse me, Mr. Trogdor. You've run out of luck. In case you haven't heard the news, the S is for sucks. 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 Oh, the S is for sucks. 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 First of all, the S is for Yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking. What about Trogdor? You internet types ruined Trogdor. Just like you did zombies, pirates, ninjas, and strongman. Er, wait, no, yeah. And personally, I prefer that children's alphabet song to Trogdor's heavy metal song any day. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Right away, sir. Yes, 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 Sloshy? Uh, 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 American Football Championship. Yay! American Football Championship. Yay! American Football Championship. Yay! American Football Championship. Yay! I got no. Money riding on this one. He's got no money riding on this one. I got no money riding on this one. He's got exactly zero dollars. I've riding got on no this. money riding on this one. None. I got no money riding on this one. No American football championship game. American football championship game. Soccer in high school. Woo! Listen up, short children. It's the Flurry Puff and Watch Through the Lights presents the Home Star Runner program in a color featuring the Home Star Runner, his best girl, Martha Pan, diseased orphan, sickly Sam. Never thousand air strong man! And the rest! Today's shenanigans! Sickly Sam's big outing! This must be Skid Row! This must be Skid Row! Wake up, Sickly Sam! Today's the first day of the day of your big outing! Up and Adam! <coughs> you need some dentist fries! If you're supposed to go on a big outing, we need to find you up a hot date. So, the dead kid needs a hot date, eh? The only date he has is with the glue factory! Which I will sell him to! For money! First, 
we gotta do something about that old potato sack. Uh oh, the door. There's a knock at the door. Oh, telegram! Thanks, the sneak. Boot. This honest telegram says to meet your hot date down at the boardwalk. Am I gonna make romance? Now let's get you dressed to the five and three quarterses. I do believe you've spicked my span. Blah. Come on, Jackson. Cut yourself a slice of rug. Let's turn those skeleton knees into these knees. Say there, Fort Wayne locomotive. How's about a pep talk? Double S here's about to go on his first date with a member of the opposite persuasion. Well, I tell you, sickle cell. When it comes to the ladies, you gotta turn and run the other way! Like you're facing the defense of the Sheboygan Boot Eaters! Times is trouble! T-R-U-double-A bubble! A one, a two, and a hike! You're almost ready, Sickly Sam. Last thing you need is a real... Okay. Take a whiff. I'm having a time. All right, boys. Remember the plan. Step one, give him the business. Step two, cocktails in the parlor. We shan't get foiled again! What a pleasant hole! I can't say enough good things about this hole! this walking around behind the fence being a young person sure has gotten my hunger all up in a dander. Relinquish your pipes, please, fellas. Relinquish our pipes? We'd love to. <laughs> Come the heck down to Blubbo's and try your dang self the Blubbo's classic. The original, the regular, the new original, the old classic, and the isosceles fish sandwich. Wait, fish sandwich? <laughs> We have a fish sandwich? Does anybody ever order that thing? At Blubbo's, all our vegetables are hand-tossed through a refreshing cascade of water and chopped in mid-air. Welcome to Crab to Blubbo's. Would you like to try a combo meal, some chipotle potato nudules, or our attempt at competing with National Coffee Chain's premium mocha chip melt shake? I just have a question. Do you actually use whale meat or just regular fast food meat? I just need to know how hard I should protest you. <laughs> Family fun, and I'm talking about men in costumes, is what Blubbo's is all about. Hey there, kids. I'm the drive through whale. I'll chop off your legs. Sometimes it seems like you're trying to go to prison, Coach Z. Hey, three square meals a day. There she blows, the cheat. I'm for the blowhole. Hmm, 
<laughs> what? Whoa, I didn't even see Coach Z standing in a whale costume. Yeah, shoot him too. And now, for a limited time, introducing the Blubbo's Thick and Nasty. That's right, y'all Blubbo heads. The Thick and Nasty. Ah! Blubbo's. You guessed it. We're called Blubbo's. Register does not contain more than 50 doctors. College Ranch has the beer at the tear of the cave! Ew, strong side. What's that puffy smell? Come again? Did you make up another batch of that stewed Easter basket grass? Yes, but I think this puffy smell is coming from the couch. The couch? Whoa! That must be an egg we missed from last year's Easter egg hunt. Uh, I don't think this is from last year, Strong Sad. Oh, jeez, be careful. That thing is live, man. You can keep talking, or you can start running. Soon, don't fail me now. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to Strong Band Gameways. Thank you for playing with us today. Please take a moment to familiarize your band self with the following safety precautions. Due to the possibility of in-game wiggle and waggle, it is recommended that you play your game in a large open space, free of debris, rubble, and flotsam and jetsons. Ideal play spaces include gymnasiums, abandoned airplane hangars, deserts, and fruited plains. If you are seated in a window seat, please be advised that the Baba Yaga may show up to steal your firstborn baby. Lastly, your game controller is equipped with a safety cover that can double as a flotation device. Simply pull on the cord and the device will inflate. But we're not quite safe enough yet. At this time, you may want to inflate your own safety vest to prevent anything from ever happening. Ah! On behalf of our awesome based crew, thank you for playing with us. You are now fully prepared to enjoy your game in total unplayable safety. I think my contents may have shifted. Oh man, this is the best game I've never played. The following is an extremely well-paid commercial advertisement and not a really funny cartoon. Checking emails for money is not funny. Dear Strongbad, you need to make a 3D Strongbad video game with all the burst graphics. Not a bad game with dumb pixels. Come on, man. From Kev Demoron, Crenshaw Lane. A 3D video game? What, you mean like this? Did you mean like this? Give me that camera! Ah! Ooh, look at that voluptuous belly! Wow! Down the stairs! Doop, 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 doop. Ooh, pizza! That's three rigs off! Hey, watch where you're pointing that 3D! Yeah, 3D! Wow! Witness my amazing video game style in all three of the glorious D's! I the cheat! Step! Dimension! And... Hey, strong man. I've got a low polygon count. Dumb idiots. From the people who made that game Rabbit Dog and Bunnyman. And the geniuses responsible for Trogdor, Let's Burninate Phonics. Comes a 3D point and click em up adventure that will quite literally leave your Wii console a smoldering crater. Game will not literally leave your Wii console a smoldering crater. Presenting Strong Bad's Cool Game for Attractive People! Or if you want to get in on the ground floor of the cool abbreviation, SBCG4AP! Coming soon to a WiiWare near MeWare. Or, er, you wear. Oh yeah, man. The Super FX chip, that red thing you stuck in the N64, Mode 7, and they even had to invent Mode 8 just for this game. You seen any graphics yet? Not yet. But I sent them this concept art, 
And I'm pretty sure they're gonna stick close to my vision. Oh man, this dang old remote control can only change the channels and make everybody speak Spanish. Why not try this one? What's that? A futuristic candy wall? Almost. Check it out. Ooh, what game is that? The candy wall game? It's Strong Bad's cool game for attractive people. But you can play too. Strong Bad? But this game seems to have all the cool characters from HerbStar10.com. That's right, and even the lame ones. <laughs> go, go away! I'm pointing, I'm clicking, it's like an adventure. You'll go to all the places we go in the cartoons in five totally awesome monthly episodes. Five episodes? Where do I buy them at? That's the best part, Hums Star. It's WiiWare! WiiWare! So you download them over your internet-style connection! Get out of town! What are we waiting for? June of 2008! I got so excited, I forgot everything you just said! Strong Bad's cool game for attractive people! Featuring Hope Star Waddle! <laughs> Shut up! Five adventure-packed action sods available this summer only on WiiWare. Uh, Strong Bad, I think we're gonna need more candy bars. The home star runner gets something stuck in his craw. Everyone loves the home star runner. He is a terrific athlete. Once a time, he was in the field doing some yard work. This yard work is hard work. Quip the home star runner. Strong Bad and his Dechit rolled up and started talking smack. You look dumb and stuff. Doing yard work is only for the loseriest of losers. The home star runner was saddened by this bit of news and felt ashamed. I never want to be a loser again. He said and somersaulted away. He somersaulted around the world 50 times and only stopped because he was really tired. Phew, said the home star runner. Just then it felt like a small animal tried to burst out of the home star runner's craw. That is unsightly and make it go away, shrieked some fat girl. Something is stuck in my claw, declared the home star runner. For days upon days, he slinked around town trying to hide whatever it was that was stuck in his craw. One day he put a wig on it. It's a nice wig you got on your craw growth job there, home star run guy, pronounced Coach Z. Another day, he painted it green and drew some stripes on it. Man, when is that nasty thing gonna go away, way? queried Bubs. Finally, he asked the ghost of Christmas suck what to do. Sensible people solve their problems with words, not disguise as... Advised Strong Tad. So the home star runner tried talking to his craw lump. Why don't you just go away? But it didn't answer. I just wish I knew where you came from. Still no answer. Just then, Strong Bad and the Chief walked up and started laughing their rear ends off. Ha 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 ha! That guy is talking to a thing that's not a person. Cackled Strong Bad with sort of a nose. Hey, you leave him out of this. Right about that time, the thing stuck in his crop popped out. Hey, then. Yelped the home star runner. The craw object, or crobject, unfurled and was revealed to be a red shirt with a big white star. That is one pointy duck, said the smartest person in the world. Don't you look a sight, said Bubs. Now I can truly see that you're a terrific air fleet, realized Coach Z. I couldn't have done it without my claw, said the home star runner. Then he somersaulted to Mars and brought them all back meatball subs. I still hate you, and later on, you're gonna get cut, threatened tough as nails, Strong Bad. Oh, Strong Bad. Ding. Bravo, Strong Bad. You simply must read one more. Oh, fine, fine. So I shall. How about the Strong Sad Wets Yonder Bed? There is no such kid's book. <laughs>
Hey, Palm Dog. It's Home Dog. Yeah, Dog. You want to hang out? Oh. Oh. Formware upgrade. No, that sounds important. No, it's cool. I'll catch you later. Boop. Oh. Strong man? No? Cool. Bubs! In federal prison? Coach Z? In juvenile prison? No, oh, it's cool. I forgot today was you and Brunswick Stew's anniversary. Okay, bye. <sighs> oh well. I guess I'll just have to call. Call Homestar, come out and play! <laughs> Uh, we don't really call it playing anymore, Strong Man. It's more like hanging out, messing around, kicking back. Let's fool around! Hmm, maybe not fool around either. Why don't we just get down to business? Let's play. Or kick around. Whatever. Let's play blocks! Blocks, eh? I'm not opposed to the classics. Let's play some blocks. <laughs> You know, this is exactly what I thought you had in mind. Not sure why I agreed to it. How about we play catch? Alright, fire it in here. Give me the old pepper that a pepper, wait a pepper, who's a pepper? It's a relocation sale! 50% off all badly beaten home stars! Okay, strong man. We're gonna have a little something I like to call migraine time. We can play your new favorite game, Feathers and Cotton. Ready? Go. <laughs> this one's not my fault! Wow, I had a real great time messing around today, strong man. But next time, maybe we should just play. Hey, thanks for babysitting the little guy for me, Homestar. What? Oh, time to go? Yeah, sorry, man. Cinder blocks, structural damage, and meteors? It is definitely time for your nap. <laughs> Phew! Bubs, hit me with the cold one. Oh. Ah, thanks, man. <laughs> Thank you all for coming to my slideshow presentation. Slideshow? You said you found a dead body. You told me there'd be casseroles. You're welcome. Summertime is generally a happy time, making it my least favorite time of year. So in order to make myself appropriately miserable, I decided to embrace all the hoopla and go to the beach. Oh, that's where you were. Well, I figured you were inside that barrel again, moistening yourself or whatever. It's called the dampening and it helps me focus. Now, let's begin my somber vacation. Since I don't have a lot of beach apparel, the King of Town's blacksmith was kind enough to let me borrow this revealing little number. Even though I couldn't see anything with it on, I think it's safe to assume this really turned some heads. Next, I went ahead and buried myself alive in the sand. I won third place in a sand sculpture competition. Instead of collecting seashells, I stalked the sandy shores, looking for algae-covered chunks of styrofoam coolers. I added googly eyes and some pipe cleaner, and then played beach volleyball with them. They won handily. Here I am enjoying my favorite tropical beverage, a scalding hot cup of black coffee with beach sand on the rim. The bartender kept calling it a sucks on the beach. My last night there, I went for a long midnight walk on the beach. It would have been nice and lonely if I didn't keep tripping over teenage and European couples making out. But of course, I forgot to put on any moon screen, so I got burnt to a crib. <laughs> <laughs> well, he my jeebies. Shut up. It's a skin condition. This is just how I tan. I can't help it. <laughs> Looking good, Miss July. 
Nothing beats the heat like a dusty, musty novel. Step right up and take home a tome. Dog said, you've had some bad ideas in your time, but this is the best idea you've ever had. You'll make millions. Bologna! Ooh, it's the bologna bin. What should I get? What should I get? Brand new for this season. I got the unrecognizable summer movie tie-in sandwich. Which movie is it from? The sequel! What do you got that'll cool me, cool me, cool me down? I got this bologna sandwich shaped like a popsicle. I'll take it. That should be enough to fool my brain. Oh, yeah. That's the stuff. You see this guy rubbing a sandwich on his head? I know, I know. Just let it go. You gotta pick your battles. I can't decide between the one with the gumball in the center or the one shaped like there's a bite taken out of it. Yeah, shaped like there's a bite taken out of it. Yeah, shaped like there's a bite taken out of it. Yeah, shaped like there's a bite taken out of it. Yeah, shaped like there's a bite taken out of it. Yeah, I'll take one of everything, mm -hmm. two of everything, yep. mm, three of everything. Okay. Mm, you got any five of everything? I got six of those. And hurry it up. I'm melting over here. What, you didn't heal, man? Man, man, this kid is doing a flip on his 180. Busted his head, man. Busted his head. Homestar, what are you talking about? Some more talk. And did this head busting happen to anyone in particular? No, summer talk. The kind of stuff you talk about in the summer. Kids getting hurt on bikes. Oh! I'll have uh, them all out. But then what about the... Out of that one, too. Uh, then give me a... Nowhere to be found. All I got left is this $32 napkin. Oh, I could really put that thing through its paces. Well, that's it for this summer, kids. I got a mosey on. I got an expired tag, expired license, and expired mayonnaise. Oh, oh well, Bologna Bin. I made your wobbly theme song serve as a reminder that you probably have a really sketchy past. Oh, oh. Seriously, Strong Dad, yeah. you'll make oh, millions. Oh. How come we always get stuck patrolling the Arctic playset? Somebody's gotta do it, Fight Gar. In the last week alone, Blue Lasers tried to control, blow up, and make super soldiers out of snow. They're called super soldiers, thank you very much! And if I can find some carrots, they'll be destroying you all momentarily! Sorry, Blue Laser! Your evil plan is going snowware! Ah! The mere sight of you makes me want to retch! It's Gun Haver in the new Cheat Command Snowbeel! Um, words say talk? What's my line? We should head back to base? Yeah, or more like we should head back to my cabin in Tahoe. It's got a two-story hot tub and an underwater fireplace. Cut, cut, cut. What was wrong with that, Chimendez? Mr. Stoneman, while I'm unsure of the physical feasibility of an underwater fireplace, I'm sure your home in Lake Tahoe is very lovely. But can we please just stick to the script? Well, why can't the cowboy one have a house in Tahoe, too? He seems to be doing all right for himself. Once again, his name is Gun Haver, and he is a great military leader. He cares not for such things as hot tub. What about massage chairs? Can he at least like massage chairs? Are you going to be difficult about this, Mr. Topman? Yeah, I think this one's a deal breaker. Oh. <sighs> ah, get him, boys. Uh, Gun Haver, we can really use that gun of yours right about now. Sorry, it fell down between the cushions. I hope everything's going okay at the Arctic playset. I'm sure they're all just doing fine. They fight Blue Laser all the time. Those are not your character's lines. But I like the rhyming guy's lines better. I'm gonna do his voice now. Mr. Stoneman, I refuse to- Deal breaker. Oh. <sighs>
I'm sorry my financial experiment backfired and switched you and Gunhaver's voices, Krakotage. Hey, I was thinking that right here would be a great place for a casino or a dinosaur to happen. Um, are you talking to me? Uh, uh, uh. Crack, you said there'd be a cold cut tray. Hang on, baby. Hey, where are the cold cuts at? Mr. Thumbman, you cannot bring your girlfriends into the recording booth! Don't blow this for me, Chimendez. I told her she could be in a cartoon! Does this thing really have an underwater fireplace? Sure does, new bad guy girl character! I am a new character too, Mr. Gunhaver. If you will please step into this tiny box, I can almost guarantee that you will appear in the rest of this season's episodes. Who are you? Uh, my name is Agent Chimendez. I'm an expanded universe character. Novelizations, read-along storybooks, things like that. Well, anyone who can guarantee I'll appear in the rest of this season's episodes is all right in my book. Whee! Thanks again, Agent Jimendez. We couldn't have defeated Blue Laser's Super Snoldiers without you. It's too bad Gunhaver's on a secret mission to the moon for an undisclosed period of time, and that when he gets back, his voice might have changed. Yes, yes, quite unfortunate. Now, what do you say, Chicomandos? Let's rock, rock on! Ro 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 rock, ro 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 rock on! Hello? Chimendez? I'm ready to record my lines for the rest of this season's episodes! Anyone? Man, this thing reminds me of the two-story box I've got at my place in Tahoe! I just gonna feel sorry for you. I mean, I do. Please be seated, delete heads. Now let's get right down to it. Speedmail 200 wagers. Place your bets. Place your bets. The cheat's got 50 bucks. Says the lappy doesn't make it out of email 200 alive. Any takers? Any takers? Double down. Okay, hot money, hot money, big movers. Dan, we got a 20% chance that this email is gonna be from a guy named Dan. Who wants in? Anybody? Nobody? Hot action? Big numbers? No? Moving on. Home stars got half a G on. Strong bad not making it out alive. I don't know nothing about nothing. Do any of you have even one iota that lives down the street from a clue as to what you're talking about? Uh, gambling? Uh-huh. Horses! Well, I can tell you right now you're all way off. Or I got 50 bucks that says you guys will continue to suck no matter what I do. We'll just see about that, old buddy, old pal. We'll just see. Homestar, are those just candles with the drawing of a clock taped to them? Oh, um, 
Don't worry, guys. I gotta catch this invisible secret elevator. The... How much you wanna bet he stays down there all week? Oh, no, you don't. The delete head started camping out for Speedmail 200 weeks ago. Back of the line. But there's really no one else here yet, so you can get right behind us. We're gonna play Name That Inconsistency later on if you wanna join us. But don't even think about eating any of our sun chips. I packed those special. Introducing all new Homestar Runner Halloween costumes and products. Do not ask me to speak up again because this is as loud as I'm gonna get. If you don't like it, you can find someone. Introducing all new Home Run Hitter Halloween costumes and products. Choose from all your favorites. Strong Bad, Homestar Runner, Kachit. Each comes with its own authentic, cheap, costumish pullover. Candy. Oh, hello, neighborhood kid. Let's see who you're dressed as this year. Hmm. Crappy plastic Bubs mask. Yeah. And a crappier plastic apron with a picture of Bubs on it that says Bubs on it. Mm-hmm. Just like Bubs all the time wears. Picture of himself on himself. Yeah, you're not getting any candy from me. Thanks, Mrs. Janquo. And for the ladies, don't forget the new authentic Marzipan costume. No oh, wait. Almost. There we go. That is so offensive, but it's not really offensive anymore. I'll take 12. Whew, you dang right. And for the trick-or-treating impaired, check out StrongSad's line of safety loser accessories. Hey, that's not what I named. Mom, not overprotective enough? Just add this discreet reflector to any costume and never worry about getting accidentally run down by Mancuso's older brother ever again. Side effects may include getting intentionally run down by Mancuso's older brother. Plagued by Halloween eggings? Fool them every time with this deluxe decoy poncho. Light him up, the cheat! <laughs> oh, never mind. Looks like somebody already got him. With a bunch of fried eggs. And last, for the kid with no friends who's staying at home to help... <coughs> <clears throat> Mom and Dad give out treats. Here's a pair of sweatpants. It's really all we can do. Sorry. All new Homestars running Halloween customs and products. Only from... <coughs> all new Homestar runner Halloween costumes and products. Only from Cheap Ass Free. I told him not to mess with me. Oh, man, you guys. Can't believe we actually came to the King of Town's crappy Halloween party. You boys having a good time? Try the ketchup fountain yet? This party sucks, old man. This is Halloween. Where's the decaying flesh? The rotting corpses? The stink of death? Uh, not exactly what I was talking about. Well, fine. If stinky dead people is all you want, why don't you go hang out in that 200-acre cemetery that's been behind my castle all this time? Jigga a what? We have a cemetery? This is awesome! How come nobody ever told me about this place? You didn't know about this place? Man, if it weren't for the library, I'd spend- We have a who cares? Yeah, it still uses Dewey Decimal and everything. Uh, aww, I hate it when you do <laughs> that. <laughs> Come on, guys. Let's go find a suitable stiff to exhume and reanimate. Oh, man, Bob Bob. This is gonna be so great. First we'll hit Space Mountain, then over to Mr. Toad's, then Tom Sawyer's Island, and don't forget, we parked in the Goofy Lot. You think I should have told him about that carnivorous undead sheep that prowls the graveyard? I'm the Captain Caveman of the Graveyard Train! Alright now, Marzipan, remember, we have to hold our breath in front of the dead. Ready, go! <gasps> <gasps> okay, never mind. Sorry, the dead. This place is perfect for my intro to photography class. I've already hit the railroad tracks and an abandoned factory. This will complete the amateur trifecta. Hang on, I think I got it. <gasps> <gasps>
Hey, look! Here's my great-great-grandpappy's cousin Harold. He discovered the bait and switch. Ooh, and this is his brother Mort. He invented no money down. All your dead relatives are making me want to start one of them horrorcore rap groups. I could pull on a hockey mask and call myself Coach Zeger Mortis. Hey, man, show some respect. Okay, Papa. Now that I know we're not in a theme park, I say we try to find that Queen Goblin. I heard that if you find him right at midnight, he'll spin all your Halloween candies into gold. Instead of just doing that regular old two-bit dance. <laughs> hey, that's a great place to start looking. I wonder why they call it Snarling Hungry Sheep Hill. I mean, look at some of these names. Jim Nelius Hog Chigger? Hebby Scrabby? Is there some secret period in history when hobos ruled the earth that I'm unaware of? You stand with jealous zombies, life! Don't worry, Twomp Mad. We will. We just gotta find somebody with a cool name. Let's keep looking. Almost. A little less lark and a little more skulk. Like this? There we go. You're not showing up in these pictures. Strong Sad, is there something you need to tell me? Are you dead? Whoa, maybe I am. I finally willed myself to death. This is great. Hey, Bubs, check it out. You're not the only one with relatives here. My great good aunt is buried right under our feet. Oh, you come over here and look at this. I want you to see my great great grand uncle. He invented no payments till 2010. Hi there. Wait, hold on a sec. Are you telling me my uncle is your aunt? Seems that way. Bubs, this is great news. This means we're brothers. I always knew it. Or it means you're a liar. Besides, even if it were true, we'd only be sixth, fourth, second, fifth cousins thrice removed. Oh, phew. So your sister and I can... Ah! <laughs> oh! Plutus? What is wrong with you dead people? I don't want a reanimated corpse named Plutus doing my bidding. Doesn't any dead body with a good name around here want to be reanimated with these jumper cables and pickled monkey fingers? Zegar! I want Zegar! Alright, Pom Pom. It's almost midnight. Ready with the Halloween candy? Man, I can't wait to try a gold whatchamacallit. Uh, a gold... Oh yeah, Snickles. <laughs> Cheats got wavies again. What was that? Oh my goodness. Cheat, you got rabies again? Uh oh, let's beat it, Poop Smith. Yahoo, seriously, Bob Bob. I'm about to beat my pants. The goblin, you saved us. Now, are you gonna turn all a hundred grand into a hundred grand? But I thought at midnight you. Oh, man! Hooray! Extended dance remix of the Goblin Song! Whoa, check out that awesome dead, undead sheep! Some say it's an escaped laboratory test animal. They call it Subject X. That's the coolest name I ever heard of. The cheat, grab the jumper cables and hey, where'd the pickled monkey fingers go? I don't know. You said it, old buddy. Happy carousel of progress, Bob Bob. I mean, Halloween, Bob Bob. Hey, Homestar, I really like your Carrot Top costume. I'm not Carrot Top, I'm Crocodile Dundee. Hey, Strong Man, what's the answer to the ultimate question of life, the universe, and everything? Uh, I don't know. I just saw this sassy planet on the cover of one of your stupid books and thought it looked cool. Say it! Say it! Oh! Oh! Hey, Strong Man.
Nice moth with telly costume. Good news, everyone. Turns out that wasn't ketchup in the ketchup fountain. You're Gorble Gorble! Grab them cakes! Ah, is that all you do? Ah, my little pride and joy. It's really starting to console me that you keep dressing up as dudes. King of Town, would you like to justify your dressing up as Hello Kitty this year? Sure, I dressed up as my favorite candy. Um, I'm pretty sure those were erasers. Hey, Stinko Man, what are you think you're doing? Go away. I'm doing something. Um, yeah, but what is it you're doing? Can't you see, my good man? I'm giving thanks. Oh, because it looks like you're building a tractor. Shows how much you know. Now watch me give thanks to these crops. Ah! Ah! That's not how you give thanks. Oh, yeah, talking to me, extraordinaire? If you're so smart, why don't you show me how to give thanks without the use of farm equipment? Okay, Pan Pan? Watch me while I do work. Why, just today, I'm thankful for Pan Pan's epiglottis. Oh, now I get it. Like this. Buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell. Oh. No, no, no. That's not it. I'm thankful for the cheat ball spinning profusely on my head. Oh, yeah. Now I really got it. Like this. <laughs> That's not it either. Say what? People give thanks for things like favorite food, spiced bun, frozen bake, and all that, and all that. Man, oh, man, oh. Who would have thought that giving thanks was such a formidable challenge? Hey, wait. That's it. Oh, making small rocks float above the ground. I'm thankful that my hat is wearing a belt. Great job, Cinco Man. You got the green crystal shard! Will we ever find all the colors before the bad guy? <laughs> Be sure and tune in for tomorrow's exciting episode of... Stinko Man and the Challenge of the Crystal Shard! Buy, sell, buy, sell, buy! Or... maybe don't. Sports and practice, sports and practice. Oh, hash potatoes, I'll never be the number one pick. Hold on, introducing Coach Z's 110% Hustle for Sports instructional video. Hi, I'm Coach Z, and the makers of this commercial have asked me to speak in a more toned down voice. As coach of world champion hustlers and tryharders, I've cram packed these 19 VHS cassette tapes with all the secrets to step by step sports instructional videos. Hustle for sports. The fundamentals, advanced techniques, training tips, and a some lot more. My butt patented system will get the results your youngster needs to not get made fun of out on the field. Hustle for sports. This product is a product I endorse. On my hat. Hustle for sports. My whole deal's backed up by actual scientific findings and this rotating computer graphic, so you know it's legit. Homestar Runner, you just won the sports. How you did that? Well, we just bought our A game, you know. Everybody stepped it up out there. I think we stayed within ourselves and decided it would be a good strategy to try and score more points than our opponents within the allotted time. Thanks, Coach Z's 110% Hustle for Sports instructional video. Coach Z's 110% whatever machine. Only $59.95 plus shipping and handling, or free with proof of VCR half. Hustle for Sports. Choco, everyone! Hope it's not too late! 
Choco, late, Choco, late, huh? What a cut up! A real ham! The fifties! Thanks, Strong Bad. What a wonderful byproduct of your parole. <laughs> Whatever. That's not death-defying entertainment, Strong Bad. But I wasn't talking about hot chocolate. That's right. This December weave, I, HubStarWonder.com, will attempt to sled down the steep deep. <gasps> the steep deep. No one's ever been brave slash boneheaded enough to try and conquer that monster. You'll break your face into an unrecognizable clump. No way, dog. No way, bubs. My face doesn't know the meaning of unrecognizable clump. What about the rest of you? I'll ask them later. Just mark your calendars. Pre-game starts at 12, kickoff set for 12.30. Death-defying entertainment! Entertainment! We now return to Host Our Runners Death-defying the Summer Weave Special. <laughs> oh, hi. I didn't see you come in. Sure is cold out there. Would you like a cup of hot Jones? Ooh. Hot what? That's better. You know, nothing says December Ween like death defying entertainment. That's why this December Weave, I'm going to attempt to sled down the steep deep. <gasps> I might could die. <laughs> I wonder who that could be. <laughs> well, hey, Homestar, you didn't tell me you were having a holiday special over tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Come on in, bubs. Care to stick around for some soft focus and sparkle filters? I'd love to! Hey, bubs. Hey, bubs. What's in the package? Well, open it up. Gee whiz. Oh. A brand new sledding board. Just what I needed for the steep deep. And I pre-printed an epitaph on there so it can double as a gravestone in case you don't make it. Um, gulp? What a crockpot full of smaller crockpots. I should be the one sitting in a flimsy holiday-themed set on a soundstage promoting my upcoming daredevilry. Stupid conditions of my parole. Where do you think you're going? A previous engagement? Since when do you talk like that? This is very unsuspicious behavior for the cheat, which of course makes it very suspicious. As soon as I finish this cup of hot Jones, I'm gonna find out what he's up to. Oh, that's good Jones. What the crap? All right, the cheeks. Now you're sure no one will see this buried here when I slide down? <laughs> Thanks, man. I owe you big time for this one. So, the cheats helping Homestar the cheat, eh? I wonder what would happen without that mattress there. Hmm. Oh, wait. Homestar would probably die. I gotta go move it. I was really wondering for a second there. Ladies and gentlemen, here he is! The man that's about to do a thing! Boomstar Runner! I'm not very good at speeches. <laughs> he made it! I made it! He made it? The cheat? What happened to my mattress full of hammers, broken glass, and candy canes sucked down till they're all pointy? Wait, that mattress was full of danger? Why did you want to land on something like that? All right, Homestar, it's time to go to my parents' house for December weave brunch. Oh, the joy and the glory. Because I safely made it down the steep deep, I get to spend another December weed with Mrs. Marzipan and her latest husband. Seth is having some of his philosophy department colleagues over again this year. Have fun, Homestar! Thanks for the death-defying entertainment! I gotta give Homestar credit. Using ridiculously elaborate schemes involving bone-curdling injuries to avoid spending time with family is the kind of December Ween tradition I can get behind. Now work me over with this 2 by 4 before we have to go to Great Gamma's again. <laughs> 
Sweater. It's like you read my mind. And my compliments to the cess. The food was atrocious. So look now, kids. It's everyone's fave with knock kneed weightlifter, Herbsaw Weddle. Thanks, Silhouette. Today's little comes from Chuck from Rochester. Hello, Herbsaw. Could you tell me if there was some kind of Herbsaw Weddle Center? Or Homestar Weddle International Center for Cultural Avancement? Or something like that, that I could bring my students to for a field trip? Oh yes, most definitely, Doctor! Established in 1994, the Homestar Weddle Achieve to Relieve Foundation, commonly known as This Draw. This Draw. This Draw would make an excellent field, road, or head trip for you and your studentia. Is that the plural of student? Studentia? Anyway, let's see what the foundation has to offer. Phew! Smell all that culture and education. First up on our tour is this Buello crown, and what a rich history it has. It dates all the way back to this one time. Arturo, if you please. Coming right up, Mr. Runner. Oh, I sure love my brown clown. Oh, yellow crayon, only you know what really happened. Dang it, purple wrench! <gasps> <gasps> All right, young lovers, knock it off back there! My yellow crown is instrumental in the drawing of buttered toast, not quite hornets, and the sun with a flow. Next item up for tour is my collection of old home stars. They provide a unique cross-section of my many facets. Round you here is from back when I was known as the Popcorn Lumper. This one's from my brief stint as Supreme Emperor of Marzipan's Rhinestone Jazzle. And you won't believe why I had to replace this old guy. Talk about cultural. That mess was like four score. <laughs> And with that, I am done tickling my face. Mmm, sloppy juicy. Um, oh, quack. Last up on the tour is this photo of Marzipan Pan and I on a honeymoon. Not ours. I think it was some couple from Canada's. Or Cancun, no duh. Ah, we were young and in every 3,000 miles back then. So bring the kids on down, Chuck. Nothing like a little education at the foundation. It's the best I could do on short notice. Unless you want to wait until 2012, when Homestar Dino Land will finally be complete. Homestar Dino Land, opening July 2012. Actual attraction may just be a nightstand. A what? I mean a drawer. A what? I mean a drawer. A what? <sighs> a drawer. That's better. Give it to cats, people. It's the breakout album of the year. Hope's Star Weddle. <laughs> Thanks, Shadow Self. We'll do battle later. Today's missile comes from Josh Key in Corvallis, Oregon. Dear Hope's Star, how long should a person keep a pair of shoes? I have this one pair that has been around for years, but they're falling apart pretty badly now. My girlfriend thinks I should get rid of them. So what do I do? Repair or replace? Urgently waiting for your advice. Josh. Yeah, you see those three little words? My girlfriend thinks. That's your problem right there. I got one of them too. The ladies just don't understand that it can take a man's shoes five to several years to finally get that sought after walking around with someone else's slightly larger foot pelts on your feet feeling. Stuff like holes, duct tape, and rank odor are just the shoe equivalent of graying hair, buying a blue Miata, and dating your graduate assistant. Now first of all, Josh, let's find out how old your shoes really are. And by that I mean, how many office supplies you got holding them together? Rubber bands for laces? Paper clips keeping the tongue from falling apart? These little things doing their little thing? Why do I want to call these cow clips? Does anyone else call these cow clips? No? Moo. Moo. If your kicks are old enough, 
as my pair of freshly track faster per squadron certainly are, then you can usually distract a few more months out of your girlfriend with... The Puppet Show! Tra -la -la, I'm a lonely Swiss miss lost in a chanted forest! Yes, and now you will toil away in my toilet mines while I get all the kickbacks! Oh no! Who will save me? I'll save you! <gasps> And when your puppet show gets cancelled after three seasons... You mean the whole last season was a dream? Give me a break. They should have just had babies and then the baby should have gotten married. Then it's time to start wearing giant socks over your old shoes with even bigger shoes on top of them. And since you got one of them thinking type girlfriends, I'd say throw another sock shoe layer on top just to be safe. And at this point, if nothing else, you'd probably make a pretty good power forward. So go ahead and post up. I'll be there to hit you in the paint. Come on, Stockton. I'd like to see you break through this impenetrable wall of defense. Homestar, you said there was going to be a dance here tonight. That's right. The ancient art of watch my basketball dance. Uh, I think it's basketball. Technical foul on Stockton. Push down. Man, what should I do today? Ah, I just wonder what I should be doing today, you know? I just can't seem to stop wondering what I maybe Mike could be should be doing today. Man! Ooh, I know! I can pretend one leg is shorter than the other again. It doesn't touch. So you have, like, no idea how we pulled this off. Mm -hmm. All right, let's retrace our steps. We stole Homestar's melonade. Mm -hmm. You made pee-pee in said melonade. Mm -hmm. And now he's on a tiny ice floe in the middle of the Arctic somehow. Mm -hmm. I think we might be missing a couple key steps there. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. This is like our best caper ever, and we don't even remember what we did. Okay, bye, bloated sea lion caucus. Thanks for stopping by. Mozzypin, we gotta have them over more often. They are a riot. Hmm. <coughs> oh, that is it, satellite phone. You've poked me for the last time. <laughs> you too, flail gun. You sure don't remember, like, tricking Homestar into getting onto a cargo plane? Or maybe bribing some walruses? Or, like, experimenting with the folding of space-time? <coughs> so the only thing we know for certain is that you made we in Homestar's melonade, <coughs> and now he's stuck on the other side of the globe, of which we mysteriously have satellite coverage. <coughs> That's it. I'm taking you to the vet. All right, at this point, I'm willing to admit that maybe, just maybe, this isn't Marzipan's new patio. I should probably yell for help. Larry! Larry sounds like the kind of guy that could help me out of this jam. Larry! Homestar? Oh, would you please keep it down? Oh, great! Strong said, You're a polar bear, right? Use your frost breath to turn me into an ice cube so future generations can thaw me out and marvel at my same length legs. Boy, did I pick the wrong hemisphere to aimlessly drift through this year. And I'm gonna need you to fill this up. Whoa, sorry to cheat. I'm not looking at the cheat. Listen out, Life Blossoms. Today, for Career Day, we have a very special visitor. Is it that social worker again? No, no, that's all taken care of. The charges were dropped. Anyway, please welcome the Strong Battian Administration of Some Aluminum Foil's own Space Captain Face. Yay! Great planets, kids. Your frumpy school marm here has asked me to talk to you today about... I didn't ask you. You paid me to let you talk. Shut up talk to you today about an exciting career in space travel! Boring! 
bring? Did you bring us any candy, please, file man? You bring the dip? I'll mow the side yard. And now, without further you talking, some moving images to distract you long enough for your teacher to take a nap, drink, or smoke break. Space Earth Propaganda presents Space Earth Indoctrination Films proudly Space Earth Mind Control Films Space Earth Educational Films presents What's Your Captain Face? Kids, have you ever wondered who that mysterious man in the picture your mother hides under her pillow is? No, it's not your real father. Why, it's Space Earth First Lieutenant Space Captain Face. But what is a Space Captain Face? And what does it do? Let me get back to you on that one. Blast off day, and Space Captain Face anxiously awaits the all clear from Mission Control, along with his trusty onboard mechanic and college roommate, Strap Coopmore. Great planet, Strap! What's taking so long? That spy satellite the insidious Italian space program put into orbit ain't gonna knock itself out! I'm in, Space Captain Face. This is Mission Control. Space Captain Face, do you read? Uh, yeah. I've been talking to you all ding-dang-dong morning, Flight Engineer Tadaveril. What's the holdup? We're ready to initiate pre-launch talks about whether or not we should start the initial pre-pre-launch breakfast sandwiches, followed by... I say meteors to all your pre-launchery! T-minus the heck out of Dodge, Strap! <laughs> Agreed on the design for the back of the official mission t shirts. Well, oh. breaking the rules is just one of Space Captain Face's many job responsibilities. And let's not forget bucking the system, rabble rousing, and assaulting superior officers. Space, defined by scientists as the coolest place in the universe to throw up. <laughs> Oh, nice one, Strap. That one looks like the McAlpine Nebula. <coughs> Great planets! We must be approaching the spy satellite. Suit up, Strap! Second in importance only to his aftershave is a space captain faces new type spacesuit. It's the only thing protecting his sweet can from the harmful effects of the mysterious cosmic rays. Space sounds! They have a spy camera pointed directly at Strong Badia! Ready with the counterintelligence! Those superior bicycle makers will never find out our cheat codes and barbecue sauce recipes now, Strap! Strap? <laughs> Strap! <laughs> Homestar, is there something you'd like to add? Um, teacher, if Spaceman makes bathroom in his pants, does he go boom? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, you little worst at homeschoolers! Show some respect! What kind of question is that to ask a strong, fatty, and hero? Spaceman makes bathroom in his pants, does he go boom? It's actually a pretty funny question now that I think about it at length. I've often wondered myself what, what would happen if I were to make bathroom in my pants. I might go boom! Alright, gentlemen, Duke Shop! This is one potato, two potato, see who gets first pick! Hmm. Uh. Um. Alright, sorry! Coin toss to see who gets first pick! Wait, why? I love tails. Call it in the air. Uh, Sonic. I mean, Tails. Ooh, yes. Bob, Bob, you have been and you always will be my dog. But today, I gotta play the strategy card. I'm going with Bob, Bob. Vegeta, get your spotted yellow hinder over here. <laughs> you pop me, me. <laughs> Let's see, let's see, who's good in the field? Ooh, I'll take Pop Pop. Surprised he hasn't been snatched up yet. Um, but you just. Uh uh uh, too late. I called him. You just have to be quicker next time. Oh. Okay. I got Bubs. Bubs on crap! Yeah, yeah, good call. Got a great arm. 
Look, hey, Pop Pop. What a surprise. All right, Growl Man, get over here. You are forgiven. Ooh, this one's a toughie. Well, we gotta go with Pop Pop. This keeps teetering between hilarious and maybe we should put him in a home. And what wouldn't be hilarious about that? Come on, Poopsmith. Pop Pop, let's do this. Go see. I'll go with Pop Pop. K O T, you're with me. Pop Pop. Marzipan. I'm sorry, what was that? Oh, I think he picked me. No, I didn't. I picked the Marzipan. Cool. Pop up. Full face. Well, well, well. Look who. Shut up. You play eighth base. That was important. Ouch. Pop up. Picked last. It's okay. You can be on our team. Well, perfect team, huh, guys? Even Steven. Talking about little Tim Tom, he's way better looking than that. I don't know what kind of low rent, three bedroom, two bath, section eight sport you're playing here, but I'm playing women's lacrosse. Well, 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 look who it is. You got nothing, sister. You could kick your way out of looking at a thing in a bag. Oh, Mama wears combat boots. Who? She does not. Three right three. You're right. Guess I'll go on back to the dugout. Uh, that's not what happens when you strike out in kickball. I never got my sunflowers. <laughs> Strongman has a chance to win it right here, right now. It doesn't ever pitch the freaking ball! Coming up. Huh? Yeah! That's four different types of grass I've identified now. Hey, Strong Dad, why don't you recite your favorite Cartier Baudelaire couplet? Oh, you mean the beige malaise can last for. Ooh. You're out! That's ball game! What the crap? But he's on my team! Oh, the contrary, Strong Bad. If you'll watch the official tape of the draft, you'll see that Strong Sad is on my team. Pop up, bullpen! Where is it? Pop up, bullpen! And Strong Sad. But, but that's cheating! You cheated! For once, you cheated, and I win! On the contrail, Strong Bad, if you'll review the official rule book, you'll see that double side mouth whisper drafts have been quite legal since 1989. Aw, oh, the dig in the day! The cheat! I told you to check our cheater's almanac to make sure we didn't step on any of our own cheat toes! Mm-hmm! Alright, everybody, line up! Big A, 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 the females from the other cartoons. And I told them, not all that much. Ooh. Watch as I spemaliarize myself with this classic cartoon. <sighs> Dear Strongman, God see, talks real funny. Jimty St. Pod. Jimty, that's a weird name. And you misspelled funny. Let's cut to God C. I, uh, I see you did a great job out there. I can't even understand what that guy's saying. See you next time. See? I turned that old cartoon into a strong bad email. 
The secret is this. We take a classic cartoon and bookend it with my snarky waggle head at an old computer. It's not a rerun or a cop-out. It's familiarized entertainment! I can safely say, this is the future of Strong Guide emails. I can't wait to stop working, start working, on them. This is the worst idea, you- Remember the one with that whale thing? That crap made no sense, right? Well, that's because I wasn't there to tell you why things were funny. Drive through, more like drivel through if you ask me. I mean, this is a fast food exchange we're having here. There's only like 10 things you could possibly be saying, and I still can't understand you. 917, sever your leg, please, sir. Could you repeat that? I thought you just asked me to sever my leg. Sever your leg, please. It's the greatest day. See, Shandy? Now it's social satire and not just some weird crap that you watch. See you next time! And it doesn't just apply to cartoons in which I can't understand what people are saying, which there seems to be an abundance of. Why, you can spemailiarize just about anything! Dunes. And that's why Homestar is able to breathe in the vacuum of space, Devin. Thanks for a- And just watch me go to work on this ham broiler! Wow! That totally didn't work! Spemailiarized entertainment! Yeah, yeah, no! Yeah! Spemailiarized entertainment, coming soon to the rest of 2009. So that's how you could do some kind of female parody, fourth wall type thing, Greggy. I think it'd be a big hit. People would be all confused, like, wait, did he really mean it? Or did he really, really mean it? You know, like, am I watching him? Or is he watching me? Up is down, Taft is white, and females are females. Uh, can you say, mind bro? Having it out with an email. In the middle of the street in front of some tourists. Please don't call the cops. Dear Strongman, why is the website called HomestarRunner.com and not Strongbad.com? You are clearly the best character. Get with it, Darren from McLaren. And you are clearly not an English major, Darren. Good question, though. Let's take a look at Homestar in action. <laughs> I mean, what the crap was he even saying there? Everybody now bleed a beetle? No, ew! Everybody, law deed will be dull? Uh, no kidding. Everybody, something to feed mill? Yeah, I got no clue why the website's not named after me. Maybe it has something to do with how I forgot to register the domain name and some 12-year-old kid beat me to it and is asking in the high six figures for it, but that might also be just a hilarious coincidence. <sighs> Anyways, enjoy the rest of the website, Darren. Donuts for the 16th anniversary of our 17th breakup? Um, no. No way. Um, no way. You know how I've always dreamed of being my own boss at a donut factory. No, since when? Why, just last night. I dreamt that I was a French long jump champion with eight wooden legs. And that made you want to start a donut shop? Yes, so. Like I said, it's a boyhood dream of mine. Could you pass me that recipe? There's just this square of TP that says dog nut on it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. My secret recipe. <sighs> I'm going to go talk to anyone else but you. I honestly wonder how many million donuts I'll sell on my first day. Three, four, eight. I gotta be ready for the 3.09 p.m. donut rush, you know. Oh, here it comes. Well, hello, Homestar! Hey there, Donut Rush. What can I get for you? It's really great to very see you, Homestar! Um, it's good to see you too, I guess. 
I'm delighted you've decided to set up shop about ten feet away from me. Yeah, we could be a conglomerate, like KFC, Taco Bell, Radisson, Texas Instruments, NASA. Yes, that is a really outstanding idea! Um, Bubs, are we in a fight? What do you think, man? You opened up a competing donut place right across the street from me. The street? Right across the way from me. But I thought you sold questionable medical coverage. That was two hours ago. Now I'm in the donut business. How's that coverage working out for you, by the way? Great so far. I gotta get ready for the big 3.09 p.m. donut rush. When next we meet, twill be on the donut field of battle. Move! All right, gentlemen, here's how this is gonna go down. I need fried dough so bad it hurts. According to the data I got back from Taco Bell NASA, I'm going to need in the three to eight million range to maintain my caloric intake. Now commence marketing bombardment. Mine's is homemade. Mine's is shipped from a third world country named Homa Made, so I can legally print from homemade on the prepackaged package. I've got great gumption and an adorable speech in Poto Moon. My name's Bubs. I talk hard and fast. Available in 57 different varieties. One flavor. Over a hundred different names for it. Marzipan Waves. Hey, get out of my kitchen, you. Fights cavities. Cleans teeth. The American Dental Association does not approve preceding statements. All right, all right, all right. You both make excellent cases. But I've come to my decision. Health Inspector, cheese it, everyone. <laughs> Woo! Hey, potential customer, would you like several million donuts? No, I don't want one. But do you do not want one? Hmm? I'm the health inspector, here to hopefully shut you down. Now rub this swab under your grease trap and bring it back. Yes, so, Inspector Heath. My face! My delicious white face! Bubs, is this covered by my questionable medical coverage? At least questionably so. Bubs? Root, 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 And he said he thought Ponchberry sounded like a disgusting ice cream flavor, but I beg to differ. I thought we were talking about motorcycles! Yeah, we probably were. Hey, the cheat! Man, that the cheat. It's like, what is he doing, you know? I mean, where is he going to? Uh, the cheat. Where you going to? And once you get there, what you think you gonna do? Checking up on a mattress fire that just started a couple days ago. Singing baritone and Mars Advance Choir. But please don't let strong bad know. Nobody knows. This part's in D. Ah. Ooh, that's not D. Ah. How about C? Ah. Close enough. What's the G? Where, Where are you going, going to? And once what you get there, what you think you're going to do? Catching a ride on whole star's leg. Stealing all his melody. Hey! Get a freelance animation job. And make the best cartoon that's ever been made. Hey there, bubs in the store. Punch Berries was a new ice cream. I can't even reach the top. Hey, hey it's the Punch Berry ice cream dancing team. Oh, the cheese. Viral. Who are you going to? And once you get there, what you think you're going to do? Getting down to the gymnasium. Going to do some layup drills. I'm not sure if that's something you would normally do. But you should brush up on your basketball skills with some layup drills. Flaming layup drills? Mm -hmm. The cheese likes flaming layup drills. I'm glad we compromise with flaming layup drills. Of the reals. Oh, tell me what's the deals? You got the wheels and skills with flaming layup drills. Of the cheese. Oh, where you going to? And once you get there, what you think you gonna do? Of the cheese. Oh, what you gonna do? The day is done, so won't you close that barbecue? Lid. I don't know. Maybe he's just going through the ATM machine. 
That's redundant! Blah, hi, kids. Blah, I'm Crack Stuntman. I used to do the voice of Cheat Commander on the Cartoon Man show until contractual mumbo jumbo screwed me out of the sweetest gig I ever had. Please take me back. But I'm also the voice of a much more important non-profit organization called Non-Profit? What the blah, what? But I'm still get paid, right? But I'm also the voice of a non-profit organization called Pistols for Pandas that I hold very near and dear to my new sunglasses. In light of the recent made-up holiday designed to make your parents feel guilty about their car, I thought I'd tell you just how P4P gets small firearms into the paws of our planet's most adorable and most unarmed creatures. For every dollar you give to Pistols for Pandas, we laugh at, cause like, what good's a dollar gonna do? But for every five dollars you give, we buy one box of cereal with the best prize in it. I eat said cereal, play with the prize, and save the box top. Once we have enough box tops, I dress up like a fifth grader and take them to a local school. That buys the school a computer, which I sneak out with after charming the horn rim glasses off the media center lady. I take these computers to a local pawn shop and exchange them for the weapons pandas need. And finally, when nobody's looking, I dump these pistols into the panda habitat down at the local zoo. Did you hear that? I used the word local like three times. That means this good cause is even uppityer than most. We're destroying these poor creatures faster than ever before. If we don't give them the means to protect themselves when we come clear cut their bamboo forests and build a five star resort, who will? I said several lines! This is two lines! Pistols for pandas! This good cause is good! Cause! Oh, hello everybody, everybody. I'm Ed Calwano. Today's question goes like this, sir. Greetings, Ed Calwano. Can you talk about some of your favorite drinks? Johnny Best in the Chest, DeKalb, Illinois. Of course I can talk about my favorite drinks. And as the national sports model for the ethical advancement of melonade, I'm contractually unable to drink, talk about, or bathe in any other liquid. Most folks think that melonade comes in but one flavor. But thanks to giant leaps in melonade technology, we can now choose from hundreds of flavor and question varieties. Some of my favorite flavors include Taco Annihilation, Athletic Berry Blast, But One Flavor, Quadruple Triple, Costa Latte Froth, and Sizzling Bacon Guava Quench. Or why not try the new line of powdered throat closers, applied directly to the esophagus. Uh, let's get stuff. I have a face and it is a gun. I'm strong, but he's a cheat and I'm strong, but what's going on here, crap for nose? Oh, hi, Stormhead. I'm in the middle of responding to a fan email. A what mail? An email, like on the internet. A what mail on the inter what? You know, www, hyperlinks. AOL keywords, and all that good stuff. Oh, star, your dumbness never ceases to amaze. I don't even know half the gibber you jabber these days. No, Homestar's right. Electronic mail is transmitted from one computer to another. The eleven computers connected to the wall. Hush down, crap for mouth. When you dial up, it sounds like this. <laughs> Kong, Kee Kong, Boo Let me get this straight. You guys are saying that my adoring fans could be sending me piles of what mails right now, and I'm not getting them? Emails. Emails. Well, you need an email address first. I can let you borrow Strongbad at Homestar10.com until you get your own domain. Thanks, crap for ear, but my name at yourname.com sounds like a terrible email address. I'm sure I'll be able to figure out getting my own domain, 
Come on, that cheat. Let's walk over here a few feet and steal Homestar's computer. Um, that's my old one. It barely works. I'd be surprised if you could check more than 40 emails on it. Oh, you can't fool me. This thing's top of the line. It's got two contrast knobs. Let's go start answering fan mail in humorous fashion. Nobody's ever done that before. Thanks for taking my garbage out, guys. Go back and do the dishes if you want. Please leave. Oh. So there you have it, Johnny. I talked about some of my favorite drinks just like you asked. I'll tell you about my non melanated favorite drinks in March of 2003 when my contract expires. Now, I have to go make me a sweet bath. I'm gonna take a bath into my head. Oh, it kinda stings my skin. So, are these green lines the emails from my fans or what? <laughs> I have to type something? I thought this was a computer. How am I supposed to type when... <laughs> oh, yeah. Smart thinking. Now go call Abdi and make him send me some fan mail. I say you just go for it, you know. You just move forward, commit to yourself, and go for it. Okay, I think I'll take a chance. It tickles! You see, that's what I'm talking about, man. Waddle on the knee. Commit to it. Your pathetic conversation pales in comparison to the one you're about to be a part of. Oh, great, I can't wait. I'm finally committed to it. I've talked about it for years, but I'm finally moving forward. You're all going to have to start calling me The Ledge from now on. Hi, The Ledge from now on. Would you like to join our wet knee gumption club? No, just The Ledge. The Ledge? Like ledge of a cliff? You mean like short for leg? A legend, ladies' man? Short for leg? No, you knee wetters. Like short for The Legend. As in, I am one. A living one. A dairy one. Oh, dairy. Like cows. Like a cow leg. Oh, strong man. It's like my cow lamp and your tape leg had a baby in my brain and just came out my mouth. There, there, little guy. Daddy's here. Oh, hand me that knee water. Hee <laughs> it does stick. <laughs> That was awesome! Here, now someone else put on the bulletproof vest! <laughs> Doorbell stations! Prepare to pretend we're not here, sign for a package, or receive pizza! Let's move, CC Doe's! CC Doe's? Wouldn't just CC's be shorter and make more sense? Making sense is not part of my mission plan, soldier! I'm sticking with the dough! <laughs> I can't believe I'm seeing this sight. Why, if it isn't Admiral Flash Fight? To what do we owe the pleasure, Admiral? I'm here to clean up your act, Cheat Commandos. The Bureau of Elite Fighting Forces, or BEEF, is not impressed uh, with your- that's BEF. All right, the Bureau of Every Elite Fighting Force is not- That's BEEF. <laughs> yes, and what is your name, soldier? Silent Rip, sir. Thank you, Smiley Drip. You're fired. <gasps> uh, good call, sir. That guy was always way too concerned with acronyms. Who else can we fire? Well, you, of course. Me? But then who will have gun? I will. Ba ba ba. Wa wa wa. Za za za. You're allowed to stand there stammering for 15 more minutes, and then you'll be escorted out by green helmets. Have you no dignity? At least let a cheat commanding officer be escorted out by someone who isn't available in a discount three-pack. My first act as new head of cheat commandos will be to arrest Blue Laser. <gasps> oh, I'd love to see how you're gonna pull that one off. Well, it appears you all have invited him over to play televised video games. What kind of power-up is Moist Beam? You're under arrest, Blue Laser. I thought we called a timeout! Throw him in the brig. Uh, you mean Reynolds' office? Well, hello. Are you here to bring me the slightest morsel? Blue laser in jail? I can't believe what I'm seeing. It's almost got my pants a-peeing. 
Oh, right, I nearly forgot. You're definitely fired. Well, I guess this is it, huh, guys? Forget that noise. Who needs the cheat commandos anyway? We'll start our own elite fighting force. <laughs> Drop two more orders of wings for table four. Coming up. Cheat commandos save bus full of hostages. Airdrop relief supplies to refugees. Build orphanage. What type of crap is that? Get back to work, Charles. Stupid old man Reynolds' younger brother. Who needs him anyway? We'll start our own restaurant. Kitchen commandos, a really bad idea. It closed down after three months. Well, what do we do now? There's only one thing to do. In order to show the CC Dos how much they need us, we're going to bust Blue Laser out of jail. And they never let me go on any missions. Ouch, man! I hear that. Ever thought about Blue Lasing it? Hmm. Break into the headquarters playset? Impossible! Maybe for us, but not for my evil twin brother, Subtlefuge! Huh? What? The leader of the Topplegangers! <laughs> Still nothing. The sometimes good guys, sometimes bad guys whose only loyalty is to the highest bidder? Oh! Yeah! And they can help us open a new restaurant! Uh. Cheat no mandos! Be continued! Fire the place You sure this is where the Toppleganger's hideout is? I hope so. If not, we're surrounded by an entirely different ragtag band of mercenaries. <laughs> All together now, boys. Um, gulp? Well, if it isn't my good twin brother, Crapotage, and a couple of cheat commandos. Not anymore, Subterfuge. We're on our own. And we need your help to break into the headquarters playset and free Blue Laser. And how do we know this isn't a trap? I've been wearing these same boxers for three days. Oh, I'm convinced. Uh, you might as well meet the rest of the Toppelgangers. Dry Ghost, Swamp Slash, Fudge Clang. <laughs> Each is sold separately with rifle and gear. Then we all reverse flank, drop trow, and the insurgents should surrender. Any questions? Here, can we let Blue Laser out so we can maybe have some fun for once? <laughs> uh -uh. Don't make me have to fire you, Fire Bert. I'd hate to waste such an exquisite commando name. And I'd like to submit a formal request for you to shut your face whenever it's convenient for you, and if not, then no problem. Oh, come on! Really let her rip! I'll tear off your face! I'll tear it right off! I'll tear it off and wear it to town! Whoa! Struck a nerve there, eh, little scrawn job? Hmm, scrawn job. I like the sound of that. Here are the plans. Where did you get those? We've had them for a while. I got the headquarters place set for my bar mitzvah. It looks like this rear battery cover leads to the holding cell. Then that's our way in. We'll take the ramshankle. It's the ramshankle. And you know that well, it's made out of old vehicles that we couldn't sell. Since you've all been working so hard, I have a little surprise for you. Non-violent <coughs> dressage mishaps, volume four. Mm. I wanted to watch ponies fighting. Here's the battery cover, but how will we ever get it open? Leave that to Swamp Slash, our master of disguise. He speaks three different languages and can blend in anywhere. Uh, charge. Positive. Negative. Rabbit. Um, lick. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder the electronic lights and sound stopped working. These batteries haven't been changed since Donnie's 12th birthday. <laughs> Sorry, Blue Laser, you've stayed in jail for the last time. 
Can I get a bonus? Bonus! Now get out there and make with the evil schemes. Evil scheme is quite literally my middle name. It's Slovenian. Ha! This turlet has the green water in it. A cool. Now, there's the slight matter of our, um, uh, let me think of it, how do you say your, uh, payment? Oh, uh, right. How do you feel about defaulted, unpaid triple mortgages on restaurant spaces? As good as gold. And then, <gasps> once again, <gasps> absolutely nothing happened. <sighs> Attention, cheat commandos! <gasps> How did he get out? You're already too late! I've flooded the world's amusement parks with counterfeit skee-ball tickets, causing the cost of skee-ball prices to skyrocket! <gasps> and why should the military be concerned with this? You'll never get away with it, Blue Laser! Oh, it wasn't my idea! Meet Blue Laser's newest evil mastermind! Scrum job! That's right, Cheat Command don'ts. Say goodbye to those oversized novelty sunglasses. And that boombox was never attainable. So you've made a game for eight-year-olds slightly more of a ripoff. I still don't see how this affects global security. Don't you see, Admiral? Without plastic crap to win, kids will have no recourse but to join criminal groups. The world will be overrun with lasers of all colors. Oh no! Gun have a figure! Get it out! Rendering my plan useless through the TV! Bested again by my old nemesis! Yay! Oh well, I suppose you two are ridiculous enough to justify the other's existence. Here, Gunhaver, you can have gun. Thanks! <coughs> oh, it's cool. He's wearing that bulletproof vest from earlier. Hey, guys. Some toys! And that... Important guy caller on you most is why I decided to keep calling you Gordon Ty Carlo on you most. Ah, I can't touch it no more! Somebody hand me a rake! Rake! Somebody hand me a shovel! Rake! Somebody hand me a garden weasel! Oh, a weasel. Ooh. Thanks, Marzipan. Always happy to help. <laughs> Sorry, Lappy. My triumphant return to checking emails calls for some fresh blood! Tech nerds, feast your eyes on Steak Sandwich! The Steaky Steaky Sit Millennium Edition is a processing wonder horse capable of sauteed onions, grilled mushrooms, and alright, never mind, this is just a steak sandwich, isn't it? Yeah, guess I'm a little out of practice with this stuff. Alright, Lappy. You can stay alive for at least one more week. Another week with you, strong bad. It's like eight dog weeks in cat years. Uh, are you sure you're not Sonora Card Gage's computer? No, this steak sandwich is Beverly clearly my computer, Bathsheba. Hey, Card Gage! Do you want to help me come out of e Mmm. No. I'm quite scared right now. Let's start over. Oh man, I haven't checked my email in so long, I bet there's gonna be a half zillion messages waiting for me. Oh. Well, a half four messages waiting for me isn't bad. Dear Strongbad, 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 Strongbad. What was the coolest explosion you ever saw? From Kelly Usa. Mmm, an exotic lady from the Far East. That's kind of a vague question, don't you think? That's like me asking, Dear Kelly, what's your favorite molecule of air that you've breathed? Or, what's your favorite strong bad muscle that you wanted to rub with hot oils? You've got to narrow it down somehow. Like, do you want to know about the coolest looking explosion I ever rigged up in StrongSad's org ethnic breakfast pouch on a Tuesday? Mmm, the cereal is so cereally. Oh, child. I am gonna enjoy this sob pannier pop tart with a vengeance. And then I've got to go stand around in this tuxedo with a vengeance. Oh! 
<laughs> or do you want to know, like, the coolest explosion I ever saw that had one of those blast wavy Saturn rings around it that has become so popular lately? Because I've caused plenty of those. But the coolest part was actually later on, when I was telling Coach Z all about it. And so first, there was this little explosion that was like, ooh. You don't say? And then secondary charges blew, and it was like, <laughs> You say? And finally, one of those blast wavy Saturn rings that have become so popular lately shot out and was like, <laughs> Thanks for the great story, Strong Bad. I was gonna hit the showers, but now I don't have to. Everybody knows that the more spin it takes to describe an explosion, the cooler said explosion was. And the cooler said explosion talker about her is. And then my sog pun ear pop tart said I like patoo. Are you kidding me? I can't even wash my hands with that mess. But if history has taught us anything, then we all know that the coolest explosions have come from my very own computers. <laughs> But wait, Strongbed, does that mean... I'm afraid so, sweet Lappy. I figured that USB self-destruct button I bought a couple weeks ago would have clued you in, but it's time. Why wait around for someone else to blow up your computer tomorrow when you can blow it up yourself today? You should put that on your business cards. That's a great idea, Lappy. Goodbye, Doosh. I can't wait till Strong Bad tells me about that one. I'm gonna go ahead and strip down to the nude. Punk! And uh, now that... Don't call it a comeback. ...is what I call... Don't call it a comeback. Hey! Don't call it a comeback. Comeback. <sighs> uh, if a paper survived that, maybe come down now. Oh, looks like I need a new one of those, too. Well, you know, announcer man, that's right. All you gophers out there better listen up. The magnificent marzipan stole all Garden Boy's garden tools. And I don't care if she's the women's champion, the men's champion, the half-woman, half-man's champion. But do we have one of those? Uh, yes, I believe we do. Well, can I fight them instead? <laughs> If there's two things I know about the host Dal Waddle, it's that everybody loves to him, and he's a terrific athlete. All right, my Japan, I'm off to the big game. Hey, where's your hat, Homestar? I'm sorry, I couldn't understand what you just said. I said, where's your hat? Yeah, you're not even speaking English at this point. <sighs> I mean, where your hat is at, Homestar? Hey, good question. Without my hat... I won't be allowed to play in the big game. Well, good. Then you can start mowing the lawn and... Let's look under the couch. <coughs> it isn't under the couch. Oh, on top of the teleset, Governor. Well, my hat is out. Whew, it's not in the pool. But I did find this strong, sad brand concrete block. Thanks for saving me, mister. Can I obsess over you now? Of all the dumb luck in the world! It isn't cooking on the grill? Man, I really thought it made complete sense that my non-edible hat would be cooking on a food grill. Well, my hat is out. Bangles and mash. is isn't in the post box either. All under this auto that I always all the time drive around. And call an auto. Well, my hat is out. Come on, Bob Bob, just give me your hat. Everybody knows I got a bigger game than you. Ooh, how about a trade? You let me borrow your hat, I let you borrow my junk. Well, oh, never mind. You lost a part of your uniform? Well, it's like I always say. A man's uniform is like a temple wherein he keeps his uniform when he's not using it. Um, are you suggesting that my hat is inside my hat? No, I'm suggesting that... Well, good, because I already looked and it's not there. Shrug! I haven't seen it. Nobody's trying to sell me any stolen hats this half hour. I do have the stolen wig, though. 
If you can't find your hat, you're not allowed to play in the big game! Um, yeah, we sort of established that in the fourth scene. But thanks anyway. Looks like I won't be able to play then. I could really go for a few cold ones right about now. Hmm, it feels like something is strange here, but I can't seem to put my finger on... Damn my hand! Right between the milk and the colden ones. I must have left it in there when I put my hat in the fridge. If I hurry, I can still make it to the big game. Go, 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 go. Yay! Oh, uh, what are you doing? I found my hat just in time to score the winning run. Oh, uh, no, actually, it's the bottom of the second. Your team's down by 94 points. And you just illegally ran onto the field! Get this! It was between the milk and the cold ones! Yeah, yeah, you need to head back to the dugout before I toss you out of here, Buster! Man, Mr. Umpire, you sure have a funny way of pronouncing Most of what a team wins! Uh, you're suspended from the league! It's here! It's here! It's finally here! It's here! It's here! It's finally here! There's no more time for expectation! Shut up! That was the happiest I've ever been. I've been waiting all dang year for this! The 2009 Compi New Products Catalog! A new Compi Catalog is like December Ween morning, my birthday, a candy store, and Strong Sad's funeral all wrapped up together in one piece of junk mail! Now I can finally find a suitable replacement for the lappy! Ooh, look at this new line of brightly colored lappies! Neon Tan, Grey Passion, Rodeo Beige, Italian Same, Glittery Taupe, Seems like these are more for those stylish ladies and the rat dogs they- Wait, did they just try to tell me same as a color? Our most family-friendly compi ever. The RumiVac is a computer for the entire household. Whoa, comes with built-in printer, 8-inch monitor, 3-bedroom, 2-and-a-half bath, and front door for easy access. The RumiVac is a real power house. Get it? Oh, you don't? Well, because it's the size of a... Oh, you were kidding? You do get it? Pretty good, huh? No? Why would they print that whole exchange? Anyway, what else they got? Do you have problems opening up digital pictures of your grandkids? Or taking four consecutive steps? Then have we got a copy for you! The Grampy Hot 6 utilizes easy-to-read 400-point type! Turning even the shortest email into an unforgettable all-day affair. And you'll never lose track of our new meatloaf-sized cursor. It's shaped like meatloaf, too. Optional mouse, that is an actual mouse that will pre-chew your food for you, sold separately. The Grampy Hot 6. Because Piccadilly's not open 24 hours. Oh my goodness, graphics. I like the looks of this. The Compay, because flat panel sophistication demands made-up words. The Compay Compay delivers European-sounding flair with Southeast Asian-sounding prices. My two most favorites, sold! I'm gonna put my 80,000 pennies in the mail right now! All right, Compay, that accent mark better not let me down. <sighs> So sleek, so sophisticated, so compact. What the? Look at it! Roll the thing! Recommend! Oh, ho, ho, ho. a wise guy, eh? I think you and me are gonna get along just fine, Compe. It's here. It's here. It's fine, no Lily here. <laughs> Well, hey there, fellow mascot. I didn't know you was the smoking type. 
I'm not. But Bubs only gives me one of each kind of break, and I've already used pee, coffee, and maternity leave today. And this is a white crayon. What is up, my fellow sweat factories? Oh, I didn't know you were working today. Yeah, it's freshman orientation. I'm in charge of orienting them freshly. You're going to have to share a bathroom with some kids from Alabama, the kind of sucks. The financial aid office is closed on Tuesdays, and steer clear of the beef off as a dining hall. G, G, N, U. And, and, and you guys all say, me? No way, no way. Oh, that's good, that's good. We got spirit. At least you get college kids. I got little snot-butted kids messing with my costume all day. I used to have that problem too. But now I just swallow them up and spit them out in the bowl, bath. Mommy! Mommy, I don't get tea! Oop, looks like I forgot one. It'll be fine for at least a week. Hey, where's Pom Pom anyway? Oh, P-Square's not in the union. He doesn't even get a break. What is wrong with you? Attract more customers! That gorilla's pulling his own! Man, what is that smell? Uh, Homestar, we're three grown men working in mascot costumes in the dead of summer. What isn't that smell? I can name about 40 different odors emanating from this thing right now. There's death, rot, decay... Damp, moist, kimchi... Oh, uh, it's time. Let's do this. Oh, not again. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, for your between-inning enjoyment. It's the bumbling mascot race around the field. Is it any different? No, no, let's do it again. Man, these mascot costumes and strong guys' imagination are way better than the real life ones. Boy, I'll say, mine's got the mini bar and air conditioning. My old double costume had air conditioning. It conditioned the air to think it smelled like dead sun. Go longer. No, I mean, you stopped longer. Mmm, french fries. Mmm, yeah, they're good. Gee, Davey, Strong Bad always seems so hostile. I bet he doesn't even know how much everybody loves him. Nope. Nope, I don't think so either. Nope. I've written a song I think will make Strong Bad understand. Oh. I'm gonna sing it. Uh -huh. I already don't like the sound of this one. Oh, vomit inducing. My favorite. Come down from your crystal fortress, oh Strong Bad. What? A unicorn awaits at a rainbow bridge. Unicorns? Who are you? Her head is bowed and a tiny tear Traces these words in the dew Where are you whiny Please weasels? come down from your crystal fortress Strong Please down. come down from your crystal fortress Shut Please up. come down from your crystal fortress Tell me a squealing guitar! Let me tell you, you get french fries And you get french fries But you don't get french fries Yes, I do get French fries, and you get French fries, but you don't get the French fries! You get the French fries, but you get the French fries, but you don't get French fries! Unchain your trembling hopes and dreams, oh, Strong Bad. you were done. The love you deny is the key that will melt the lock. Melt your face. Our golden shining spirits Ooh. will all join hands and sing. Please come down from your crystal fortress. No. Please come down from your crystal fortress. I'm not coming down Please from Please come no down place. from your crystal fortress. Strong bad. Strong bad. Shut up. You stupid hippie. I'm not gonna throw a brick at your cellist. One chillid Hallow's Eve I rose and sat right down to writing. 
for none had bothered to propose to their parties my inviting. So I crafted such a macabre tale there in my darkened room to achieve literary justice and send each to their doom. <laughs> Start with the most expendable. Greetings, King of Town. For this glutton, a stew of mutton, in which to slowly drown. I thought these were tales of the McArby. The mythical fast food crossover sandwich of legend. What's this? The fair made marzipan? Considering a brand new man? Marzipan, have you seen my toenail clippings? I left them right on top of your toothbrush. Crystal, crystal on the ball. I need a better boyfriend, y'all. But the gypsy forces she invoked decided they would play a joke. <laughs> hey there, my little love jorb. These bunions, corns, and calluses aren't gonna pumice themselves. No. Oh, wait, what's that say? No. And now we join a man of... Hey, what about my doom? Um, you're already Coach Z. No sense in beating a dead horse. Hey, good point. And now we join a man obsessed with sales and liquidation, battling with fiendish tests and genetic experimentation. I'll just take this piece of brain from my wig. But you all know how these things go. With unnatural creations, a puff of smoke, a greenish glow, voila, horrible abomination. Oh, this was supposed to reduce my overhead, not turn into my head. <coughs> Welcome to my world. <laughs> These two no talkers need to go. Let's eliminate a poop smith. Oh. Oh, uh, and Pom Pom was filled with a deadly gas that killed the Popsmith really fast. Home Star Runner, fast like the wind, but how fast can he run when his knees can't bend? Ooh, hey, this ain't so bad. Gives me the good thoughts, you know. Well, I'll revise then, if you please. What if each leg had several knees? Hey, great! It's like I'm waiting through pudding with every step. And everyone knows how much the Homestar Mortal loves waiting through pudding. Dwarf said, these doomy tales of macrame aren't very scary. Ooh, there's an idea. A crafty fad, once loved by all. I'll hang you on a 70s basement wall. Oh no, macrame! My worst nightmare! But Macrame Al Homestar, I give you a Macrame Dreamcatcher for Decemberween every year. My point exactly! Head back upstairs and cook my 70s dinner, woman! And put on a pantsuit for crying out loud! Halloween is very handy for those with appetites for candy, except for greedy trick or treaters like Strong Mad and the Cheat! Suck out my new treat bag! <laughs> All night long they gathered sweets and tossed upon the growing heap. When finally struck the midnight hour, twas not just candy he devoured. Monkeys? <laughs> no! That's not macabre. Strong Man eats to cheat like four times a day. How do you think we give him baths? Oh, fine. Well, I saved the most macabre for last. I'd like to see you get macabre on me. Strong Bad, as he always does, checks emails from his fans. What if, instead of boxing gloves, a pair of human hands? Ah! I'm hideous! How will I ever type with these waggly knuckles monstrosities? 
Now all have met their grisly fate, such horrors for you to see. Perchance next time they'll all think twice before not inviting me. Happy Halloween! A surprise party? Just for me? Oh, you guys shouldn't have. You all really do care. Oh, <laughs> you aren't really supposed to see that. Uh, let's just flip the light back off, shall we? Uh, 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 Welcome back, gentle ladies. Without further ado, let's get this style train of rolling. First up, brand new for 2009, it's the 2006 Code Z logo! Let's go to the jing board for that one! Sword Star! Ah. If our next pumpkin answers incorrectly, it'll win a trip to Angry Homestar Between Two Mountains! Everyone, please give a warm hand to our next guest pumpkin, Psy Dungeon Man! Oh, yeah. Jing board says... Acapulco! Ooh. While this pumpkin features fine European yellow smoke, I'm sorry, no paint knobs. <laughs> Ladies, look out for our next bachelor pumpkin! A striped green rabbit with two buds! <laughs> our next pumpkin may contain material that is unsuitable for children. Oh, Star, thanks for having me! I'm sorry, we're out of time. Ding board? Dong! Next time, please phrase your pumpkin in the form of no paint jobs! <laughs> and finally, everyone in today's audience gets to have to give me five bucks! <laughs> Until next time, as always, Chance! Words! Homestar One is wardrobe furnished by Bugs Contestant Stand and Scary Bugs Contestant Stand. Today's program was brought to you by the Homestar Junior on the Council Against Pay Jobs. Shut up and just say you're lying. Oh, really hard to talk like Zix. Tunes, 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 tunes. Good. Characters. I can't understand a word that you're saying. Download. Speed increase. increase. Uh, I'm mad that I'm flying. Marzy Pan, explain to me why we're slogging through this blizzard again. I don't think I can slog much further. I told you, at December Ween time, it's our duty as people with more than one DVR to help those much, 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 way, very, very, very much, really smelly, a lot, much, less fortunate than us. And you think bringing them bean sprouts is, ahem, <clears throat> helping? Be quiet and keep slogging, we're almost there. Oh man, this guy! When you said less fortunate, I just assumed you meant Coach Z. Me too! <laughs> Hello, G-Man. Hi, Mr. Sonor. Happy December Ween. Uh, this is a Frank call? No, no, over here. We brought you some food for the holidays. Yeah, we come down off our high horse to spread a little December Ween chill. Thank you, hot boy. Would you care to go inside? Marzipan, 
Did that guy just call me Hot Pooey and invite me inside that bush? Maybe? That's it. I'm going back to your house. Later on, we'll conspire. <laughs> oh, you poor wretch. What's the matter? <laughs> Not much. I'm just... Dying. Gasp! Oh, Marzipan, is that you? I'm wearing a sweater made out of mistletoe. And what feels like a colony of venomous bugs. Ah, you! Hot boy. Marzipan, what's the big idea of bringing this guy home? I was about to give you your December-ween make-out present. This is serious, Homestar. Sonor Card Gage is dying. Oh, cool. Then we'll just make out after. What do you give him? Five minutes? No minutes? No minutes? Homestar, I don't have time to trick you into making out with a mop again this year. Hmm. If we cram him full of enough holiday cheer, maybe he can squeeze out a December-ween miracle. Hey, I love cramming holiday cheer. I'll go get my tinsel-wrapped cram wad. Okay, I'm back. Cozy's been drinking on specific mouthwash weed. I need you to sign here. Oh, thanks, guys. That warms my heart. Not enough to stave off the onset of hypothermia, of course. But a month-long coma is nothing I haven't dealt with before. <laughs> my coma's toast. Time to go. Okay, now we need to make the corresponding newsletter to brag about our family. <gasps> this year was so great. Our family is so great. I can't believe Homestar started fourth grade. How time flies. It's so great. Sonora Card Gage won first place in sports and was selected to be terminally ill. I am in book club and PTA carpool and redoing the backsplash. It's so great. Warm wishes, the Marzipan Homestar Card Gages. Our family is literally and figuratively so great. Um, Move it on. Say, Bubs, what's this line for? The holidays. Perfect. How long is it? Three miles or 18 days. Whichever comes first. Uh, Alright, that's enough. Let's move. Yeah. Nothing crams December ween chill like the annual lighting of the lights attached to a pole in a tree shaped fashion. If this doesn't cure him, nothing will. Don't I know it? Last year, these lights cured me of chronic athlete's tongue, and the year before that, it was rub rash. And then hot pooey... Excuse me, you're disgusting. Boss. Oh. oh, wow. If it was pitch black and I squinted and was a few miles away, this would sort of look like a tree almost. Isn't it wondrous, Sinor? A real miracle-inducing spectacle, isn't it? Oh, my Toyota Cressida. Oh, no. Oh, yes. What's going on here? Help, quick. I think Sonor Cardgage is dying. And what makes you think that? He told me so when I brought him a hot-covered dish to brighten his dismal life. He told you. You decided to take at face value something the guy who lives in a bush and talks to melty candy bars said. Maybe? And who not 15 minutes ago told me I... Might paste away if I dinty more. You really might, Pez Dispenser. Besides, everybody knows the way to save Sonor Card Gauge is to cut a bunch of motorsports magazines in half and pour gravy on a defibrillator. I like so. Oh, oh my grabness, grabness. It really is. And nobody's dying. Uh, I'm your death door neighbor. Tough, cough, tough. Oh, oh, I must say. Mm. Oh, twice.
Mozipan, it's so romantic the way you lured me into this closet. And the way your wet stringy face tastes like seven kitchen floors. <laughs> Cockroach. <sighs> you got this, Hope Stalk. This is nothing. Just like falling off a web van. Oh, hello, Debwa, Simone, the internet. I am what you might call Homestar Waddle. Yay! Over the last several years of my dot com, people's all the time be asking me, Hey, Homestar, how come you stopped updating? <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, got some crab shells stuck in my throat. Continuing, how come you stopped updating the best feature on your website? And to that I answer, you mean, how come I stopped updating the Hale-style Runnel Gallery back in the year 2000? I don't know. Let's go update it right now, Joshy. Yep, you guessed it. Piao. Oh, ho, ho. Hello there, magnificent specimen. Poink. That's better. Let's get started. This one from Cherry G makes the back of my head look like some kind of bold eagle. <laughs> He's so bold in his... in his decision making. <laughs> He's our national bold. <laughs> oh man, what fun. Here's one from D. Lindo that simply has to let him... It's a little... <laughs> Bob, Bob, you guys see this? It's a little P <laughs> followed by a period. <laughs> Who puts a period after a little P? Oh man, I'm gonna stand back up. I'm gonna stand back up right now. Whew, I am on a roll. What else can we update? I know. Let's bring everybody's favorite old timey cartoons into the modern age with my patented colorization. Oh man, these updates are great. Let's keep going. Ooh, how's about some new words for the old Homestar Taco? <laughs> Kitchenette. Strongbird. Is making draconian marshmallow. Poink. Draconian marshmallow poink? Oh, that is it. I'm going to appear on screen now. Oh, why? Oh, hi, Simone. This is clearly not what they meant when they asked about updating the website's best feature. Uh, yeah it is. It's all the best junk from my dot com. Oh, yeah? Well, what about... Strong Bad E! Windows 98 desktop theme! Hello, stupid, and welcome to your crappy computer. Whoa, sounding good there. I had a lot more wrestling mask in my accent back then. Well, let's update that jank. Come here, System Mike! <laughs> Windows 98 System Startup Sound, go! Pong, ding, 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 ding! Welcome to Windows 98! Why are you still using Windows 98? What is wrong with you? Stop buying computers from thrift stores, man! Excuse me, strong man. Wanna help me record a duet of my classic Win 98 system shutdown song? Oh, I don't know. Oh, come on, folks. Who wants to hear it? <laughs> on this stage tonight, the two great guys back together. I mean, I couldn't possibly. And I couldn't think to what to. And it make to watch the doctor. Oh, very well. Hit it, Homestar. One, two, three, four. Five. And now the love. And now the love. That it lasts forever. The door's lasting forever. Has come. down. To its end. end. And, uh, Thanks for updating the website with me, strong man. Yeah, that wasn't so bad. We should do this again soon. Three years soon or like five years soon.
You know, five, ten, fifty, whatever it takes. Then what have you been up to, man? I haven't seen you in so long. Oh, you know how it is. I'm doing a lot of side projects, some consulting, maybe a little freelance. Those are words that people say when they haven't actually been doing anything, right? Yeah, yeah, cool. I've been kind of like living inside of a bag. Like a duffel bag. Oh, that's great. Yeah, yeah, no, it's it's great. It's got like a zip hole and some straps and maybe some kind of fungus growing in it. So basically, you know, top of my game. Strong bad. Strong bad, wake up. Blackthorn. The people need your help. Wait, the who? I mean the Purple! There you go. They need your help! It's been too long since they had a number one jam! They've been scraping dope rhymes up off the kitchen floor just to survive! Another number one jam? All right, I'll do it. For the Purple. Woke up this morning in a rap song video. Can you help me with my hip hop video? Well, could see that all depends. Can you get your green mittens on a fish eye lens? <laughs> I'm sorry, did you just say womp womp? That's right, and you know what that means. I don't! Things are about to get bulbous. Womp womp, I bought a fish eye lens and make a rap video with a couple of friends. It goes womp womp, all the ladies and men, they know everything is better with a fish eye lens. Hey, that chorus wasn't kidding. Check out how cool my rap points look. With a fish eye lens, you don't need to know how to rap or skateboard or do anything well. Just put the camera on the ground and aim it up. My kicks look huge and my crew looks tough. We got bulbous hands. And bulbous feet. I turn your back to the camera. Shake those bulbous cheeks. Oh, look at that. I've got a considerable rear shell. That makes me uncomfortable. I bought a fisheye lens. I make a rap video with a couple of friends. It goes wow wow. All the ladies and men, they know everything is better with the fisheye lens. And once you use the fisheye, well, you just can't stop. It used to be kind of expensive, but then the price dropped. I jumped in slow motion off the curb without a skateboard. That should look absurd. But with my fisheye lens, hey, I've been yeah. hurt. I got the move so smooth. Make your mom say. Those are some exceptionally smooth moves. Coach Z, SB, what you got for me? I got the I H Y. Let's pretend I got ten girl friends and make amends in my bins with a fisheye lens. It goes. Womp womp. I brought a fisheye lens and make a rap video with a couple of friends. It goes. Womp womp. A lot of ladies and men they know everything is better with a fisheye lens. Man, fisheye lens. I bet you could even make lame stuff look cool. Yeah yeah. What about tax papers? Oh, look at how cool those capes look. How about the pair of tan pants? Oh, somebody say country dish towel. Country dish towel. Ahem, I have an idea of what we could try. What happens if you point it at a real fish eye? What? Tick, tato, tato, tick, do, 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 chat. Homestar, you broke our rap song video. You turned us into a Dixieland jazz band. Why well, y'all gotta be dissing on Dixieland? I think it's great. It's got several syncopations. Several syncopations. Oh, several syncopations. Oh, several syncopations. Oh, several syncopations. Oh, Travel sink of patience to night. Travel sink of patience to night. Womp womp, I say, womp womp. Everything is better with this pescatory oculation. The cheat! That was incredible! I can just bridge it, put it, have it. I can just bridge it, put it, have it. I can just bridge it, put it, have it. I can just bridge it, put it, have it. I can just bridge it, put it, have it. I get this, I get this, I get this, I get this. I'm buying you a pizza! Whoa, guess I can conjure ceiling pizzas now. Hi, we're the Brothers Chats from HomestarRunner.com. 
Normally, we let our dumb animal characters do the talking. But this year, we're partnering with HalloweenSafety.gov to raise awareness about HalloweenSafety.gov. So please, find it in your heart to donate to Pet! I say Pet! Whew! Todd sitting there with your mouth open like that. Holding it just so. Bah. Check out my roadside silhouette costume. I tried dressing up in some other ones, but uh, they didn't work out so great. This, this one, one made, made my, my voice horn. Oh, just stop it. This one was asking for a challenge. I know. I got that sludge foot. I got that sludge foot. This one just seemed inappropriate. Quack, quack. Lady's legs, duck. And this one was way. Too small. Blink. Blonk. I think I picked the best one. Anyways, here are some other silhouettes. I'm gonna get back to creeping and peeping around y'all's neighborhood. Uh... Hey, Homestar. I really like your that one guy from Mad Mazagin costume. You know what I'm talking about? Always blowing up that pointy white man. I'm Crack Stuntman, the new spokesperson for HalloweenSafety.gov, since Pistols for Pandas found out about my line of frozen panda burger patties. I swear they're high in omega 3s! Hi, this is Mike Zapan. I'm out looking at the fall colors. Please leave me a message and I'll call you right back. Look here. This message is for the brothers, Cha Chapman Brothers. Chapman Brothers? This is Tucker Donaldson with HalloweenSafety.gov. Your little joke, if that's what you want to call it, it wasn't funny, and, and, and it's not appreciated. And I don't know who you think you are, or, or who you think I am, or if you even think at all, frankly. It is not cool, and it is not funny. And that's real talk, gentlemen. Gentlemen, that is real talk. Get your entire face out of here, ladies' legs, duck shirt. Proclamated DeVry graduate strong bad. In a popo, barf the Queen of England. Oh man, Bob Bob, this Halloween's gonna be the Christmas fall. Hot tricks, cool treats, good friends, and mortal. What? Mortal? No, that doesn't sound like something I would say. I was probably talking about the crisp, cool ale, the fallen leaves, definitely the mortal. No, nah, man, you're hearing things. I was just talking about mortal! And you know, like this time of year, sometimes a little bit of mortal! And uh, maybe a little bit of mortal! But I would never say anything about... Ah! Mortal! Pop Pop! What happened? Did you get popped? Say a few bubbles! You can't be dead! You're my best friend and concubine! Oh, I should really look up what that word means! Whoa-ho-ho! What manner of stitch witchery have I stumbled upon this Hallow's Eve? A strong man. I think my evil, jealous side secretly killed Pom Pom without even telling my dopey, lovable side. All right, settle down, Homestar. Unky Strong Battle gets you through this. Now, tell me exactly what happened. Well, it all started 117 days ago. And then I turned back around, and there was a puddle of Pom Pom at my feet. And no one else saw anything. No one? Well... There was that inflatable pumpkin, but I think he said something about having a previous engagement. Man, I like that pumpkin. I should really get his phone number. Well, it definitely sounds like you killed Pom Pom. First thing you need to do is dispose of the body. Here, go to Bubs's and get everything on this laminated murder cover-up checklist. Plus, uh, twelve or a cold ones and a dozen maple Bismarcks. For the cover-up. Then meet me back in my basement. Thanks, Strong Man. You're a real cartoon pal. Oh, <laughs> Oh, this is gonna be a real good night. La la da da, who? La la da do da, ha! Hehe, <laughs> I'd like to see those teenagers try and egg the concession stand this year. Now that I own an ostrich farm, boy, I'll say. And these piña coladas are torp norch. Oh, hey there, say there, bugs. Happy Halloween, Homestar. Yeah, and I'm standing here.
Just the essentials tonight. Just the essentials. Let me get a uh, 50 gallon drum of bleach. Check. A uh, 50 gallon drum of saw blade. Sound good. A uh, 50 gallon drum of body bags. Reasonable. All right, Homestar, you got this. These guys don't suspect a thing. Just order these last few everyday items and we're in the clear. Um, I need a 12 pack of cold wines. And, um, a dozen. Maple piss box. I don't know what piss box. Oh, I killed Bob Bob. Simmer down, Homestar. It's all right. We've all made quote unquote mistakes. Yeah, who hasn't slipped up and engaged in a little quote unquote premeditated murder in cold blood? Am I right? So what do I do now? You need to establish an alibi. Yeah, with witnesses. And if you can swing it, witnesses. Okay, I can do that, I can do that, I can do that, I can do that, I can do that. Homestar! Yep, sorry, got it. Pew! Good kid, that Homestar. Should we light him up? Absolutely! God, I keep telling you, Poopsmith. I didn't do it. Stop acting like my dad. What? Yeah, I've been here all the live long day. At the KOT's castle. Or as I like to call it, Alibi City. Who? Pom Pom? Never heard of him. Sounds like someone who's still alive, though. Okay, cooperating witness. Bye. Click. Ahem. Oh, hey, can of town. Toot Smith, did you guys hear that legitimate conversation I was just having? So legitimate. So you've been here at the castle all day? Yep, right here. Innocent as charged. Aha! I told you I didn't need your pile of what's it. It was him. Oh, crap. Literal crap. Ah, objection! Leading the witness! Hey, if you need me, I'll be loked after dark! And he totally thinks the inflatable pumpkin is you, Bob Bob! He also tried to get his phone number, which is more than a little weird. Okay, strong bad, I need more help! Pump up! Quick! Hide! Things have really gone downhill. Not only did I mortal pump pump, but now it's on record that I ate 1,500 pounds of crap. Stifle a laugh. Well, you know what you gotta do now, don't you? I will literally do whatever comes out of that sweet rectangular mouth next. Uh, in that case, you gotta get us 16 dozen maple Bismarcks. Done. These are kolaches. I said Bismarcks. Um, that's more like it. Now you gotta find a patsy. And pin that murder on him like a corsage on a puffy-dressed prom date. You mean like with a lot of blood and them going, Ow! Ow! Homestar! Ow! Quit it! I'm not going to prom with you anymore! And I hate Bennigans! Yeah, something like that. Now go stash Pom Pom's body at their house. But who am I supposed to pin this murder on? The most unsuspecting saps you can find. Hey, Strong Sad, there's a bad horror movie on. Want to make snappy comments and obscure references while we watch it? You know I can't see. I just drew these eyes on my hands. Why don't you just take your hands down? Uh, because I may have also sort of super glued my eyes shut. What? For authenticity. I was trying to be a cosplayed on air. That's a word you just made up. Aha! Uh -huh. I knew you two were up to something. Aw, oh, cosplay dang. Okay, I admit it. My homemade kombucha is just apple cider vinegar with strong sad's lugus floating in it. My secret shame slash finest hour. Don't play games with me. You moron pom pom. You stuffed his body right here under the couch all day, probably, since you murdered him. This again. I hear a yonder ruckus. What's all this noise? This is so lame! So what? So what's the scenario? Look! A specter rises! <laughs> oh no, Homestar! It's Pom Pom's ghost come back to haunt you! Don't you wanna, you know, pee your pants or something else embarrassing while all these people are gathered here? No way, Unky! Ow! I think it's sharp. No way, Unky Strong Bad! You guys have showed me the light! It's time to fight Mortal with... Mortal! No, wait! Uh, uh, 
Homestar, that wasn't a ghost. That was really him. You just... You... You... You, you killed Papa! Um... Duh. Next season on HomestarWonder.com Man, inflatable pumpkin, you're a way better best friend than that floaty old pom-pom ever was. Hey, Coach Z, you really nailed that evil Aquafresh costume. Mork in the days on the Boulevard of London. We used to cork routines and the presence was fortin'. Ew, maybe you were fortin'. Hey, Strong Bad, I really like your Jay Leno costume. That guy had a really pointy forehead. Aw, oh, come on, don't you remember? Oh, it's a good time for large-headed monstrosities. Oh, to sell you cheeseburgers. Hey, strong band tonight. Ha! Oh, ho, ho. Uh, hey, Homestar. Where does the Dark Lord Sauron live again? What are you talking about, like, mortal? The land of mortal? Where the shadows lie? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Yeah, and, uh... What illegal act did you commit against Pom Pom again? Oh, you mean mortal? Uh huh. <laughs> you know, come to think of it, there's a lot of mortal in mortal. Orcs, mortal, and wogs. Wogs, mortal, and orcs. Mortal, wogs, Excuse me. Orcs murdering wargs in the land of Mordor. <laughs> That's better. I can't stand it, Cochise. I know you planned it. I'ma set it straight this water gate. Hey, strong man, I really like your muscle toys costume. I had a bunch of those little pink guys. I played with them in the sandbox. Till that cat started pooping in there. Why, my baby! Hey, Pom Pom, I really like your dumb Deloise costume. I definitely know why that guy was famous. But next. You're sitting in the boat next, maybe? Can I get a boat next? Boat next! Hey. Oh, look, hey. Look out, Julian Casablancas! Hey, Stankle. Did you sleep here last night? Oh, yeah. I wanted to be first in line for record store day. Sloshy's releasing an obscure 7-inch. But aren't all of Sloshy's releases obscure? As in, they make enough copies for themselves and their girlfriends, knowing full well that their girlfriends are going to throw them away. And I creep them out of the trash. Ah, oh, that sounds like you. All Limousine's doing for Record Store Day is releasing a cassette maxi single of their seventh final reunion tour, Brunch. It's just them at some restaurant talking about escrow and knee surgery. Oh, man, this frittata is heavenly. I just defaulted on my l l l loans Here you go, Strong Sad. That'll be $400. Ooh, on sale even. Check it out. It's a B-side only. So the A-side's just blank? Not even. Whoa! It's pressed on 180-gram two-dimensional vinyl. Really? Swipe it down. Oh, where'd it go? I can't see it! <laughs> Music nerd, how's that for obscure? It's an early demo, but we only make up early demos. Depends how big the stereo comes. Yeah. This is the deal. 
should break up again. Woohoo, check it out. I'm vulnerable and should be updated. Hey, that sounds like my dating profile. <laughs> Homestar, what are you doing, man? This is Horse Giblets. Oh, hello, Horse Giblets. I thought you were just a filthy sack. No, I'm not referring to the filthy sack, whose name, incidentally, is F-Sack. I'm talking about the situation, man! What situation? I'm trying to update my dating profile. Haven't you heard? Flash is dying! Oh, well good. I'm a way better one than that guy anyways. No, I'm talking about Flash! Like, what we breathe! The thing what creates us all! Strong bad. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you were getting a little religioso on me. Ah! See? That's a chunk of Flash authoring interface right there! It's falling apart! We gotta head for the hills! All those hills? I always thought they was bushes. Figurative. But actually, I never walked a couple of feet to find out for sure. And figuratively. Hey, let's do it right now! It's being figurative. <laughs> bush. Definitely bush. Now listen, I've got enough classic motion tweens and deprecated actions in old f sack here to last us at least six months until we can learn HTML5. Ooh, I know what that stands for. Hypertext Markup Lotion. Let me poop a little bit out for you. Nope, nope, nope. The land of 10,000 nopes. Homestar, the death of Flash is equivalent to a giant meteor heading straight for the Earth. Oh, I got you. Sounds like somebody's asking for another heap and helping of Deep Impact. Oh. Strongman, this is Morgan Shawshank. I need you to hit that meteor with every Duval you've got. Never mind. I'll be in Bubs' fallout shelter if anybody needs me. Good luck with yourself, Homestar. I don't want to miss a thing. Wrong movie. Wait, those were two different movies? <coughs> well, they both came out like the same summer, even. Bubs, where's the bathroom in this place? There's just a bunch of canned goods. Well, you know what they say, Strong Man. Today's pork and beans is tomorrow's toilet. And in some rare cases, today's. Ugh. Bobs, I thought you said this fallout shelter was Coach Z free. Well, somebody's got to carry on the human race. Ugh. I don't want to think about words anymore. Oh, man, strong man. Sometimes I wish you had named me Horse Giblets. Better than that old name f -Sack. Sounds unsavory. Welcome to my dating profile. It's not done. Name, Homestar Michael Weidel. Type, singlish, no-armed whitey. Is vulnerable and should be updated. Status, marzipan. Likes, beans packed with rice. Um, that's all I can think of tonight. No likes. Oh, this was easy. Four doors to dance and billfolds. I don't even know what a billfold is. Booting. This site is best viewed using Netscape 1.0 level. And now, Strong Bad Butcher's Up Classics. <clears throat> An uppity welcome and distinguished hello to you all. Today I will be butchering one of Strong Sad's all time favorites the Ocelot and the Porridge Maiden. The crap's a porridge maiden. Once there was a horrid maiden who lived in Meadowlark Lemon's duffel bag from the 70s. I hate Mondays, thought an ocelot. Sup, Jim Davis's lawyers. Rob Morrow to you, said the ocelot. 
You must find their husband by sunrise, or doom two bad guys will come out of my ears. So she went to see the Statue of Liberty's deadbeat cousin. Will you marry me, she asked. I am a huddled mass, he said. Next, she optic blasted the smithy bot. Voip, she voiped. Save yourself, little beep boop, he said. Then she tucked in the lump swooper. Will you please stop sleeping with that lamp, she asked. It's okay, I am married to it, he said. She even went to the creepo depot. Will you marry me, asked low poly count porridge maiden. I am a marionette. He slimed. When she could not find a husband, the porridge maiden sat by a punk rock giant to watch the wicked solos. Really squall! At dawn, the ocelot found her head and poured her a drink. One for my partner, said the ocelot. In the underworld, she refused to be defined by her famous husband and started a successful business knitting life hacks out of recycled blogs. And that is why baked ocelot is always served at weddings. The end. I don't really have anything I'd change about that one. Except I'd probably make it broached ocelot. Broached? You can't make up no word say broached. Uh, Strong said, did you have your wisdom teeth out again? You know it. Every summer like clockwork. Oh, okay. Let's get you out of here. And in front of a camera as soon as possible. You can't brother me down, Mr. Strongfast. I favorited you on my face brooch. Of course you did. Then, blunder time! For smooth ease. Smoothies. Sorry. That was kind of a stretch. Now, what was it you were saying out loud again, Strong Sad? Well, this is a lucrative arrangement. Oh, yeah? I am Provost. Provost! Uh -huh. Put more jets in my mouth. Say again? See? There's lots of room. All right, now this is just making me feel weird. This Halloween's not working! Boy, you said it strong, man. This is the lamest haunted house ever. My pants haven't entertained the thought of peeing themselves even once. Scary shoes. Really? Spooky shoes? No, no. Scary shoes. Spooky shoes are the next room. Homestar, your haunted house is even worse than normal this year. You ever think of using any actual Halloween decorations? No. Why does Ben only let me use stuff from the Goodwill donations pile? Incomplete jigsaw puzzle! Ah! This place is a disgrace to haunted houses, haunted hovels, haunted timeshares, and haunted extended stay motels even. Why, if I had a haunted house, I think it would turn out a little something like the following cartoon. <laughs> Welcome to St. Cadaver Stump's Totally Not Just an Old Furniture Warehouse Morgjuary! Open weeknights in October, located just off I-20. The first room would come out swinging with everybody's favorite Ghibli's painting, the Ghibli's painting! Come on in here. Yeah, yeah, we've all heard that before. But in order to take it to the next level, my haunted house would have a horrible painting of... Somebody's dad! <laughs> hey! Well, come on in here! Why is he wearing cycling gear? He's not even that serious about riding! Hey, I can do a 220 in 445. <laughs> then there would be the gross out room. But instead of severed limbs and surgeries gone wrong, it's just a silent white room filled with pure stench. And oh, what a stench it is. Let me lay it on you like a movie trailer. Strong man, moister. Smoothie, breath, caked, armpit, latte. Strong Bad, you know those words in that sequence are illegal. 
Arrest him, King of Town. Keep bottling up that smell, Poopsmith. Wait, I can arrest people? I think so. I mean, you're allowed to execute people, right? Do the words doo-hoo-hoo mean anything to you? Oh, this has been a supreme fish delight. Ooh, there'd also be one of those immersive horror experience rooms that are so popular these days. Okay, gotta logic this out. Open the vault. Before time runs out, skeletons pointing at a clue. Am I on the right track? No, nope, just, just reaching the toilet. I just want you to reach in the toilet. He's pointing at the toilet. It's full of poop. But that's just misdirection. I just want you to touch the poop. They want me to think I should reach in the toilet. No, I do want you to reach in the toilet. That is all that I want you to do. It's too easy. Touch the poop. But I know better. Touch the freaking poop. Most horror stuff is pretty obvious. Like, of course it's terrifying to get disem-jowled by a lunatic with a machete. Machete! Chop. But I think people are ready for the more subtle terror of... Two-star bed and breakfast! It's somehow worse than if it only get one star! Try scrambled eggs! <laughs> Questionable hairs in the anti-macassar! Anti-macassar? Shut up! Failed toilet paper rose! What kind of inhuman monsters would run a place like this? Oh, it's so charming. Shut, Shut up, lady. lady! Nowadays, everybody's tired of the same old evil clowns, undead cheerleaders, and all those bloody-eyed found footage children. Nine sequels. But for my haunted house, I will unleash an entirely new horror icon. Say hello to the new face of terror, Large Bean! Come on! Anybody? Don't you think that Large Bean is unsettling? And next on our tour, if you will all please gather around, fill in all available space, please. We have a prime specimen of Large Bean. Wait, what, what the crap is this? Other varieties include small bean. Stop it! Extra large bean. This is not a science museum! And of course, my favorite, teeny weeny beanie. You do not call large bean teeny weeny beanie! I sure hope they sell large bean plush dolls in the museum gift shop. I think you might be pleasantly surprised, young scholar. Shut up! Large bean will eat your soul! He'll eat all your souls! Wow, strong bad. The spooky shoes room really affected you this year, huh? I thought this was the scary shoes room. Oh, wait. Close your eyes. Um, okay. Open them. You're in the spooky shoes room now. Oh, you were right, strong man. This Halloween's not working. When nights are chill and filled with doom, again will rise the cursed legume. So if you're out on Halloween, beware the wrath of largest bean. <laughs> See, this guy respects large bean. I'm sorry, strong man. I, I, I can't get behind large bean. All right, 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 now, ladies. No. All right. Strong bad. You got it, this year. What do I got? Best tropical Beetlejuice costume ever worn by man or beast. No, I'm I'm Diamond Dave. Yeah, I'm evil, y'all. I'll be taking these huggies and uh, whatever cast you got. Son, you got a penny on your head. We'll be right back with more stuff. Hey, strong man. I really, really like your hey, strong man. I really like your skipping commercials costume. Oh, so you're not dead, Pom Pom. That's pretty great. What's that guy's name again? Franklin? Spalding? John Voight? Maybe a little bit? I will kill him! If he doesn't put on some more clothes. Ugh. Molded plastic panties. King of Town, that is an actual costume, right? 
You didn't just get out of what I can only assume is a bath for you? No, I mean something. I'm important. Hey, to cheat. Aren't you worried that the K.O.T. will try to eat you? No, oh, no, I'm more of a cookie puss man myself. Fudgy the whale always made me a little fudgy. Yes, I know more word talk. Marzi I thought you dressed up as that guy a few years ago. Homestar, I dressed up as Prince that year. Why, why? The Prince of Pop. No, the King of Pop. Oh, the kid is not his son. From the makers of Hot Jones and Hot Pui comes the Strong Mad Oyster Smoothie Breath Caked Armpit Latte. Oh, my sweet Jennifer, there's no coming back from this one. Ah, uh, here we are in the spooky woods after a hilarious Halloween adventure. And what an adventure it was! We got to trick or treat at Sonor card gauges? Pot Derby, Calendula. I've been waiting for you all night. Whoa! Look at all those melty candy bars! And we got to go ghost hunting in the King of Town's castle with Sharp Dean? Oh, I got a hit. We got us a good read. On account of my name, Sharp Dean. And then we got to try samples of a new flavor of Florfy Porfs from that creepy walk around marshmallow we run into. Try a sample pack of new Fluffy Puff pumpkin spice latte flavored banana bread Malloweens. And who could forget the delightful wedding of the Goblin and the Ghiblies painting? He accepts me for who I am. And now it's time to relax and oh so gently comment on each other's costumes. Like we always do. Yeah, that's everybody's favorite part anyways. I'll go first. Oh, mad strong man. The door from Seinfeld. I've always wanted to do this. Ahem. <clears throat> Buzz. Yeah? It's George. Come on up. I'm Mrs. Chandler Bong. Nah, you guys got the wrong Thursday night program. You're looking for the Poopsmith. Like flaming globs, Poopsmith. Like flaming globs. So, Marzipan, why are you just dressed up as teenage Marzipan? I don't do too much talking these days. These days? Fortunately, you never have very many lines. Just you wait, Strombad. The reddest radish, the more reddest, reddest radish, and the luau number two are right around the corner. Bubs, 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 bubs. I really like your American hot sauce businessman Metallica costume, and don't deny that that's what it is, because that's obviously what it is, and there's no alternative. Oh, okay. Coach Z, are you running out of 80s and 90s rappers to be? No, no, I'm the man we all know and love. I think my name is Kwame. Can you tell me anything about Kwame, aside from his polka dots and the bleachy squiggle and his high top fade? I'm, uh, I'm reasonably certain that his name is Kwame. Homestar, you, you know you're dressed up as a lady, right? Nonsense, boy. I'm Mr. B. Natural at your service. I'm the spirit of fun and laughter and music. Knew your father I did. You leave my father out of this. Bloop. <laughs> hey, Strong Man. I really, really like your long, sad costume. <laughs> Uh, uh. Oh. Oh. Somebody get that man an oval silk token. Oval, oval. I got one by you. Uh, King of Town, I just want to make sure, since you usually dress up as food, you don't actually consume that stuff, do you? How do you think I eat expired food? Those bubbles scour the mold layer right off. The preceding statement has not been approved by Dow Chemical. Hey, Strong Sad, I really like your Lady Millhouse costume, hey, Strong Sad. It was a hard-fought decision this year between the Utz Girl, the Morton Salt Girl, the Sunbeam Bread Girl, Wendy, the enigmatic and reclusive Sarah Lee, and Little Debbie. Hey, I gained 15 pounds just saying those names. 
Uh, the cheat? What, what's going on over there? Did we forget to get you your shots or something? He's bound so tightly with tension and anger, he approaches the state of rigor mortis. Just for a minute, let's all do the bump. 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 Pom Pom, that little orange bird always creeped me out. I find it highly disturbing that I really want to crush his cute skull and drink the juice from inside. Uh, I always thought it was kind of awesome that I wanted to crush his cute skull and drink the juice from inside. All right, is that everybody? Any other comments anyone wants to make? References? No? All right, then everybody back to my place for hot chocolate with fluffy puff pumpkin spice latte flavored banana bread flavored Halloween. So do we knock or what? Uh, mush, mush, mush. Hot Zerby, Calendula. I've been waiting for you all nice. Whoa, look at all those melty candy bars. Go ahead, take as many as you like, and then I'll call the police. Awesome, thanks so much. Wait, what? Oh, I got a hit. We got us a good read. I think the poop man's ghost is in this very room. We're not looking for the poop smith's ghost, you backwoods coat rack. Oh, oh, you will respect and condone, Sharp Dean. Ah, uh, Sharp Dean, what credentials do you have as a ghost hunter exactly? My daddy once met Steven Seagal at China Buffet. Cause my name's Sharp Dean. Ooh. Works for me. Color me genuinely impressed. Come on, bow-legged man. Try a sample pack of new fluffy puff pumpkin spice latte flavored banana bread Malloweens. Why, they're so delicious. Who do you think took this bite out of my head? <gasps> Hi, Coach Z. Please rescue me so I don't die in here. Holy gosh! Man, dog man, you're not gonna believe this thing. Wait till you see this thing. This thing is gonna change your life. Blow your mind. Wipe your nose. Then shut the dang up and let's see it already. Okay, okay. Um, it's, um, it's white. Um. Homestar, did you ramble on so long that you forgot what you were gonna show me? Um, no. And furthermore, no. It was this squeak boggle. Boggle boggle. Whoa, look at this. The Homestar Runner and the Brother Strong? An unfinished second children's book by Mike and Craig? Oh, that's definitely not what I was looking for. That thing looks terrible. Come on, let's read it right the dang now. The Homestar Runner and the Batiscaf. A lurid tale of underwater intrigue and underwater pain. Uh, maybe I should read it. The Homestar Runner and the Brother Strong. A.K.A. Homestar Runner Goes for the Gold. A.K.A. Old glue turns gross and brown, if you let it sit for 20 years. Everyone loves the Homestar Runner. He's a terrific athlete. Ding! Tomorrow is the annual triathlon. Homestar Runner's team, the All-Stars, is practicing as we speak. Whistle hard, Pom Pom. Come on, guys. Whistle to the max. The Homestar Runner's rivals, Strong Bad, Strong Mad, and... Strong Sad are having a hot team meeting. Strong Sad, you are too weak. You must be replaced by... Uh -huh. Didgeridoo. Uh -huh. Who the crap is Didgeridoo? I tried to warn you. I washed my hands if this hole fail. Well, I guess he looks kinda cool. Maybe it'll turn out alright. Hey, Strong Dad, I just wanna see how happy I am to be part of the team. the all. I am immediately regretting this decision, said uncharacteristically candid Strong Bad. 
Dejected, Strong Sad moped past the All Stars. What? Wrong. Said the greatest communicator on the planet. My brothers kicked me off the team and replaced me with Digi. Yeah, yeah, we know all that. Chin up and start getting ready for next year. Said the home star runner as they left to compete. All the teams lined up for the first event. Running! Oh man, I can't wait to see how I dominate this one. Wait, what? Pom pom! I'm more worried about how this is clearly roller skating. Is that what they called running in the mid 90s? Ready! Sit! Go! Strong Mad gets an early lead and wins! After the first event, the Strong Stars have lead. That, that's actually what it says. Here, take a look. Ooh, or maybe it was supposed to be have led. That's better. On to the next event. Swimming! The Home Star Runner wins! Wait, what? You got a freaking submarine and all I get is a fish crammed through my head? Yeah, you know, standard collegiate swimming rules. Very standard. Rule one, the home star runner gets the state-of-the-art bath and scarf type situation. Rule number two, strong bag fish crammed through his head. Now his team is even with strong bad's team. Whoever wins the last event gets the gold. Everyone's ready for the flying event. Suddenly, strong bad's minion, uh -huh. the sneak, What's a crab? Cripples Mr. Bland. Yeah, I'm with you to cheat. How come Mike and Craig can't seem to keep my sidekick straight for more than like two pages? That old timey rat thing's not gonna cripple anybody. Whoa, touche. Everyone else takes off. What will the All Stars do? Strong said, come take these broken wings and learn to fly. Strong said, you got to fly. Fly to the angels. Strong said, you're motoring. What's your price for flight? Said Homestar. Strong said was now an all star. They were back in business. Strong said was making up all kinds of ground. He sure had a knack for this flying stuff. I'm glad that I'm flying. Woohoo! Ew! Uh, no. Just no. I am into this. I don't like it. And I am now in this book. Didgeridoo was being passed by the high flying strong sad. Didgeridoo something, didgeridoo, said Master Wordsmith Strongbad. He made a last ditch effort to sabotage the All Stars. Okay, strong man, I got this little thing here. Didgeridoo's plan backfired. Oh uh, yeah, you think? You sure you didn't want to use any more adjectives there? Like, catastrophically head chunkularly backfired, maybe? The All-Stars win! Getting the gold with the Home Star Runner changed Strong Sad. He is now Strong Glad. So they were just gonna leave him like that? As Strong Glad? Yep. Washed hands. Hands washed. But then I wouldn't have been able to make fun of all his sad sackery. Ooh, I'm also totally gonna start referring to him as 12th President Sad Sackery Taylor from now on. I told you it's terrible. Yeah, man. That piece of masking tape knows what it's talking about. That was some premium grade A old Homestar Runner crap. But hey, look, I found my old whistle. Beep, boop, boop, beep. Uh, I, I don't think that you're using that right. Beep, boop, boop, beep. And so begins a great new era in Homestar Runner talk. Beep, 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 boop. Oh. Beep, 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 beep. Fantastic. Beep, beep. I sure hope this continues for the next 20 years. It will, beep, 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 boop. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, here you guys. I read it out. I somehow survived inside this crate for 20 years. <laughs> okay, here's the cartoon. That's it? Yeah, check it out. Strong bad, that took you like 15 hours.
This Mario paint is a, a delicate art, Homestar. You can't rush these things. At this rate, you won't finish the cartoon till our 40th anniversary. All right, fine. We'll just do the cartoon in Flash. Good idea, because that's way less obsolete. Are you tired of people using moji as a legitimate suffix? Neither moji or we moji. Introducing new Homestar Runner Squint Mojis. Guaranteed to give you the slightest impression of a Homestar Runner character. Simply type them in, then squint those eyes up. More, more, more! There we go! Indistinguishable! Uh, this one time I was hanging out with this kid, and he got a squint emoji. And I was like, hey, that's Homestar Runner. That's a great story! No Homestar Runner Squint Mojis. OG Squint Mojis. So, somebody's probably already used that, right? We should we should check into that. Get Lawrence. Is he is he still on the payroll? Lawrence? Pen. Let's let it all slip away with another soothing episode of Characters from Yonder Website. That's right. Brought to you by a grant from Green Cheat. And our corporate sponsors, Smarty Juice. A faceless megacorp with a couple of hills in the logo. Look at those hills. Plant some crops and grow some Smarty Juice plants. All right, far out. Oh, what's this? Slow down, everybody. It sounds like character two has lost his gum shit. Well, you know what that means. We gotta get him a little spice of life. That's right. Let's go on an inordinately long walk. But absolutely no talking. I said with absolutely no talking. I think that's inordinate enough. Hey, take a look. It's characters three through seven. I say there, characters three through seven. Character two here has lost his gumption. And that's right, not far out. Can any of you teach him a little bit of spies? Right, board, base, board, base, board, base, board. You got a little spice. The character five. Bum, 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 bum. You got your own spice. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Why, it almost seems like everybody's got their own personal type of spice. <laughs> Maybe if we bring them all together, we can create. Oh, you know what that chime means? It's time for everyone to bend at the knees. That's right. The time has come to bend at the knees. So I invite you, everybody, no pressure, put your mind at ease. Ah, uh, strong bed? Home star? You guys? What is going on in here? Were you guys drinking this smarty juice? This stuff expired in 2007. It says side effects include drowsiness, Euphoria and unbelievably soothing children's programming. Hmm. Doesn't sound half bad. Down the hatch. Down the hatch. Mope, 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 mope. That's right. The time has come to bend at the knees. So I invite you, everybody, no pressure, put your mind at ease. Oh, girl, I'm gonna take you out on a Tuesday night if you're into it. So everybody, style it out from the left to the right. That's right. 
I don't want to go in that spooky place, Roger Pan. Don't make me go. Homestar, it'll be fine. Now get in there. Oh, Marzy Pan. I hate these dang old photo booths. It's an absolute waste of a perfectly good booth. It's the crown jewel of my Halloween party. Now look at the camera and make like we're a great couple. The laughter and love. Carefree shenanigans. The, the one where we kiss. kiss. Ah, Marzipan! Why is there a spooky specter in our picture? I think this might be a... Might be a... Haunted photo booth! Get in here, you guys! I want to make this ghost appear! Maybe it'll possess us with demonic barf powers! Everybody say, smiling bag! Smiling bag! There's one. There's one. Okay. Hey, what the crap? How come we didn't get no cool ghosties? I got a little ghost Jormy in my pictures. Hey there, Jormy. He reminds me of one of my famous sneezes. Hachor! Oh, man. Even Coach Z got one? That's it, boys. We're gonna get haunted by this photo booth at any cost. We gotta try something else. Everybody close your eyes and say, Jaundice Jerry will never marry. Three times. <gasps> John this Jerry will never marry. John this Jerry will never marry. John this Jerry will never marry. Oh man, we just made John this Jerry appear. Guess I should have seen that coming. Hey, check it out! Somebody finally gave me my props. What are these props from? Got some Y2K glasses? Oh, a handle bra mustache. These things will never not ironically be unironically always um bacon spicy nachos. This is a perfect chance to practice my French accent. I am Hercule Poirot. Hercule Poirot. Hercule Poirot. Johnny Terry will never marry. Johnny Terry will never marry. Johnny Terry will never marry. The King of Town! Stabby Gabby's always crabby! Stabby Gabby's always crabby! Oh, come on! Different background! Yay, yay, yay! The Bruder! Middle Man! Toast Crunch! Oh, these nickel slots are finally paying off! Demonic barf powers! Demonic barf powers! Demonic barf powers! Just give me the barf powers! The crap? The crap? The crap! How come everybody else can get the haunted smudge to appear except me and the cheat? You've been going to church on me to cheat? Uh -huh. Wait a minute. Where's your gold tooth? Orange and black, loose tooth removals, loose tooth removals, loose tooth removals. It was the tooth! Loose tooth removals. Get out of here! But if the cheat's tooth was causing the ghost glare, how did it get in everyone's photos? I think I has the solution. Look at this pattern! Oh great, now Frenchy Detective is gonna tell us how it all shook out. The cheat ate too many taffies and it pulled his gold tooth out. Then because those things are nasty, he stuck it somewhere in the photo booth. Then because the king of town is nasty, he ate the taffy. Then the poop smith had it. Then it was a piece of marzipan's flesh. Then it wound up on Bubs' fez. One of my vest buttons. On Coach Z's stars tenaciously bat. clenched. That's all great, Sir Talks a lot. But where's his gold tooth now? The, the Goblin! goblin! We should have had known. Now let's all cram in that booth for a group photo before I have to return it to the wedding Marzipan had me steal it from. <laughs> hey, Coach Z. He's dressed up as a dog. Yeah, I got the Malarve. Kick, porch, it's all in the morn. Chorp, chorp, porch, porch, cork. 
How's Annie? How's Annie? How's Annie? How's Annie? Hey, Homestar, I really like your Mark Lemke costume. Homestar, one of the waves. Shut up, Wong, say Homestar. I'm white, say Homestar. And I'm white, say I'm Dale Wolfie. With a glowy baseball bat for some reason. Vroom, vroom. Here comes the thickest tail. Yeah! Shut up, Seuss's Abuelita! Oh, man, strong man. Red face, red panties man. I remember that guy. I think he came to my school once when I was a kid. And so did a lot of cops. Now, ordinarily, Pom Pom, I'd have you sent right down to the juicing room. But aren't you like a superfood now? I don't need me no antioxidants. I'm very pro oxidant myself, actually. Why couldn't you dress up as the German kid? Uh, hey, King of Town. When I said don't come around here no more, it wasn't a costume idea. I literally meant don't come around here no more. Okay, the G, the G, the G. Let me guess. Baseball glove on head, man. Huh? No? Um, swollen cow udders on your head, man. <laughs> no. Swollen cow udders on your head, lady. <laughs> uh, Marzipan, we need to talk. I want you to express yourself. Don't you want to express yourself? This is me expressing myself, okay? And I don't need 37 pieces of flair to do it. Oh, Marzipan. Nice invisible flare deuce. So, strong said, does the WC and WC Field just stand for Winston Churchill? I'm neither of those. I'm world famous detective. <coughs> Somebody, don't give strong said to Heimlich. He's choking. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Then they said I'd never marry. For the next Super Bowl thing, why doesn't it do like there's a picnic and there's like and there's a bunch of food in it and the picnic baskets and then Bob's is like picnic, 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 and then Hosar shows up and says blah. Blah. And then Strongbed shows up and says blah. Blah. And then everybody shows. Wow. And then Bob is like, I'm closing the shop. Nobody's buying this picnic. And then, and then, and then there's a loading sign, and it loads for like 100 seconds. And then, and then, it's, and then it loads for 100 seconds. And then, and then it's like, and and then it's, and and then it's like, and it loads for 100 seconds. And then, and then it's like... If I can't check my email, then how am I supposed to live my life? Dingle dongle, dear Stringle Bongle, what do you do to keep up your personal motivation and inspiration? Sincerely, Molly B. Oh, that is a waste of a perfectly good middle B initial, Molly. Let me fix that for you. Sincerely, Molly B. Chowderworth Gruelmanger. You know, of the Puntington Farms gruel mangers. There we go. For motivation, I do what any great coach does and berate myself until I get results or until I quit the team and press charges. Chowder work, gruel manger! You called that an overly complicated old timey last name! That is Bush League, son! I am sick and tired of this crap! And I'm sick of losing to Purdue! Now that fella really knows how to mortivort the portion. There's also that weird jocked up thing of punching yourself in the face to get motivated. But unless you happen to have boxing gloves for hands, I wouldn't recommend it. You can do a strong man! You can talk to orange juice! Oh! No strong man, wait! Whoa. But if you can afford it, no force is more motivational than... 
Spiky ceiling that closes in on you! You better beat this end boss or we're all gonna die! We're all gonna die! Oh, it keeps making me jump when I'm not pressing jump! Or we're all gonna die! As for the inspiration, you know how people always say, Inspiration sneaks up on you! Well, I like it to turn the tables! I sneak up on people and force them to inspire me! Well, I'll just continue doing what I was just doing and... Inspire me! Ah! Leg boots! Leg boats? Is that all you got? Uh, yeah. It's like a little boat that your legs go inside of. So it's a kayak. No, no. For while you're standing up. So it's water skis. Yeah, yeah. Except it's called leg boats. That's not inspiring. Guess I'll just walk away and no, I'm not just kidding, inspire me! Ah! File! Yeah? Uh, folder! Yeah? Shaped vitamins? Now that's inspiring! Yes, file folder shaped vitamins. Because office workers lead hollow lives, and this is the kind of thing they'd be into. You see, Madam Chowdy Gruel? If you know the right techniques, you too can motivate and inspire gimmicky white-collar products that they sell in the checkout line at the office supply store. Ooh, which just inspired me to think of file folder-shaped vitamin-shaped thumb drives. Available and never show up on your desktop, and sometimes show up on your desktop varieties. Always beezing and doozing, never cheesing or choosing. Always beezing and doozing. Arr, Homestar? And never cheesing or choosing. Homestar! Yeah, what? You're in my house. Yep. Again. Yep, was. And you brought a boulder. Not me. Play tectonics. What are you doing in here, man? Oh. Well, I heard you talking about motivation and inspiration, and I decided to brush off my old ABDs. Um, are loud but deadly? You don't know about the ABDs, strong bad? I'm just gonna stay silent in the hope that you won't tell me what it means. Always beating and doozing! You say that like it clarified anything. Rules for an inspired life, strong man. No matter what you do or where you are, always be beating and doozing. So you started a cult? Yeah, kinda. For instance, I am currently beating on this boulder, and I am doozing an ABD workshop with you. Oh, okay. Then I am beezing full of rage and doozing a roundhouse kick to your face! Right? Nope, nope, nope. That was some prime choosing you committed right there. Did you see it? Wait, what's wrong with choosing? Choosing and choosing. The antithesis of beezing and doozing. If you're choosing, you're losing. Just because something rhymes doesn't mean it's good life advice! Huh? And that's a perfect example of cheesing. You're a textbook case, strong man. Textbook! And speaking of textbooks... Don't forget to purchase my new book at the upcoming... Always Bees Doozing 3-Day Life Cleanse Seminar at Bumsford Inn and Sweets Conference Center. Rid yourself of damaging cheesing and choosing with guest speakers including... Homestar Runner, founder of the totally not cult-like ABD movement. Changing attitudes with rhyming platitudes. Entrepreneurial Bees Doozer and self-made Dooz Beezer, Bubs! I'm sticking with leg boats! And the creator of file folder shaped vitamins and file folder shaped vitamin thumb drives, Strong Bad! I hope the hotel's breakfast bar can do omelets! All this and more at the Always Bees Doozing 3 Day Life Cleanse Seminar! If you're not attending, you're gonna be. lending. Your neighbor a yard tool. Like a shovel. Or a wake. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. See you at the conference, ABD, not a cult, woo! CGL. And, and then people might think it's gonna be loading forever, and then it's like, Dinkle Man comes up and punches bugs in the face. Always beezing and doozing and never cheesing or choosing and always... Hey! I beat the end boss! Marzipan, it's over! Okay! I can't take another day of this garbage relationship! That's fine. Wait, what day is it? Halloween. Oops, sorry. I was looking at next week. This is what I'm supposed to say to you today. 
Muzzapin, this is it. This Halloween, I'm finally going to tell a top-notch four and a half stars with over 600 reviews quality ghost story. And you know what that means. Um, that you're going to break up with me next week, apparently? Mr. Poofers must die. Who the crap is Mr. Poofers? Hey, everyone. Hey, everyone, look. Hey, everyone, look at Mr. Poofers. Mr. Poofles is a dog, but he sounds like this. Miffa, Miffa, Mika Moo! That is funny talk for a dog. What a great clown with legs Mr. Poofles is. Uh, I mean, what a great dog Mr. Poofles is. Mr. Poofles eats pine cones for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Imagine that. Pine cones for B, L, and D. Oh, look. Oh, look, everyone. There's Old Man Rootbeer. Old Man Rootbeer is not a big fan of Mr. Poofles. Not really that much of a big fan at all. That kid eats my pine cones, shouted old man Bill. I'm going to take a nap on my college hammock, so don't eat my pine cones, old man Bill told Mr. Poofles. Miffa, miffa. After a few moments, old man Bill had fallen asleep. Just when the moment was right, Mr. Poofles stole his beard. What a prize. An old man's beard, no less. Um, what did I just listen to? Oh, sorry. The end. Is that what you dragged us all here for? Wasn't Mr. Poofer supposed to die? Oh man, did it happen again? Every time I try and tell a spooky Mr. Poofer story... Which has now been exactly one time... He always survives. I thought if I could finally kill him off, it would definitely become a top-notch four and a half stars with over 600 reviews quality ghost story. But it didn't even sound like you tried to off Mr. Poofers in the first place. Oh, but I did. Watch this. I'm about to say, then Mr. Poofers' head fell off and he died, died, died. Ahem. <laughs> Mr. Poofers was thinking about a branch, a hotel, and a $350 pair of loafers. Gee whiz, that's a lot of Kansas match right there. See? It's like something takes a hold of you when you're telling a Mr. Poofles story. Ah, hey, what a bunch of balarney. Ain't nobody can get fatally irresponsible with an animal like Coach Z. Let me take a whack at it. And I'll try and finish your story, too. Look, gentlemen, a roundish box. Mr. Poofles pretended there was such thing as a roundish box. He gave it to Oldman Rupert, who absolutely had not asked for it. This better be replacement pine cones, belted Oldman Rutber. It was half a hairbrush. Oh, that wasn't me! That wasn't me! I tried to kill him, I swear! Oh, shut up, Coach C, you infant. I'll kill the stupid dog. Niffa Mika, said Mr. Poofers out of his entire mouth. Mr. Poofers never complains, except once in a cafeteria with bad, bad pudding. I mean, have you ever? <gasps> I was wrong! I was so wrong! Ooh, this is getting supernaturally interesting. All right, Poofers, it's time for you to face the deathly power. I invoke protections from the third arcane level and send my mind into the psychic vault. You shall not break through. Pime cone. Oh, oh, let me out. It was horrible. It was like Homestar's imagination was gushing out of my mouth like fire. I know, right? Okay, fine. We all knew it was coming down to this anyway. I will mark Mr. Poofers for you sad sacks. All right, concentrate, strong bad. Keep your mind strong. Bad. See what I did? Yes! Okay, sorry. It was nearly sunset. Old man Rootbeer stood at the end of the Ave. Flamethrower slung across his back. You at one pime cone too many, Mr. Poofers. Harkened old M. R. Beer. He took dead aim on Mr. Poofers. Dead aim, you see? And then he pulled the tr 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 Trolley round the block and then he gave it a ding. Mr. Poofers hopped aboard and they began to sing. How could we ever? How come we never? Why can't we slide that pie? Oh, it's no use. Mr. Poofers is too powerful. Well, I guess we'll just have to start worshipping Mr. Poofers as our dark overlord. That sounds good to me. All hail Mr. Poofers. 
Hey, Homestar. Nice Dork the Daring costume. Yeah, that's who I dressed up as. Dork the Daring. No, no, I said Dork the Daring. Why, why? Dork the Daring. Ugh. Hey, Homestar, tap left, no right, no sword, no left sword. Oh, man! Mom, can I have 75 more dollars and quarters? And shit a go-go, baby. That's... All that I remember from that game. Cool shading, maybe. Slow-mo. Scarf. Effects. Hey, Marzipan. I really like your thrift store Gandalf costume. Hey, Marzipan. Where you been? <laughs> yeah, nobody gets that. Hey, Marzipan. You're living all over me. <laughs> no one gets it. That's okay. Whatever's cool with me. Yeah, I get the joke, Strong said, and it's still really lame. Yeah, ha ha! Hey, Strong said, I really tend to like your Bill Murray from Cartoon Ghostbusters from the Voice of Garfield the Movie dot com costume. Never before has one voice so embodied half closed eyelids. Strong mad? Father joke? Buddy? Father joke about my costume? No, big fella, there are no jokes about your costume. Because no one knows who it is. But Judge Dredd! Yeah, but you didn't dress up as Judge Dredd, did you? M but proximity to Judge Dredd! I'm sorry, it's not enough. You're just Blue Frankenstein. Better luck next year. <laughs> uh, Coach Z. Do I even want to know how you and Pom Pom are pulling this costume off? I can assure you, you do not! Get back in there! Y'all think that's the poop smith? This is gonna be about food. But in reality, it's gonna be about food. I finally bred sea monkeys large enough to make sea monkey po boys! Yep, I told you. About food. I've got Hyperlink stashed amundo. Hey, Homsaw. I really like your Doug Henning made his own mustache disappear costume. It's really good. It's a really good costume. King of Town, spot on Little Debbie costume. Bubs, serviceable Little Debbie's dad costume. I always figured Little Debbie was the snack child of Lord Baldrick Entenman and Dame Sara Lee. Say, Bubs, can you sell me any previously owned vessels? Check it out, 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 check it out. Say, what's that character one? Why, it looks like someone's left out the cushion from a papa son chair. That's right. Real comfortable. Take a nap. Say, that's no cushion. Why, it's some sort of beast of the apocalypse. Say, beast of the apocalypse, you look like you might need to be a little bit of peace. Is that right? Well, you know what that means, character one. A little bit of sacrificial fruit. That's right. Make an offering. Avert the apocalypse. Far out. Right. The Homestar Runner enters the Spooky Woods Contest. Er, never mind. Everybody loves the Homestar Runner. He is an athletic tarif. Once upon that singular time, the Homestar Runner and Pom Pom were playing it safe. Mm -hmm. Oh, I did it. Now it's your turn to think about a soft pillow, Pom Pom. Up bounded the fearsome Brother Strong, wearing scary monster outfits. Horror show! Burped Strong Bad. Such a fly! Squelched the Homestar Runner, and he lay down and died. Uh, that was unexpected. Admitted Strong Bad just now. Oh no, I gave up the ghost. 
You'll stay that way unless you enter the spooky woods and face your three fears before the witching hour. Quoth the Lord High Plotlayer. It's what I must do. Let's go, Pom Pom. But Pom Pom had already gone to a party at some rich kid's house. I gulp. Guess gulpo. I'm on gulpamundo. My own Gulp Fantasy 2000. Tedious to the Homestar Runner, at great risk to the listenability of the story. And so did that Homestar Runner enter the spooky woods. No amount of gulps can express how scared I am. Just then, he came face to face with his first fear. Oh no! Page 73 of my old life science textbook. Can you identify this organelle that is located in a plant cell? Ask the life science textbook in Coach Z's voice for some reason. I'm not gulp afraid of you, Golgi apparatus. Apoporoptus! That was easy. I'll have my corporeal form back in no time. Said the Homestar Runner after clearly consulting a thesaurus. Meanwhile, behind the very great bush, the Brothers Strong were scheming and steaming. All types of drat, said Strongbad, coining an awesome new phrase that will endure throughout the ages. We've got to make sure his next fear is so gruesome, he won't be able to face it. Grunt, grunted Gruntbad. I'm here because family is hard to say no to, said a pallid bust of palace. And so the little bit less dead Homestar Runner forged ahead and faced his next fear. Which was... Eyeball Barfash! Oh, I'm not scared of that. <laughs> Patoo! Luxuriates my skin! What the? Almost cussed strong man. But I am scared of... Gup, 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 gup. Really toothpicks! And all eyes turned to Strong Sad's club sandwich. That's stupid. No one's afraid of frilly toothpicks. Oh. Oh, you're right. Thanks, Strongbad. And with that, the Homestar Runner successfully faced his second fear. All types of drat, repeated Strongbad, flirting with oversaturating the market with his new phrase too soon. It looks like we have to come up with something stupid and weird, not gruesome. And so the nearly not dead Homestar Runner ventured deeper into the spooky woods. Gee damn, where'd you go? I wonder what horrors my third fear will bring. Just then, he came to a clearing in the woods. Look at us, we're playing ping pong on a kitchen table. Not regulation in the slightest, said Strongbad wearing dress shoes with no socks. While definitely illegal, I don't think non-regulation ping pong is my third fear. Well, it doesn't matter anyway, because it's almost a witching hour, and now you'll be stuck like this forever. Slam a jamma! And Strongbad slammed the ball with wicked top spin, and it flew into the thorny thicket, revealing. Oh no, my final feel! A half decomposed raccoon being carried around by a family of wet pigeons! said the Homestar Runner in a children's book. Ah, uh, but look! The gross red pigeons think Strongbread's ping pong ball is an egg. They're gonna hatch it. They were just as gulp of me as I was gulp of them. Said the Homestar Runner, really shoehorning some kind of half-baked moral into this thing. Behold the witching hour! And so, having faced his three fears, Homestar Runner gained back his corporeal form. Said narrator Strongbad, who totally already knew what corporeal meant, like, way before this book. Well, hey, hey! It looks like I get to keep my squiggly ghost tail. Does it tickle your fancy, Mr. Strongbad? Such a fright! Moaned Strongbad, and he lay down and died. Now I gave up the ghost. <laughs> Laughed all the other characters in a satisfying end of story fashion. Join us next week, children, when we read Strongbad's Ghost Enters the Homestar Runner, thereby possessing him demonically. Such a great story, Strongbad. Thanks, I just r read it to you. 
Um, I know. Say, is there something missing here? Oh, crap. We forgot to put on our costumes. Wait, our costumes or our costumes? We better pee out, out of here and get changed. Meow! Hey, the Chi. I really like your Emperor A. Steve costume. Cheetah, cheetah. Whoa! Did no one else just see that? It's just a certain way I do things. Say boobs, say boobs, say boobs, boobs, boobs. You are dressed as the Aladdin genie, dressed as Captain Lou Albano, and there's nothing you could do to make me think otherwise. Okay. Sid Barrett! Uh, sorry, big guy. He wasn't in the band when they made that album. Oh, Wizard of of Oz! Yeah, no, wrong album there, too. My body's a really hard shape to make costumes for! So, what am I looking at here, Homestar? You're dressed as 70s Homestar that dropped out of college and backpacked across Scandinavia? Yeah, pretty much. No way! He's dressed as Snufkin from Duva Janssen's Moom and Troll books, comics, and cartoons! Do 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 ba 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 Nice mighty bush reference there, King of Town. Mighty what? This is just what happens when you fall asleep chewing eight packs of hubba bubba! You're a hubba bubba nightmare, all right. Ooh, pom pom, do some mode seven for us. Oh yeah, pixels the size of your face. Hey, strong dad. I really like your give me nightmares forever and always costume. Yeah, what are you supposed to be? The love child of Dobby the house elf and Ron Weasley from some of your fan fiction? No, no, I'm from the Cream Master cycle. I assure you, it's way more pretentious than any of my fanfic. Ah, the Poopsmith. Looking at your costume, I can almost hear the satisfying slash skin crawling plastic squeak of that oversized white clamshell VHS case. That's it! I thought you already dressed up as Trondor Man like 20 years ago. Ooh, I smell a shared cinematic universe! Shut up! Good Z, if you don't want to, I can live with that. But you gotta put back the double-knit, reversible striped pants. There's no need to argue. I just don't understand how you haven't run out of costume ideas yet. I'm pretty sure this is the last one. I'm grasping at straws here. Hobsaw, that is the most accurate, patriotic ho van roll costume I've ever seen. Ah, contraption flapshin, what's your hedge fund? Ah, uh, strong bad. You're a big devotee of big pens now, apparently? Of course, shut up! I'm known far and wide for my enthusiasm for big ballpoint pens. Look it up! Hey, Marzi Ben, I really like your- Homestar, let me stop you right there. I have no idea what this is from. I just wore what Strong Sad told me to wear. Yeah, and honestly, I only saw the movie once when I was like 10. I just like that pirate guy. Emperor Augustus Steve, what have you wrought? Hey, Steve! Feel free to follow along with my simple step-by-step -step instructions. And don't forget to use a big point pen. I... I am always using it. So... Do you guys think that's true? This is really it? Yeah, probably. I feel like we've been steadily working towards this over the years. You mean we're not gonna get into any Halloween hijinks or nothing? Ah, I'm getting too old for hijinks. And the last time I attempted even medium jinx, I threw out my torn rubdominal scrimmage! Deviled eggs? Three pieces of two-ply? You call those Halloween jinx? Why, I could whistle so hard right now, I... Ooh! 
If you've suffered a torn rubdominal scrimmage, Halloween jinx don't need to be a thing of the past. I don't? Low jinx are all especially formulated to treat creepy middle-aged ailments, so you'll stop talking about them in public. Hey, Coach C. How's it going? Well, this morning in the locker room, my rubdominus swelled. Boom. Reclaim your Halloween low jinx with low jinx are all. A division of Fluffy Puff Fumilate Hot Pooey Smarty Juice Fit Electric Subsidiaries. We now return to Channel 5's Halloween programming. Slow night at City Hall, eh, fellow night watchmen? That establishes our location and humdrum routine. Please, don't keep walking towards me. I beg of you. No, you're still walking towards me. No! Stand down, local law enforcement. A group of random teens is here. Miss Fitzgerald, thank goodness it's you. I almost didn't recognize you in those absurd zigzag head pants. Yeah, I, I know. I'm trying to branch out. When we rushed in here, the mysterious silhouette had vanished. Oh, great. Another fanatical, mysterious believer. Zigglies, why would anyone want to kill Councilman Zung Permit? Look out behind you! Da, da, da. Whoa, whoa, whoa. La, la, la. Large bees! So unsettling! Huh? <gasps> Strong bad, stop breathing! We have to play in a band! And in the moonlight, things get kinda crooked. Girl, you know they do, and your parents don't respect me as a man. In the moonlight, things get kinda crazy. They're trying to extricate me out of these absurd zigzagged pants Moonlight Cookie Well, Strong Bad, it looks like your never-ending attempts to unshackle me from my ridiculous said pants have finally paid off. Let's find out who's rich uncle he really is! Sis, sis, sis! Sir, sir, sir! Sir, sir, sir! David off guy! I thought it was going to be that creepy night watchman. So did I, honestly. Why would you want to kill Councilman Zong Permit? <laughs> I don't know. I guess he wouldn't give me no permits. There's only one place for a criminal like you. Playing in our band. Are we forgetting he totally just murdered somebody? Moonlight. Cookie. So, that whole deal we just watched, was that like the list of side effects for Coach Z's Jinxie Rolls medicine? Uh, what do you mean? You know, like, side effects may include zigzag head pants, large bee, cliched parodies, and playing in a band. No way! The only side effects of low jinx are all are, uh... Happy Halloween! <laughs> Here I come! Finally, someone let me out of my cage! Oh, I can fix that! I ain't happy! Here comes Bond. Here comes Zod. Kneel before Zod. No, no. Kneel before Bod. Uh-uh. Kneel before Zod. 
Kneel before Bud. Kneel before Zod. Kneel before Bud. Zod. Bud. Zod. Bud. Zod. Bud. Zod. Bud. Zod. Zod. Say, Bubs, I really like your costume. It's 70s Bubs, giving a pinky back wide to Totoro, eating a purple burrito. It's such a great costume. You know, ba -da -dum, da -da -dum, da -da -dum. Thank you! Strong Mad? Oh no, probably from Labyrinth. Pom Pom? Oh no, probably from Great Muppet Capel. Strong Sad? Oh no, probably from Sesame Street. Boop Smith? Oh no. Probably from Pigs in Space. Ooh, the Hensonian method. Hey, King, why didn't you dress up as King Ding Dong? That's a no-brainer. Those devil's food hockey pucks? Never. I'm pretty sure it's all the same ingredients. Just extruded out of a different machine in the Double Dare guy's basement. Which is where I assume all snacks come from. Don't get me started on Mark Summers. The cheat loves Sosuke! Ah! That's a real swell zombie Ziggy Stardust costume, Marzipan. Real swell. How come you got one of them drive through speakers stuck in your chest? The powder is yours. Sprinkle it on your fries. Hey, Hamsaw, I really like your BB-8 got won over by a sand qualo costume. Eh, uh, I don't know. Personally, I would have gone with Oscar the Grouch 2000. Henson! Henson! Top Glax, it's thrills and chills with Ghiblies vs. Poofers. Mr. Poofers careens through life like a Wichita bandsaw, and that's no lie. Come on! If you really loved me, you would say so. Said a delightful oil on canvas by acclaimed folk artist Rothschild Rootbill. Sure beats Peyton Pine Cones. Making the sun rise out of some dives. Tape him to the window. I just want to live my life, live my life. And can't you feel the wind blow? Where'd I get those diapers from? Well, don't ask me. Well, don't ask me. Making a sunrise out of some dives. Or maybe it's a sunset. A sunset on my 